like dun, I forgot dun, something. Dun, 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 or have I forgot dun, 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 uh, Wait, wait. Um, you forgot that we all have to say the Pledge of Allegiance to America? I don't live in your stupid to country. To the Republic, for which stands? I pledge allegiance to the Queen because she has superpowers. What what is her suit? What are her superpowers? If I told you, they wouldn't be superpowers. They sound like superpowers. If I don't not unknow, you know. I don't need me to tell you. How can you unknow? Old. <clears throat> yeah, old She's is one of her power. Ah, uh, oldness. Super, She's super not old, dead, is she? Rich. She could just keep getting older. That's his superpower. That's true. She hasn't died the like the, the other person who died. In Unfortunately, she eventually country. becomes like a just a pile of dust, but she's still alive. It's just a crown a on a pile, pile of dust. dust. <laughs> <laughs> they put it in like a. <laughs> can, can you coughs. imagine like putting putting it in a little jar and there's a speaker on the window and every time they're like. Queen, what do we do? And she's like, I don't fucking. It's not care. even a voice, just. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like her soul wailing from the beyond. <laughs> they can't kill her like they want to, but she just won't die. We can't possibly separate her into any smaller pieces. Sir. <laughs> they atomize her. She's still alive. <laughs> I am the spirit of England! <laughs> and so, they, she still has the crown. There's, there's just no way that it abdicates or anything. It's just... And then, one day in the future, we'll make a robot body and put the jar on top of the body. <laughs> so, so that it can just walk around. And whenever someone's like, hello, queen, she'll be like... <laughs> <laughs> Like she's she's kind of a horrifying monster. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the body opinion. has to be like really huge. Like maybe we can just give her a Terminator body, so then she can just kill everybody. Don't you think it's time she's for the next queen? queen? Yes. No, there will never be another next queen. I am the Queen Eternal. Like 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 truly. Genuinely, how old Forever. is this bitch? Uh, 172.6. How old is the queen? In metric or imperial? Both. 93. Jesus Christ. Yeah, she'll be dead. She's someday. got a few decades left in the old trunk. Wait, I remember how, the Empire! How old is Betty White? 97. Okay, so we can't say that they're the same person. <laughs> then. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I guess the title the is confusing. If you're an idiot, but it says season three finale, I've decided this is the end of season three of EFAP because this is the end of season three. Yeah, this is the last episode of season three because season one is ten episodes. We didn't even have a villain. This no, we time. did. We did. We definitely. Did. I looked back and I was like, I can see a thread here. I can. I can see, especially considering special information. But yeah, so season who one is ten episodes. Is the... Season two is fourteen episodes, and then season three is no wait season two was 12 episodes and season three was 16 episodes so we're getting more episodes every time our producers are really happy with the show apparently yeah they gave us as much time season four and as many episodes as we wanted that's great uh, yeah but really who was the who was the villain it was, was it totaled? I, I believe it was captain marvel um, oh because of the dawn i i covered her early on and that only awoke the monster we've we've covered her several times in the episodes and she attacked dawn like i don't know if there's any possibility for another villain <laughs> you know what uh, donald was in that cnet article that's going around the one about how youtubers are angry i saw i saw his his response to I, it I, I i tried to watch his response but he sounded so dead inside that whole time. Wait, you made a video response? Oh, I, I saw his tweets. Did a response to it. I didn't I didn't even know he did a oh, video no, response no, to it. No, he made well it, it was released like a day or two ago. Oh, oh my really? goodness. So we, I haven't even yeah. seen it. Uh, we've got so many things it. to do already. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I just wrote download How long thrust. Is it? How long is it? <laughs> that that would don't that total that would <laughs> downward total. <laughs> <laughs> Donald. That was thrust. I love it. Okay, the real reason why negative. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right. Oh, that's related to the yeah. article. Then I didn't know that was actually. I thought that was just. Yeah, that's that's the first thing he brings up. Like oh, okay. he's he's like, I threw out my script because <laughs> I tried to do it four times, and I was like, Oh, Donald, what are you I doing? I tried to do I mean, it. Someone someone called Donald Loke so that we can 
inspire some I don't know energy into tonal. I mean, well, it goes by the name Tone Lope. We got so much to do today. If if we can fit that into, I I I, I can only hope. But um, that we have to. Nice. We have don't... to cover tonal. We got we so have many. To hold the line. So many tisms are on the the agenda. We'll we'll get through. Yeah. Um. Uh. Rags, you saw Godzilla, right? Yeah. What did you think? I of... did. I saw. I saw oh, Godzilla oh, on the yesterday. Hold on. Hold on. Before we yeah. start this. Because okay. apparently there is confusion from something that Mahler literally did say in the last stream, which is that I didn't like Godzilla King of the Monsters, even though that's not what Mahler said, and I haven't watched the movie. But some people came away from whatever it was you said, thinking that I was saying that the 1998 Godzilla movie is better than this one. Which I said, you like said completely... it's more than likely that it is, after how I described I... King of Monsters to you. Okay, no. No, I told you that I had seen it when I was a kid, and my memory of it is I was entertained by it, but I legitimately haven't even seen King of the Monsters, so no, I I haven't <laughs> I don't think that to the people who for some reason think I think that I haven't watched it and I don't plan on it. Yeah, and all I said was that you, I, I'm very certain in our conversation you said that by the sounds of King of Monsters, the, the 98 vision might actually have better writing. Well, yeah, I mean, you made it sound like it was retarded. Well, Rags, like what I do you I think? Am. What Did you think it was retarded? <laughs> I thought this new Godzilla? Yeah. Everything that wasn't monster fights was retarded. And, Rags, did you know that that means it's a good Godzilla film? Oh, no, it was terrible. I've got... I got five arguments that I picked out from right. from the Discord, from yeah, Twitter, I'm, from I'm YouTube not touching, times. I'm, Look, I'm not touching this shit with a ten foot pole. This is this is a like for for once for once the chat's gonna hate you guys instead of me, and I'm gonna bask in no, that. I don't, I don't understand. We have to be consistent. I'm not gonna break with everything that I feel about movies. Well, it, in that like, case, I, right? I, I, I won't I respond. Watched the movie, so I literally can't make. I will. I will give these this arguments to Rags since he's he's apparently saying that the uh, the 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 film isn't very well written. These are counter arguments to our claims that it's poorly written. By the way, that not not arguments for why the film is bad. The first one was. Oh, so these are arguments saying that it wasn't poorly written. Uh, not necessarily. Their responses to the idea that the film is poorly written. So, uh, all right, here we go. So you, re you ready for this first one, Rags? I'm going to assume that's yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um. Why are you looking for a story in Godzilla? That's like looking for a story in porn or football. Are this <laughs> porn or football? All right. Oh my God, I feel like I can argue against this, but I'm just not going oh, to. I'm, I'm, which of these things am I going to say first? All right, let's <laughs> let's start with porn. All right, let's start with porn. Let's say, right, you're going to go and watch a porn movie. No one gives a shit about the plot in porn. That doesn't mean the plot's good. The plot's terrible. The porn would be better if they were characters that I cared about, if they were written well. Like that would actually make the porn better. The porn I would be said legitimately better. Yeah, like if the if these were characters that I cared about in a relationship that I had investment in, then I would absolutely enjoy the sex way more. I have agree these with people that. never have so question, have these people never had sex with people that they've really cared about? Because it's have so they much. Never better. played Mass Effect. <laughs> I have, have. They've never been an actual like relation. This is how real world stuff works. When you're invested in the other person, the sex is better. Okay, so what about football? <laughs> <laughs> what about football? <laughs> is football a? St is it even a story? <laughs> is football a story? <laughs> I don't really, yeah, I don't get it. Well, so the, the, the uh, counter, I imagine, would be like, yeah, but you don't need a story in porn for porn to have its function. That's the same for Godzilla. Yeah, you don't need... Yeah, I wish there wasn't a story in this Godzilla movie. I wish it was <laughs> literally just Godzilla fighting monsters. They could have saved me time. I could have gotten out of the movie theater faster. I agree with and that And got completely. back to Mord Howe. I would have legitimately the movie would have been better if it was just it was oh no Godzilla's fighting the monsters and it was just that there, there was this and weird misconception I that better. I thought that there needed to be more human element to the film I never said this um I think there's way too much human shit in the movie but I wouldn't have minded if it oh, was really is. well written human shit yeah there was way too much human shit absolutely there was way too much human shit Oh, did you laugh at any of the jokes? 
Oh god, some of them were cringy. Did you I, remember, I told I Wolf about one of them jokes. where he says something like vaguely profound or whatever, and the guy's like, did you just make that up? And he's like, I read it in a fortune cookie. And there's like a silence for laughter, and he was just dead. Was <laughs> oh like, yeah, nobody okay. <laughs> in my theater laughed at any of the jokes. They were terrible. The jokes were terrible. And the thing is, if you're gonna... Lord knows what the budget was for this, and how much they spent on marketing. The tens of millions of dollars they spent on making this movie. Yeah. And it just goes to show that I guess none of the budget went to writing or story or characters. I didn't even think the acting was very good. You know what? Martin Steinpatz just said, football matches can be very exciting when there's an actual story behind it, like the underdog beating the big teams. And almost reaching, like, So, like, think about movies that are about sports, where they have, like, a team that's we trying to get Marshall. through. Um, like the Mighty Ducks. I was just thinking, like, yeah, so the story would kind of improve it. <laughs> like, I don't know. There's the, the water boy. Get, get it to the point where the Godzilla movie has amazing writing and monster fights, and man, uh, I'll be praising it instead of saying, yeah, I enjoyed the monster fights, but the writing was shit. And then there's people, okay, yeah, I'm not just I, gonna, I should just I'm not gonna go to the next all one. The, crap. the next one I mean, was. All that crap was still part of the movie. Why are you complaining about the story in a Godzilla movie? Nobody watches Godzilla for the story. Well, that's weird because when I paid the movie for the ticket and I walked into that theater, there was a lot of that shit on the screen, and I had to sit through a lot of that garbage to get through the good to get to the good parts. So I would have much preferred that the parts <laughs> I had to suffer through were good instead. Yeah, at that point, I'd just be like, if nobody's watching Godzilla for the story, then why is there a story in there? Yeah, like, do they feel like they have to have one? Do they feel like this is something that's necessary? Are they just trying to? put stars in the movie in order to get us to watch it. Um, I mean, you have to sit through a lot of stupid human crap to get to the cool monster bits. What if the stupid human stuff was actually really good and you really wanted to hear the characters talk because the lines were great? And, and you cared when buildings fold around good. them. That'd be cool. Well, I just, like, what... Like, we can't just excuse bad writing because it's in a monster movie you, now. You remember like, the, the woman who advocated for the genocide of planet Earth was in trouble at the end after she made her weird sacrifice? Did you care about her life then? I was just like, I don't... Fuck I, no! I didn't I like, care about anybody I hope King Ghidorah eats movie. you. <laughs> I was like, please, go for it, go for it. I, I'm i still... I was talking on the ride back home from the theater because my dad wanted to see it, so we went to go see it yesterday. And in the car ride back, I'm like, so I think her name was Emma, the, the mom main character. Mm -hmm. I was like, so I was like kind of baffled for half this film trying to figure out what they were going for with her because I was just so confused. I was trying to figure out why they had her do the things that they did. And I thought that at the end they were going to be like, ha ha, she was lying the whole time. But like, no, they didn't. <laughs> like I was legitimately absolutely baffled by the decisions that were made just, by these you, characters and, and the they bit. took me out of the film because i'm like why why are they doing this remember this doesn't make any sense where she's like oh no like i need to do x y and z to save blah 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 because like my daughter's in trouble and charles dance like and ironically i don't even know if this was in the script or if he was just on set saying this he was like look you hired us to basically end the world and the world is ending and now you're saying stop i, I don't i don't get it <laughs> he was like confused but charles dance is pointing out plot holes in the <laughs> script well charles dance was first off he was not in the movie nearly long enough he didn't have no. enough lines but they gave all these shitty fucking minutes to the these dad. character these good guy characters to the the white-haired nerdy conspiracy theorist guy and the useless asian bitch and the other fucking dude is like all of these people that they tried to make us care about they gave all these lines to and they had charles dance over here who would show up for a scene do one line maybe and then he'd be gone was he better or worse than he was in dracula untold worse in dracula untold he got to do more shit he yeah got to he, lick the bar he had more lines he had more lines in dracula untold like that one scene in the cave yeah he i think probably, he probably had more does yeah um, <laughs> he so, had a more significant role in Dracula Untold. He only had like one Tywin moment. Let the game the begin. At the thing. It was like a tiny little, tiny little moment, and it was just so like, oh, I could see where he's generally. They had good lines for him, and there was like a tiny little moment where he was um, just good. 
it, that was it. So argument three, uh, Godzilla isn't supposed to have a good story. Why is it not supposed to? <laughs> I, want you to I want you to back up the claim that Godzilla is not supposed because to have a good story. Because it's about monsters fighting rags. You are making a positive claim that I want to see evidence for. Because and Godzilla say, doesn't right, need a story. Let's say that that's correct. Let's give them the incredible benefit of the doubt and say that Godzilla is not supposed to have a good story. Um, fuck that shit. How about instead it has a good story? Well, isn't it better to have a good story than a bad one? Oh, there you go. Uh, uh, Super Chat just came in with a counter. I have to disagree, Maul, and most Godzilla fans go to see these movies because they see it as a monster MMA fight. As long as the action's interesting, they ignore the human parts, even in the older movies. No, my dad it, went it, it into monster fights, thing. It's not, and he said he liked the monster fights, but well, fuck, look, he said I, it was a struggle to get to those. Again, I, I say this as someone who hasn't seen this movie, but Mahler, what did you say? It was like even less than a third of the movie is dedicated to the monster fight? Yeah, and they were the oh, best they're... bits. <laughs> They were so, so like, good, would, but they were so few. It would so be few. one thing if it was all just like two hours of monster fights, but I mean, if there's a huge chunk of it dedicated to really terrible human shit, then how can you ignore that other than just like what? waiting for the clips to come out exactly. on YouTube? Do you remember? It's, it's most of the, the vast majority of the movie is shitty. Going all the way back to, I believe, EFAP episode two, when everyone's talking about how plot holes don't matter at all in the video we were covering. And we, we come to a conclusion, we just go, why not not have them? And in the same vein, why not have a good story in your Godzilla movie? Why do you have to keep saying no one cares about it? It's like, I never said anyone didn't care about this movie. I just said the writing was really bad. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, well, no one cares about it. It's like, okay. I don't uh, <laughs> look, I can get behind an action movie where I don't think about anything. Like, John Wick 3, I saw that on vacation. I have literally no investment in the plot. To put it into perspective, I completely forgot why people were even chasing him at the beginning of the movie. <sighs> so, I don't even That's really remember the plot of John Wick 2 in the first place. But I was like, hey, he, he shoots people, and that knife fight at the beginning of the movie was cool. And that was my whole investment in the film. Um, I can and and this is like the problem, by the way, is this wouldn't even be discussed if not for the fact that we seem to have found some weird impasse with the, a lot of people about this, because I don't really care about Godzilla, and I don't know if Rags really realize. is a long-term fan or anything of the Godzilla movies. We're literally just looking at it as a story, and then people are like, nobody watches it for that, and I'm like, um, okay, so when people say that nobody watches Star Wars for the story, and they just like to see the lightsabers, Jedi, and all that shit, it's like, do you have a response to that? Because, you understand... If one person says, yeah, I like a story in Godzilla, um, your argument, uh, I mean, your argument doesn't work anyway, because we're just judging it as a story. Which it is. It is a story. Like, I hate to break it to you. It is a story. There, there's characters, there's a plot, there's a start, middle, and yeah, an end. Yeah, there's characters and plots and motivations, like, they clearly I didn't say anyone cared about it. These things. I didn't say, any, say anyone had to care about it or should care about it or whatever. I'm just saying that it's poorly written. It's and for the record, I believe awful. I said this, I enjoyed it as a whole because of the monster shit. I really liked uh, King Ghidorah. I don't want to see him again. Yeah, but man, you gotta get through a lot of crap to find <laughs> the gold. Um, you gotta, someone you in the chat sift mentioned it. Find that cool. Well, actually, first off, have you made it through all the five arguments? Uh, we got two more. Probably. Oh, Do you okay. want to go ahead with whatever? Oh, because yours sounds pertinent. Oh, well, so people have mentioned Shin Godzilla, and I know you've talked to me oh, about Oh, yeah, that. I've got a note for that after these two. Okay, so, um... Okay. I don't, fourth no, one is I've stop complaining there's a lack of story, it's a Godzilla movie. Um, I never complained no, about a no, lack of story. Yeah, that's definitely not our... We would have preferred there was no story. Yes. I would rather have no story than a bad one. Um... Yeah, and it would be tough to string together, but I think even even if you had two hours of monsters fighting each other, you'd probably still have some form of a simplistic story in there, like Godzilla's walking around the Earth killing all of them. I think it would have been way higher rated, too. Yeah. I think and the I think, movie would have made a lot more money, and I think people, the critics would have been like, oh, hell yeah, it's just two hours of freaking awesome monster fights. And the final argument was, you don't understand Godzilla. Uh, help me understand Godzilla. Well, the <laughs> fucking response to that is that fans don't want a good story of Godzilla, so... Fuck so, you. really, That's there's so no... <laughs> it, it, I mean, you made that if comment, no... you should be ashamed of yourself. Okay, so, let me ask a question. If there's not really supposed to be a story or a good story, at least in Godzilla, 
how can you possibly not understand it? It's a giant lizard that shoots lasers out of its mouth. It's like it's like a story for stupid people. Like anyone can like grasp that. Yeah, and I I, I just well, think how, that, how could you not understand it? Well, What's not to understand exactly? Like all three of us rated Mission Impossible Fallout was super fucking high, and it's like it wasn't just because if someone said nobody watches Mission Impossible for the story, I'd be like the story certainly fucking helped it. Because the action oh, yeah, was fantastic, absolutely. but caring about the characters yeah, was, and understanding yeah. the stakes in the yeah. plot, like, oof, good stuff. That's that makes the movie way better. Well, I, I like that. My, I like that in well. a Godzilla movie, sure. But like I told them, I already enjoyed the movie. I just don't know why we wasted so much time with the humans and how poorly written everyone and again, was. They spend so much time and they try so fucking hard to make us care about these characters. Like they put there is clearly a huge section. Most of this movie. Uh, don't let it be misunderstood. Most of this movie is about the humans. Mm -hmm. This is a human people movie. Also, there's monsters. But this is definitely about human people dealing with shit. And they try really, really hard to make you give a damn. And then in that's what they're trying. That's what they're going for here. And it fails miserably. I watched Shin Godzilla with Alex. And ironically, it's much tighter in terms of the writing. But it's pretty, like, boring on the human side of it, because it's very procedural. It's like, Godzilla is here, we should do something about Godzilla. And some other guy's like, how do you even know that's a, a creature? How do you know it's not just a broken pipe or something? And they're like, I don't know, and they, it's like a good 20 minutes of that. Until they're like, okay, now we attack it, and then they bomb it, and it doesn't work, and he nukes the whole city, and then they eventually come up with a different plan. It's, it's better than King of the Monsters, okay? Absolutely. Um, the effects aren't as good, which I think is gonna happen, obviously, because it's against, like, the fucking super high-paid <laughs> yeah. Hollywood shit. It's um, like I said when I showed you that picture of uh, that screenshot from Shin Godzilla. Like, the dude in the suit looks like Squidward did when he ate too many Krabby Patties and they all went <laughs> to his hips. Yeah. And um, I looked at that picture and I just laughed too hard and I was like, yeah, I'm not watching this movie. I, I kind of liked how they defeated Godzilla and Shin Godzilla. And, um... Yeah, uh, there was a lot of human busybodying in that too, which was kind of... It's, it's funny how much I feel like I am actually on the side of the Godzilla fans, I just... Yeah, the, the difference between these two is one of them had a really complicated story with loads of characters that was all horribly written. The other one had like barely any characters and all of it was relatively tightly written, it was just dull as fuck. And I liked the monster fighting in both of them to a degree, different degrees. But yeah, that's... And again, I'm not a Godzilla expert, and I feel like whenever I'm mentioning Godzilla, I'm walking into a hornet's nest of fans. I'm like, I didn't realize that Godzilla was so passionately beloved, and that's fine. Yeah, that's. I fine. didn't realize that people love this monster so much that they were willing to just sit through so much crap and garbage to defend it. I mean, and, and I don't I know didn't if this realize is... that Godzilla had an unironic fan base before this movie, and I was like, oh. If it's okay. controversial to say it, I'll say it anyway. I think Cloverfield is better than any of the Godzilla movies I've seen. I know this is going to be controversial to say, but of the few Godzilla movies I have seen, it's like Transformers, but with not as bad of humor. I would oh, rather watch the 98 Godzilla, unironically. I, we, we're going to do that for fat movies, I think, because I need to see that again yeah. anyway. I, I would actually literally totally seriously watch the 98 Matthew Broderick Godzilla then watch Godzilla King of the Monsters again. There you go, we've upset chat. <laughs> <laughs> All I remember from the 19 better, I just Godzilla try to like watch the raptor it. scene. They defeat in them the, with gumballs. In the stadium? Yeah. Yeah, because I, I mean, I was like 10 years Godzilla old babies. when I last watched that, so I was like, this is fun. It's probably so bad it's good. Godzilla 1980 is better uh, than Cloverfield. It has Leon in it. Leon, the professor. Um, yeah, so um, moving on but from Godzilla. Like, no, no, no. It's like you realize that, like, <laughs> I'm saying that because the human shit in the 98 version is so bad that it's great. Like, it's, it's terrible. But the stuff in Godzilla King of the Monsters is absolutely awful. <laughs> like, it is the most boring. <laughs> dull, inconsequential, nonsensical crap ever. And I've already seen the monster fights, so it's not going to be like, oh, wow, it's the same thing. Yeah, they're good, but fucking hell, man. I like the monster like, fights, though. So I like the Like, monster. I'm not going to sit through... Like, Godzilla King of the Monsters is monarch and humans, also monsters. 
Yeah. Like they call it Godzilla, but that's almost false advertising. So I should just wait to see the fighting scenes on YouTube in like three or I four would months. absolutely recommend that. Get them in 4K. Got That'd it. be great. Um, oh, I'll watch well, Dark Phoenix tonight, though. I can't wait to laugh. We'll, we'll jump into the, that one quickly next. I was just going to say, uh, someone's asked if we've seen Chernobyl. I've seen episode one, and so is Wolf. We're going to watch the rest of it relatively soon, I think. So and, uh, fucking good. But the first episode was very good. I heard good. it was based off of real-life events. Yes. I've heard that. Um, Alright, so yeah, uh, Dark Phoenix, I'm still the only one who... So I've seen it, Wolf's gonna see it today, and Rags may or may not see it in the future. Um, Oops. might If no one else in this world existed, I would be telling the audience, it was, it was bad, loads of it didn't make any sense, and uh, certainly the plot, certainly the world building. Some of the character stuff I quite liked, a lot of the acting was pretty good. And I actually liked a lot of the fighting, as, as, as superficial as that sounds. I actually liked a lot of the interactions and the way they did special effects, but um, I've heard a lot of complaints about the For CGI. Chernobyl? So we'll have to see about that. No, no, X-Men. Um, however, oh, I am in a world with lots of other people, and so I feel like saying, like, guys, chill out. It's not the worst thing in the world, holy shit. And a lot of people are saying it's the worst X-Men movie uh, out of all of them, and I... I have to remind people that Origins, Wolverine, Apocalypse, and, um... What are the other- oh yeah, The Last Stand. Those three films are pretty fucking bad. Um... While this one actually had a lot of character moments that I really enjoyed. Uh... I don't want to mention any of them, though, because you haven't seen it yet. Or the review, and I don't know if you definitely will or not. But, lots of Tismy stuff, too. Um... Origins was good. No, aunt, as long as the uh, superhero uh, yeah. part. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you say that Origins is good, I got a question. Like, if you have permanent brain damage or something. Um. But yeah, I, I would have to watch. Hell, don't get me wrong, but it is not a good movie. We will uh, once Wolf has seen it. Though we'll be able to talk through it and be like. This... Also, uh, yeah. we, we should we should mention uh, just to clarify because I think there's some people in the chat that are. Confused? You meant X Men Origins Wolverine, not the movie The Wolverine. No, yeah, I meant the Origins one. The Wolverine's definitely better than Origins. Yeah, I mean it's kind of a useless movie, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, no, the thing is, he was talking it's, about Origins. It's hard to be worse than Origins, and Origins is goofy as fuck. I don't. I wouldn't blame anyone for enjoying the crap out of it, but holy shit! Oh yeah, I I left. I left really really hard watching it. Um. And yeah, it, it, like, there's, I don't know, we'll see, maybe maybe my mind will change on Dark Phoenix, but everyone's been saying it's the worst thing ever, and I was just like, oh wow, I didn't, I didn't think so, but okay. Um, please do Unbridled Rage for the last two Game of Thrones episodes. They're on the way! It's gonna be really long! Uh, I told you guys about this comment, but I wanted to read it out anyway, because it was funny, on the last EFAP we did. Uh, so this okay. guy, this guy said, this was his original comment, and then he edited it, um, and I'm pretty sure I told you guys about it already. I think you guys have been a bit too hard on no bullshit. While the video kinda sucks, his points are pretty reasonable. And then it has edit, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, and... The, the original ones were at best passable-ish, but, man. Wait, X-Men? Oh, it was on the deep end. Once he started saying that, like, Vision trying to get a rock out of his face is like a transgender person transitioning, I think my brain snapped in half. <laughs> it's like, how could you possibly unironically make such a stupid... Uh, I can't even say it's a point or an argument. I don't it's know, man. <laughs> There's a suspicious amount of giant midgets in the movie. Well, can't we did just thing. watch a trilogy filled with uh, suspicious amounts of midgets. <laughs> Uh, do you wanna? And Haldir. Do you wanna give lots a quick take on on Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order tisms? Sure, I shall go. Uh, I hope the graphics improve because those character are rough looking. Which I mean, yeah, it's it's pre alpha. I'll give it some benefit of the doubt in that respect. The time stopping thing was really awesome, but that was really the only thing they did. Otherwise, it seemed really safe. It didn't seem super interesting. It looked really meh to me. I mean, I'm hoping there's more to it, but for showcasing the game and trying to be like, hey guys, get excited for this. There wasn't 
a whole lot that I haven't seen like 50 other Star Wars games do. Yeah, I felt, I felt like Force matter. Unleashed kind of already did loads of what that game is doing. Yeah, and Force Unleashed is a super flawed game, but I mean, hell, look at the difference with the Force abilities. The only interesting new one they showed was the stopping time. Otherwise, it was all just Force Pull and Force Push, which was eh, kind of kind of lame to me. I'm hoping there's more platforming stuff because that looked kind of interesting. And I'm hoping the lightsaber combat gets a bit more complicated the further it goes in. But otherwise, it looked really like six out of ten ish. And, you know, maybe I mean, I can forgive a game with lackluster gameplay as long as it has a good story. But I, I don't know. Just because the guy didn't like The Last Jedi doesn't mean that he's a good writer himself, I guess. Uh, I'll give it a chance. But, yeah. yeah. I'm hoping it's better than what we saw because I thought it looked kind of eh. Uh, kind of game that I would probably just be told about and I'd be like, yeah, it looked kind of neat, I guess. Uh, but we will see. Yeah, it's it going to be better very... than the fucking Battlefront games, so at least we got that. That's it a high a bar. very low bar. <laughs> um, and yeah, did you see the trailer ranks? Uh, no, I did not. Well, fair enough. You don't like Star Wars, do you? You fucking hate it. Nope. Tired of that Star Wars shit. The game was written by Ryan Johnson. Do you still want to? Do you still want to play it? There's like four other writers beside him. He got cucked. Really? Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't know the specifics for that, but yeah, just hoping it's. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like when I saw Forrest Whitaker in there and like uh, whatever the robot dude was, I was like, why are you banking on Rogue One? Like, also, sure, it was the least offensive of them, but that's it's not really a great game. I hope movie. there was nobody in chat assuming I meant classic Battlefront one and two. I meant I meant the new one. <laughs> and love classic. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, we were way, we were talking um, about the uh, new ones. The new ones are good. My parents um they moved offices, so they got a new place and then as they were cleaning out the old office, they found an old uh seat my old C D of Battlefront two. Neato. Uh, that I had. So I was like, oh, that's that's kinda nifty. And it brought back so many good memories. Battlefront two was a maze balls. The the original Battlefront two. I hate Very the fact that stuff. we have to clarify which ones they are because EA yeah, the good ones. name it the same thing. Just like the Call of Duty game, where it's like, it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare, even though it's supposed to be like a reboot. The great Lotus yeah. said, EFAP is to Godzilla as Eric Taxon is to Star Wars. That is beyond defensive. <laughs> beyond defensive? <laughs> um, but yeah, since we've, we've got like, because it's the season finale, of course, that's, that's why this is happening. We got, um, funnily enough, because it's been the last two videos, it's kind of the same thing. Defense for Captain Marvel which didn't, I don't know if it was created to be one, but it certainly ended up with one. Um, a couple of defenses for Game of Thrones from a podcast that I saw that we'll find funny. Um, a, a tonal video. It's going to be real special. And then possibly another tonal video, depending on what's going on. Um, that that clip from X-Men that we, we're totally going to play, because how, 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 do, how, how do we resist talking about that? Um... Something from Collider, which if you don't, you guys don't know about, I know Rag should know about it because Red Light Media did a video on it too. Um, pretty funny, but I'll give you all the context you need for that. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. And um, and Wolf no getting a name drop in a podcast that I'm looking forward to him finally seeing. Wait, what? Yep, he has no idea. This it's is what happens every when you have frame of pause. No, <laughs> not that one. Um, but first of all, we're covering Mr. Legal Eagle. Who's got a channel where Who? he basically... What, what, Wolf? What the fuck do you want to say? Go on. I didn't say anything. See? Interrupt yeah, him Wolf, for no fucking reason. What the fuck? Fucking, fucking spit it out, Wolf. Piece of you shit. Didn't say say something it. To finish. God. Yes, I'll continue. Jesus. So yeah, he has a channel where he goes over movies and he breaks down like the legal parts of them, as in what characters do uh, and how they could be punished, or literal like fucking courtroom scenes in movies and being like, they did this wrong or they did this right. Which is all great. I've actually seen some of his videos before and enjoyed them. His recent one was on Captain Marvel, of all things. Ooh, would you believe boy. it? And of course, it's uh, to no, do with, with that proof. scene that everyone has been making the rounds on. The one that, funnily enough, you know, got people booted from uh, their videos on it. Also, I just clicked it and nothing's happening for me. 
I'm hearing it. Oh, is it playing for you guys? Okay, that's weird. I guess uh, I will let, rejoin. Hold on, I'll rewind it and I'll... Rags, you're in the call, right? Yes. I am in the, um... Now you've seen it? No. Wait, 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 wait. I'm in the, I'm in the watch together. Yeah. What the fuck is happening? Well, I got a black screen. I got nothing. I <sighs> see it all. You do this to me. Also, so I we're at 15 <sighs> seconds. Get your shit straight. Why Lord. would you? Wouldn't isn't shit like a like a like a, you know the kind of shape it is? I wouldn't describe it as straight. Would you? What? What's straight? Or are we what? discussing the shapes of objects? I, I'm, I'm. No, just a poop right apparently. Okay, apparently. Wait, I can see something now. This is progress. Let's see. Snap. Okay. All right. Let me drag him back. So. Um, yeah, so the, the, he's Attempt talking number three. He's talking specifically about the clip where she attacks <laughs> our Lord nothing, and Savior. John Snow. Um, wait, why is that like that? Wolf donned a new PFP. Like I've got the, we might have to switch rooms because I just showed the room uh, URL. For some reason, my screen capture is off. Oh no! Uh, you absolute tism. Oh, pretty sure, yeah. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure some of you guys have done that before. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty oh, sure. So. Does you lie to me? To Don. Ricada law Ooh. is better than legal eagle. I agree. Wait, that seems like it should be working then. What's happening when I hit the oh, is it going to a different screen? That could explain it. <laughs> There's an extra thing. I see you. There we go. Okay, I fixed it. Wait. Though, like I said, we'll have to make a different room because anybody with half a brain can get in here now, so. And we know that some of you out there have brains. Ha! <laughs> no. Dude. Respect the audience. I had a brain. I, I still do, do, but I used to, too. Show yes. respect to the brainless. Respect. I love the poorly educated. <laughs> Hooray. Okay. Oh, what? God damn it. Need to, need to, need to get my you shit together. Put the thing on the screen, Mauler. You're gonna show it's episode everybody. Episode thirty-eight. We haven't figured this out, Mauler. You just showed everybody again. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, it, it, I'm literally back put, on put the, the fucking home page. Put the logo on the screen. You fuck, motherfucker. I've got my shortcut screwed up because I've been sorting out all the other covers that I showed Do rags. When they beautiful, not cut your you. shorts. Simply apply the link in the usual manner to the co-hosts. Oh, I will, and. Now I what is this music video? Oh wait. Uh, bu -bu. Look, it's a small delay. I'm pretty sure the people of EFAP will get over it. The loyal. I'm audience. sure they will too. This is the kind of quality sakes, entertainment gentlemen that they pay for. Of the year. Are we the gentlemen of the year? No. I'm it actually triggers me that of and the are capitalized. Why? Yeah, I'm Explain not explain yourself. Because it's grammatically incorrect, Mauler. Yes. I know Since you wouldn't know. We care about, about grammar. That. Since always and forever. Has there even been a single discussion on this entire show about grammar in any way, nope. shape, or form? I didn't boomer think so. Mauler. Fucking boomers. My name is Mubsley. Uh. Mubsley? Maltism? <laughs> Mubsley? Boomler? Yormsley? Boomler. Oh yeah, I guess we could Long probably play as well. We ended up watching all the Lord of the Rings films as a result of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah, we love Haldir. Everyone loves Haldir. <laughs> See, that's a joke they're not going to be able to understand for a very long time. <laughs> and then someone will watch this podcast <laughs> afterwards and be like, oh! Yeah, Haldir and lots of smoking of the devil's lettuce. I think it's funny that if they watch Two Towers, the Free coverage of... makes a good... If they watch the coverage of Two Towers, they'll still be like, I don't get it, they didn't even talk about Haldia, really. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get it one day, folks. Alright, here we go. Thanks to- Thanks to- No, shut up. Okay, so, Mr. Legal Eagle did a video talking about the legal impl implications of what we saw in that amazing moment where she, um... What, what can we say? Where she assaulted and battered the Dawn. Would you not agree with that? 
Yeah, she tortured him. Extortion, I guess you could say. What would you say Death legally property. that probably comes under rags? Do you reckon there's anything legally there she could get in trouble for? Do you reckon she's clean? I think that she might have a, a few issues. I think she might want to zip her lip when she talks to the popo and lawyer up. Because she's mm -hmm. got a long court case ahead of her. Well, could you imagine that there is a case for her to get I off scot-free? The lawyer who takes that case is a fucking retard. Oh. Well, it'll be interesting. I guarantee you one of the biggest complaints we'll have about this, because he's a relatively like approved of channel, so we're going to be in controversial territory here, is that neither of you three are lawyers, so how would you know that's going to be a common case here, but... I'll see what your take is All anyway. Right. It'll Indochino be great. For keeping legal eagle in the air and helping me look fly. Go to Indochino for Indochino uh, X legal eagle. Shit. I don't know what Indochino does. I guess they smile, sell man. some. Look, it's the dawn. Yeah. Look at that beautiful man. Look at that. You yeah. didn't even care that his hair is a little him. bit unkempt because he's, he's so like pure. appearances on so... everything. Well, no, Look, yeah, it's his, his hairline might right? not be great, but he is. He did rotten. take his helmet off, right? <laughs> his spirit line is great. I'll tell you that. He's Look been at that riding smile. the wind, man. Look at him. He's so happy. He's such God, a nice guy. God, I want to ride him so fucking mm -hmm, hard. Mm -hmm. Same with me. We can do it well, together. We'll take turns. Least you could do is give yeah. A smile. Crucially, he makes contact with the map. That. Wait, why have we skipped to? He makes contact. He makes, with he makes the contact map. with the map. Crucially, he this makes contact. This is the first sixteen with seconds. Okay. The map. Captain yeah. Marvel is holding, pulls it down. And says something that might be interpreted as a threat. How about pushing a it. smile for me? How is that How a threat? Is that a threat? <laughs> How, How could you interpret it? As a you would have to be absolutely brain dead to think that how about a smile for me is a threat. What is the, you, what is the threat being made? Well, can you imagine if you were like captured by I don't know ISIS and put in a torture chamber? Some guy comes in. And he's like all big and burly and he leans down and you're like, oh, God, is he going to waterboard me? Is he going to like cut off my head? And he's like, smile. How he's about like, the smile for uh, me? I was about to say what and you just like, said. No, anything <laughs> you said, that. No, God, you said no. smile. That's almost a command. How about a smile is a question. Yeah, he's asking her <laughs> how about a smile. Um, like, oh my god, how I guess could this is you a, possibly, how could this you opening, possibly make this argument? This opening, I, I'm assuming, is like a preview, like a what's to come sort of thing. This guy is not a particularly nice guy, and Cru You just said the dog is He's very nice. nice! He's extremely nice, look at his He's smile. He's offering but to help her. This is He's how, thrilled to get a handshake. This is how I knew we had to cover this, because he said the Dawn is not a nice guy. Um, he is so pure. Yeah, I mean, if anything, saying he's not a nice guy is kind of accurate because he's well above that. Like, that would be a, a poor representation of him if you were to say he's nice. Like, yeah, it's... Uh... Telling, I like in chats, telling someone to smile is against the Geneva Convention. <laughs> <laughs> Crucially here, he has invaded Captain Marvel's This man space. lost his wife, damn it. He's I like how it's become the lore. Real lawyer reacts. Cartoon guy. That looks, looks just like him. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Legal Eagles, really it's time to think his lack like of intelligence. a lawyer. And I really mean that this time, because there are a lot of people engaging in quasi-legal analysis and really messing it up. Would you believe... Mm -mm, okay. Oh, tell, <laughs> tell us how she's totally <laughs> not the villain in this scenario. I just... Bat for the whammon. Oh, I like man. the idea that people are going to run with immediate... Like, the most casual response you'll get is like, well, yeah, she'd be done for assault, she'd be done for theft, and pro possibly screwing up the road. If you remember the clip, she, like, fucks up... Uh, Graphic for a minute, but um, those three things are totally real. I mean, like, like it, it's the like the idea that the Don does. You're like, I guess he touches her personal property. I guess he sort of invades her personal space, maybe from behind the map. I well, guess. well, because maybe touch, we'll see those his, arguments. He touches her map. <laughs> it's like a euphemism or something. <laughs> It's like it is it, like in Captain Marvel's defense, the Don does touch her map. Yeah, and apparently, so I guess she's off the hook. I guess Ricada Law might have made a response to this. A bunch of people keep referencing him. Oh, really? Who's Ricada Law? That'd be interesting to see. He he's one of the guys that's been really covering the Vicman situation, like from a legal angle. And oh, is, is he like a lawyer? He's got yes. Hmm. All right. Well, if he's done a response, I'll have to check that out too because that's. Thing. But um, I don't 
see one maybe he responded somewhere else or well, maybe he's working but on then it? again all of his videos are like three hours long, so well either way issue trying Believe to find the it men but who are complaining about <coughs> captain marvel again are wrong about the law i know it's uh, uh what about the women complaining about captain do they just not exist they just don't fucking exist the women did no women hate this movie there are no the only just the men it's the men who hate it we made it a good 53 seconds and we're already pulling the gender card here fuck off it is the men Jesus who's complaining Christ. though rags women i don't the know a single whammons that that didn't think she was justified except any of the ones that i've spoken to but other than them crazy but stick with me here women need protect about the law. I know it's crazy, oh, it but schooling? stick with me here. By the way, since we're dealing with a Marvel property, as always, there will be a post credit scene at the end of this video. So a little background okay. about uh -huh. Captain Marvel before we dive into the current ridiculous controversy that is- How is it ridiculous? Okay. <laughs> I like that whenever we pause it, he just looks really stupid. Oh, it's wow. kind of like wow. an ad hoc. Let's slander, let's slander yep. defamation to call him the stupids. Uh -huh. That probably breaks 17 well, laws. It came out last summer. It had slightly more controversy than normal because as far as I can tell, and I wasn't following this closely, uh, the lead superhero is a woman and the lead actress, Brie Larson, said some semi-controversial things about racism and sexism semi. in Hollywood. I do not need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work for him. No, no, no one cared that the lead was a woman. No one fucking yeah, cared. I was no gonna one say, gave you see the way, shit. The way he worded that, he slipped that right in there. If I go back, so yeah, that, that did that did raise a flag for me. Last summer, it had slightly more yeah. controversy than normal because, as far as I can tell, and I wasn't following this closely, uh, the lead superhero is a woman, and the lead. See, so he's making two points. No, the reason it got controversy yeah. is the lead actress is a woman, and it's like, whoa, <laughs> whoa, no one cares that it's a woman. We do not give. How many of you regress yeah. this far that people just commonly accept that it's a problem to have a female protagonist, for, like for other people? Especially when this film kind of released alongside Alita: Battle Angel, and that was fairly positively received. Yeah, but we don't talk about that one because that breaks okay. the narrative. Idiot. Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. Well, she wasn't really a woman; she was a robot, so it doesn't count. Ah, uh, nice loop. Robot and then don't count. We also any movies that came out before this year don't count as well. Oh, Wonder okay. Woman. No. Nope. Alien. No. Nope. Aliens, nope. Alien 3, Alien Resurrection, Prometheus, no, stop. Alien Covenant. No, stop it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying they're good, but people went and watched them anyway, and they all had female protagonists. In fairness, Captain Marvel was a female, and that's probably why most people didn't like this film. I think he's right, from a legal standpoint. Actress Brie Larson said some semi-controversial things about racism and sexism in Hollywood. I do not need a 40-year-old white Terminator. dude to tell me what didn't work for him about A Wrinkle in Time. I love the sass she did there as well as she moved ahead. Didn't work for him. Yeah. I don't uh -huh. hate white dudes. I'm just saying. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, Brie Larson. I love that scene <laughs> where Reese Witherspoon turned into a giant CGI lettuce monster. It was the it best thing. It's thematic. I, also, I really loved when Michael Pena was a puppet that did absolutely nothing and just showed up for no reason. I just like the idea. It's a great movie, Brie. It's a theme about eating healthy. And, and then, like Red Light Media pointed out, it's like, what about the men who really liked that movie? <laughs> like the the four year old white men who said it was really good. What about them? Do they do they just do they also just, giant they Oprah? Count. That was that was really pivotal for me. I never thought I would see giant Oprah in a movie. Before. Giant Oprah? That's a suspicious. There, there was a suspicious amount of women in A Wrinkle in Time. There was. There, was. there were no giant midgets though. I thought that was fucked. Oh, okay, it gets a little off the hook. All right, fine, yeah. We need to be conscious of our bias and do our part to make sure that everyone is in the room. That led some people, predominantly uh, men, what to bias? Oh! Yeah, Guess it's that. like, you, you've already established that, like, we need to be conscious of our bias. Like, what, I, I'm biased towards good writing. You can't say midget, you say Inuit. <laughs> Midget. <laughs> oh my <Midget>. god. <laughs> uh, predominantly men, though. I just, yeah. Okay. 
That led some people, predominantly men, to boycott the film, which appears to have had no real Why effect. Why do people keep typing because, frog in the uh, chat? I love it when they make this argument. It appears to have had no effect. And it's like, you realize that whatever money it made, it could have made more money. That's just a fact of yeah, life. If it, if it makes a lot of money, it could not have made any more money. <laughs> yeah. No effect was had. It's like, well, it was successful, so your boycott didn't well. matter. Do you fucking remember? Oh, it was fucking fantastic. Um, it was the Toxic Brood guy. Because, again, I'd seen that episode again recently while I'd been out. Um, he said they ran a stupid boycott that was completely ineffective on Star Wars, um, but it damaged Solo's overall income and made it seem as though Star Wars yeah, is no longer feasible. Yeah. It was like an ineffective <laughs> boycott that was successful. <laughs> it's like, what? They, they like to run with to the back. whole ineffective thing. It's like, sure, Captain Marvel made less money than it would have. We already know this is true as long as one person says they wouldn't have gone, they would have gone to see it if not for what she said. Which, there's fucking plenty of them. I think, I'm pretty sure Jeremy from Geeks and Gamers didn't, has still not seen this movie just because of that shit. Because the movie did fine when it came out last summer. Fast forward to last week when the producer. Sure that I'm sure that has nothing to do with Infinity War and Endgame and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Also, nothing to do with that at all. This isn't very, and I know that it's kind of a meme to say this, because I'm not assuming his channel is supposed to be this, but it's not even very objective. It's like, why wouldn't you just get right into it and be like, all right, let's look at the legal implications of this whole scene, instead of being like, men have a problem with Captain Marvel. <laughs> like, okay, that's an interesting someone way to said, start. Uh, someone said uh, Solo only failed because of the lackluster boycott. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember that. <laughs> I think that, yeah, that actually might be the direct quote, which is fantastic, so. Producers of the movie released a deleted scene where Captain Marvel more or less beats up a guy on a motorcycle. Take it. Don't forget. Yeah, he's, he's literally telling her to take it so that he can be free of her extortion and her threats. And, She's and holding him hostage, too, by the if way. If we're going to start getting holding him hostage. Yeah, and if we're going to start getting pedantic, because he's going to with the law... She threatened to kill him because she said she would take his arm off, which uh, is a good chance he would bleed out before he can get the help he needs. That's going to essentially be treated like a temp. I think, I'm pretty sure legally at least, that would be treated essentially the same as a threat to his life. Look at him. He looks so scared. Like, I, He's like, All I, want I to feel do so is bad for him. I feel, I feel terrible. Poor Don. Yeah, man. he should never be put down like this. This is Poor fucked up. Don. And just, he's trying to help, too. That's the, really the worst part. I want to give this man his own movie. I want him to be the next Iron Man. <laughs> what, no smile? This led to a reaction on certain parts of the internet. No, Some called just the Captain internet. <laughs> like the YouTube section of the internet, yes. His head Marvel. looks like a rectangle. Maybe he's that's... trying to really downplay a lot of shit. He's oh, really trying totally. to frame this. Well, the... I mean, dude, he's really we, trying to frame. We this. covered the dude last episode who was like, "It's sexual harassment on the Dodds part." Like these people exist. Reaction on certain parts of the internet. What do you mean react? Why'd you do that with your hands? Captain Marvel, a villain. <laughs> I just see a villain. Oh, yeah. he got references. I forgot he does this. Yes, yeah, so yeah. this is by the way, fair game. He he references people, so we're allowed to respond to his video surely. I don't know yeah. how he works. You never know with YouTube. We could get stricken down with any new person we cover because they're all weird when it comes to criticism. But yeah, yeah. it's the quarter. And full disclosure, uh, I work for Jeremy, but I agree with him 100%. Captain Marvel's a fucking villain in this scene. <laughs> I agree too. <laughs> By definition. She... What, what, what even, like... <laughs> I can't believe we have to say it like as if it's a shock. Some called Captain Marvel a villain. I just see a villain. I see Captain Marvel written as a villain here. The scene's awful. Portrays Carol as a <laughs> villain. That's why they cut it. <laughs> Carol Danvers is Ooh, supposed Dave to Cullen be too. charismatic, endearing, and likable heroine of the film, but she behaves here like you'd expect a villain to behave. But apparently, yes. feminists believe that women encounter guys like this all the time, and it's such a hardship. And even conservative commentator yeah. Ben Shapiro gave this theory a signal boost. <laughs> Does she actually think that alienating people... Man, it is so empowering to watch a woman with superpowers physically hurt and then threaten to break a man's hand and steal his motorcycle and jacket because he said something rude to her. So empowering. Empowerment. Why is he I agree playing... With, I, 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 agree audio... with, I agree with the top Jew. There you go. Why is he playing an audio clip that is saying something different from the tweet on screen? I don't That's know. Weird. Maybe this is... 
This could be bad in show for, oh for, for all we know. Maybe he did it like that, but I'm assuming oh, this is legal legals editing. It, it's Eric Taxon's editing. <laughs> ah, <laughs> like no. me is going to be big box office? Of course not. She knows that. She's not completely dumb. Is that like a personal attack or something? The argument, as far as I can tell, <laughs> is as follows. The deleted scene shows that a man on a motorcycle is rude to Captain Marvel. In yes. a totally unprovoked attack, Captain attack. Marvel effectively beats the hell out of oh, the guy right. and steals mm -hmm. his motorcycle. I thought he was talking about Instead the Don at using first. using her words, Captain Marvel engages in violence and is therefore the villain. The problem with this yes. argument... Yes. Uh, okay, here we go. Yes. <laughs> I'm excited now because we're, we're finally here. So, oh, boy. Uh, here we go. In ...violence and is therefore the villain. The problem no, with this argument not now. is that it is legally and morally incorrect. Wait, what time are you guys on? Uh, I'll draw you back again. 3.13? It's 3.10 Instead of me. using... You guys on 3.03 now? It's 3.10. It's 3.10 to legal legal. Uh, can one of you guys pull it back to 3.05, let's say? That should work. It's 3.04 for me. And, and Wolf? It's 3.03 for me. In her words, Captain Marvel engages in violence and is therefore the villain. The problem yeah. with this argument is that it is legally and morally incorrect. What? Morally incorrect? <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> morally I was thinking, incorrect. Man, if he, if, he, if he takes this from a purely objective, this is what the law says, detachment kind of position, that would be one thing, but to say morally... Incorrect. Fuck you, dude. You're a monster. <laughs> in, in fairness, can we roll it back a bit? Because I thought that he was saying that, like, our side was saying it was morally incorrect, not his side. Captain Marvel effectively beats the hell out of the guy and steals his motorcycle. Instead of using her words, Captain Marvel engages in violence and is therefore the villain. The problem with this argument is that it is legally and morally incorrect. Okay, never mind. He really is a monster. He really is a monster. I was what giving him more benefit of the doubt than I should have. Jesus Christ. But like, oh my God. this is ex kind of like, Explain how it's morally correct to steal his motorcycle after the fact. I, love, I, like, I, I can't guy. wait for that. I'm already past the, the shock kind of part, and I'm in like apathy land where I'm like, he's not serious. He is serious. Fuck. My God. This is the kind of guy that would be on the OJ Simpson dream team well so this is the Look thing a lot of people have commented on the video like this is like the whole the idea of like the slimy lawyer like we've talked uh, this is terrible uh so the uh, like for anybody in chat who's unaware lawyers have a really bad reputation in general in life because <laughs> a lot of them will fight their asses off to save horrible people because you can do that and the, and the, the, that should be possible because law is very the reason we have all this law shit is so that you have to prove someone is guilty because that's very important. Um, and if you do enough, I'd love to see his uh, his moral argument for why destroying the Don's life is a good idea. And so, if you're a really he was give that motorcycle to someone, if you're a really good that? lawyer, then you can get guilty, like straight up guilty people. There's those movies about this, like fucking lawyers who work their asses off to just make guilty people look innocent. Loads of criminal lawyers will be paid massive amounts of money to do their best to manipulate as much as they can with the law. And we're talking about stuff like, um, well, he's gonna go over it in this video. And this is the thing, like, he's become the stereotype lawyer in this video, where he's defending this horrific monster as like, she's morally okay. You're like, what? <laughs> and as someone has mentioned in the chat, uh, he is a lawyer, so his moral compass dot dot dot. <laughs> I don't begrudge these commentators too much. Not to say that all lawyers are horrible in mm -hmm. people, you know, but... Well, I mean, he, he's trying to argue in favor of Captain Marvel, like, beating up the Don for asking her to smile. So... Apparently Dick yeah. Masterson is a fan of this content, is he? Someone said that on a super show. You mean of EFAP or of him? Yeah, I don't know, is it of EFAP or our videos? I have no idea. Anyway, kicking off. Mm attempt at being contrarian it's just that the evidence doesn't really support this argument uh -huh. and the attempts to shoehorn this movie and in particular this deleted scene into a particular conservative narrative why does it have to be conservative conservative i didn't realize i was conservative this is news to conservative? me conservative i have heard like fucking hell like obviously ben shapiro is conservative but Am like I? when you say like now when you say conservative, what do you mean by that? Because that's that covers a really potentially broad swath of different things, depending on what you mean when you say that. It's like 
left and right wing. Like they're very kind of ambiguous. They're especially nowadays. Like I, when people say stuff like conservative, liberal, left, right, I want to know what they mean by that instead of just throwing it out there. Because there's nothing here. There, there, there's no aspect well, would, about the scene that would be a conservative or liberal thing. I would have thought liberals would find it pretty in the in the bad, you know, mode here. But I don't know. But let's let's see if he develops that. Just doesn't really work. Now I'll note on the side that uh, I'm not in a habit of commenting on this kind of popular minutia, but it just so yeah, happens maybe that shouldn't. I was in the process of writing a practice exam for uh, law students, a, a law school hypothetical, uh, that involved a very similar fact pattern to what is portrayed in the deleted scenes. And as a second aside, I'm going to go through this clip in what some might consider excruciating detail because that- Well, you're on the right show for that, my friend. That's what you do All in All right. School. Legal analysis is mostly factual analysis, and so- I imagine it should be. <laughs> Legal analysis is mostly factual. What else would it be? I guess you could talk about like when 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 witnesses have to like explain mental damage or how they felt about the situation. I guess that wouldn't be factual. I don't know. Also, um, someone in chat mentioned um, there's mostly such a factual, thing. Mostly factual. I'm seeing mostly well, factual. Mostly. Someone, someone mentioned legal morality is different from philosophical morality. What's uh, what is what exactly is legal morality? Immorality. <laughs> Satan's morality. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he'll explain that. So, since this particular fact pattern was so close to what I was already working on, I thought it would be a great opportunity to talk about some of the legal analysis that law students and lawyers go through on an everyday basis. But, let's examine the clip. Alright, clearly a Los Angeles strip mall. I would recognize that architecture, or lack thereof, anywhere. Hello. Nice scuba suit. Okay. There he is, in all of his glory. There he is, there's the Don. Oh. <laughs> See, and that's a really... The, the helmet, that's protecting the shit out of him. He knows what he's doing when he buys these sorts yeah, of Yeah, because things. he's vulnerable. He knows he's mortal. He knows yeah, and he he, didn't... there's a lot riding on him surviving. He it has was... to be safe think... for all the kids and, you know. Do you think that the helmet, it, like, he puts it on his head to mask his insecurities and he takes it off because for the first time since the death of his wife, he, he wasn't insecure anymore, he was brave? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I, I think that he, he just knows that he wants to set a good example for like kids, especially. You want to wear your helmet. You want to be safe. <laughs> People post it all like the in love emojis. <laughs> oh, I can't, I, I can't wait Don for too. the day that Don rides up on his motorcycle next to me and offers to take me for a ride. Fucking hell, I am jumping on that bike so goddamn fast. <sighs> just the bike? I mean, well, one thing at a time. Other I don't want to get too ahead of myself. <laughs> you need a ride, darling? Yes, yeah, she does. Okay, so clearly here, Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers, is reading a map of a newspaper. She's minding her own what business. kind of newspapers have maps in them? Did you say newspaper? He's like, he's, she's reading a map or a newspaper. I'm like, it's a map. <laughs> it, he's like, a lawyer. It's Maybe he's trying to be careful. He's like, I better not say it's one thing, but it could be another thing. Is reading a map or a newspaper. She's minding her own business, and some guy on a motorcycle has uh, parked his motorcycle at the strip mall, and he has made an unwanted overture. Not the most polite How does he thing. know it's unwanted? Unwanted How at overture. the time does he know it's unwanted? An unwanted overture. So, by this logic, any time you engage in conversation with anybody in public, that's an unwanted overture? And you know the idea of, like, someone's reading a book and you pull it down a bit just to be like, hello? It's like, that's an unwanted overture. And if you remember, Brown Table's assessment was sexual harassment, so... I mean, yeah. if I was out in public... Re well, first off, I wouldn't be reading a book out in public, but if I was, and someone, like tilted it down i'd be irritated but i wouldn't be like you're sexually harassing me yeah i would i would just like if if someone said that to me and i wasn't interested and i just flipped the map back like clearly showing i'm not interested and then he came up to me and pushed down the map a little bit with his hands i would just like well actually what, i do a, kind of a 
a story I can relate it to. Story time, I... story time, story time. Everyone sit down, yep, sit down. Story time, story Everyone time. Everyone sit down, Wolf. story time. Legs crossed. So, <laughs> so a couple months ago, I was getting my tires rotated at... Oh, uh, is that what they call it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right, you're getting your tires rotated. What was his name? Uh, you don't need to know that information. Oh, There's a few oh. guys. Oh, yeah. a whole crew. All the, all, the, uh, all the pet boys, huh? Yeah, it was a team effort. So anyway, I was getting my tires rotated, and I was waiting for to to finish the tire rotation, well, and I was reading my fine, book. Man. Exactly. And I was reading my book, and... Were, were there any rubber involved? Any rubbers involved? Yeah, sure. Were the rubber involved? Anyway, the there, was this, right? there was this old lady who looked over, and she was like, Do you like Stephen King? Because oh. it was a Stephen King book, and I was like, yeah, I do. And she was like, my son likes Stephen King, too. And I was like, okay, <laughs> that's great. Was this, was this person <laughs> Stephen a, King? A hideous creature? Like, <laughs> well, well, she was an old woman, so yeah, in a way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and the whole time I was like, can you just shut up and let me read? So, but again, she wasn't sexually harassing me. Can you imagine if I stood up, <laughs> pointed at this old woman, and I just screamed at the top of my lungs, SEXUAL HARASSMENT! Then you hit it with the book. <laughs> <laughs> Would I have been legally in my rights to do that? I believe so. Well, let's find out, actually. I don't know. Beat the shit out to of To do, her. but uh, not illegal, either. And of course, I guess I have to point out that Captain Marvel is fully within her Did rights to completely to smile? ignore this gentleman. <laughs> and oh, he's just reassured us that Captain Marvel was, is within oh, her shoot. rights to ignore him. Oh, wow, really? I don't know if you guys knew that. But, uh, yep. I've got, I put that law degree to work, yes. Yep. <laughs> and not engage with him in any way, shape, or form. That is also perfectly legal. How about a smile from me, huh? A smile? Yeah. I'm offering to help you. The least you could do is give me a smile. Okay, this is the crucial act that takes oh, this place is? that really changes the narrative entirely. The man oh. on the motorcycle has parked his The motorcycle. Don. The Don, yeah. Can is you, his name. Can we, can his we, name is The Don. If we're gonna be lawyers here, can we please be accurate? He's taken his helmet off. He stood... <laughs> like, he yeah, mentions that. Yeah, that's what that. you do when you <laughs> take off your motorcycle. <laughs> he mentions that as if it's important <laughs> to the, the violence aspect of it. It's like he's taken his helmet off. If he had kept the helmet on, then Captain Marvel would have been way out of line because he God, took he, his helmet off. He acts yeah. like the world abides by the rules of SpongeBob, where <laughs> all the bikers just wear their helmets everywhere they go. <laughs> he, the Don took his off, dude. Holy fuck. Crazy. He stood up, he walked over to Captain Marvel, he put <gasps> his hand on the map that she was <gasps> holding. Oh, oh no. He is clearly right next to her. You can see that his arm is- <laughs> He's clearly right next to her. He's clearly right- Yeah, that's how people talk. They get next to each other. No, they scream at each other from across the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how about a smile for me? <laughs> then you just hear, SEXUAL <laughs> HARASSMENT! <laughs> They're like I screaming will at each you other. To the authorities. Arm is sort of angled, which means that the distance between Captain Marvel and himself must be just a matter of inches, because it's not a matter like of was... inches. Uh, a matter of inches. Any look. First off, the distance between any two points is okay. a matter of inches. <laughs> <laughs> no, first... I know what you. I know what you mean without being an asshole. Don't try and warp this. I would be also, like, objection, that's fucking retarded. We can, can see can the we film. It, can we pull it back to like a picture of the Don? Not okay, just okay. because I want to see his and amazing on, face, but because it, that looks like it's a good like two feet or so. Probably three feet. Maybe, yeah, yeah, call it nearly like a meter. foot and a half, two feet. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not just like, it's not like he's in her face like an inch away. Yeah. Like she's there, there's she's plenty of space. You can safely say she's, she's, she's at he, least half he extended her arm, and he's half extended his arm, and they connect in the middle, which means they're a good arm's length away from each other. And they connect in the middle. <sighs> yeah, that's just, that's how... <sighs> did, did the lawyers not talk to people in the real world? That's how you go up to someone and you talk to them. <laughs> Also, the pause I've got is pretty funny. Have you guys got the same one? Um, <laughs> I see yeah. it on the stream. 
<laughs> oh, we need the screenshot. Hold on. Oh, yeah, don't, I see it. I don't, see it on don't the play screen. it. I, I, I need it the, the screenshot of that real quick. It's it's a good representation of how I feel about her movie. Okay, I got it. Beautiful. On the map that she was holding and is <gasps> clearly right next to her. You can see that yes. his arm is sort wow. of angled, which I'm means that the distance between... It just reminds me of, if I was sitting across from somebody talking to someone, someone analyzed it and they were like, he's, you have to agree, he has come here today, he came to, he came to the table quite quickly, he sat down in a fast way, straight edged, he faced the person, and you're like, what, what, what are you saying all of this for? What, what, what does this add to? Like, why do you say it all like this? <laughs> you're trying to say all of this is in, in favor of the idea that the dot is aggressive? Is that it? Is that where you're going? Captain Marvel and himself must be just a matter of inches because it's not like he was reaching out with his hand in an extended fashion. He's reaching out his hand in a way that makes it seem like the map is directly in front of him. And <laughs> the map is directly in front of him. That is true. Almost like it is. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand that point at all. <laughs> you yeah. reach hard. It's literally right in front of him. You can see it in every single shot, whether it's from her her perspective or his. This also, dude is a lawyer. You guys, your if avatars are both looking at anything, me now. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, hey, Mahler. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'll pick what's rags over after, here. What's hey. you doing after, uh, after Eve? Hell yeah, today, of course Mahler. you'll pick me. I'm freshly showered Usually he makes and contact freshly with sugared. The map that Captain Marvel is holding pulls it down and says something bit, that might yeah. be interpreted as a threat. How about a Oof. smile? That's interpretable as a threat. That? How is that a threat? Well, what, what is the threat of being done? Smiling? How um, is that bad? Would it be that she could argue that she felt that he was going to do something to her if she didn't smile? Is that is that the argument? Well, then what would be the implication? I don't know. This is the thing. If someone like, said, like, what, what, what would he do? What would he do? Like, treat her to a nice dinner, give her some money. But like, tell let's him, say you were you, you were walking like, out of the room. Women reparations. If you were walking out of the room and I went, Wolf, where are you going? Someone could be like, Oh, that sounded like a threat. Oh wow! Are you asking me a question? But if I are said you me to do something, I was going to say, if I said information about my personal life. Hey, Wolf, where are you going? Someone would be like, That's kind of a threat. And then if I went, Hey, Wolf, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, where are you going, man? I was like, no, how could you? And the way he asks are, it, are you saying we, that he yeah, would he ask, is that like a personal attack or something? Yes. And this is the thing: we get to assume we have this as video evidence, by the way, because his whole case is made up of the idea that we see all of this. So, yeah, um, like we're a witness, like the, the camera. So, if you have a jury and they're supposed to decide whether or not what he just said is a threat, I think it would be quite the fucking stretch. But then I realized when I was thinking about that, I was like, what if people like Brown Table were in the jury? He'd be like, yeah, this was sexual harassment. And then the other jurors would be like, what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? Be like, oh. What if all the other jurors are the same? What if, like, that's mm -hmm. the world we're heading toward? We're asking someone to smile will land you in, like, six years jail. Also, yeah, someone like, said in chat, she did look at the Dawn first. She gave him the, the eye, the male gaze. That's true. Just like Bree is giving you the female. Yeah, that's Mar. true. Just like Rags is giving you the doggo gaze. Mm. For me, this guy is not a particularly nice guy. How do you conclude Whoa. that? Whoa. How do you conclude that? Whoa. 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 How fucking dare you? Okay, you so worthless name piece me, of garbage. Name me one thing that he did that isn't nice. I mean, granted, if I'm looking at this objectively, not memeing, obviously, I, the whole like. Uh, she clearly didn't want to talk to him and he pulls down the newspaper, right? Like, if I was in that situation, I'd be pretty irritated with him, too. But there's nothing he did that was, like, horrible by any stretch. Yeah, it's not like a, it's like a very, like, this is something that anybody could do. He could be a saint, and he is, but he could be a saint and do this, and it's not like the pearly gates are getting <laughs> shut for him or anything. Don't get it's, it. It's like he just asked her to smile. He asked if she needed a ride anywhere. Literally oh. offered to help her. <laughs> yeah, but he said it Literally. in an aggressive, evil <laughs> way. But yeah, he's not a nice guy. We've concluded this now. 
And crucially here, he has invaded Captain Marvel's space. This is a crucial distinction that we'll talk about crucial. in just a second. Because in my opinion, I think that that Your opinion is incorrect. definition of assault and battery. You're kidding. Wow. Oh, in your shit. opinion, her threatening to rip his arm off and twisting his hand to the point that he can't move is not assault yeah, and battery. Wolf, but Wolf, because I, I skipped, I guess, you I I skipped point, through this. I, I guess he's going to justify that. Oh He's got, well, God. yeah, of course he will. He would also justify O.J. Simpson. You know, people did that too. It doesn't make. He would justify easy. Daenerys oh, Targaryen <laughs> and Luke oh Skywalker. It's like imagine make... like Sergeant, like uh, Captain Marvel goes to court and wants to put this man through court and say assault and battery, and he's like, "I I touched her map, Your Honor." That's yeah, not that, a this is the I, thing. I just I touched her map a little bit. He might be able to argue it semantically, which we will we will check out for sure if he can. But uh, legally, in like a court with a jury, they would never swallow this shit. They would be like, how the yeah, fuck is that assault and battery? Yeah, assault and battery. Fucking hell, man. But yeah, well, he does get into the terminology, so we'll have to check it out. Nothing to help you. The least you could do is give me a smile. So, his hand has left the map. He is <laughs> okay. still standing very He's... close to her, but okay. it appears that his arms are at his... It's not, it's not exactly that much closer than like a cashier and a customer. Yeah, like if you brush hands with someone while you're giving them your credit card, or if you're just you go up to somebody, just pat them on the shoulder. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Or something like that. It's like it's such a brief. He just he pushes it down for a second, and then he retreats his hand. His intentions are obvious and clear. He just wanted to move the map out of the way so to it, to make eye contact with her. The one in chat said the children's screams can be seen as a threat. Da Daenerys was justified. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I mean, if you see a bunch of people on fire running for you, that could be seen yeah. as very... Oh, they're trying Especially... to set me on fire. I, I mean, granted, you were the one that started the fire, but, you know, if they're running towards you, it could be like, well, I've got to set them on fire even more. Oh, my God, this person is stupid. Yeah. Side, and Captain Marvel has taken the map, put it to the side, and she's about to confront this man. How about a handshake? <laughs> It was so he's polite. I, 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 love, I love that little handshake. Look at that. He's so on board with it. It's a. It, it's literally a polite. There's nothing you could even misconstrue it as other than just like being like, okay. You know, and she was one who instigated. He, he consented. It, 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 it was wonderful. It, it can't be stressed enough. He's happy to get the handshake. He smiles. He's like, oh, handshake. I love to think that if this scene continued and she didn't electrocute him, he'd be like, where are you going? Like, so, uh, and maybe offers her a ride. Just that simple. I want to see the movie. I know what we've if, been over this before, but I want to see it now. What if Captain Marvel said, you know, I'm actually in a relationship right now, um, but I, I really do actually need a ride. Could you take me to, you know, spot X? I would really, really appreciate that. The Dawn would be like, absolutely. He would. I, even though I know that, you know, you're not on the market, I would absolutely take you to position X where you need to go. Jesus, man. Because he's out to ride anyway. That's what he's out riding. He's got his jacket. He's got his helmet, his goggles. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day. He's out to ride. At least have some company. Man, oh. Don is love. I agree, chat. I'm Veers. Don is life. People call me the Don. Wow. And then he tries to pull his hand back. He's done. Look at he's that. He's so confused. He's he's like, why would why would this be happening? I was having a good time. Yeah. He's like he's he's done with the handshake. He tries. To, he's the one who tries to pull away. He's like the handshake's over. I she said her name. I've said my name. I am pulling back the handshake. I'm no longer going to be touching her because she offered me this handshake. She offered me the handshake, and I am done with the handshake, and I'm pulling back. Oh, this makes me so angry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Someone said the Don is in a relationship with God. He wasn't even hitting on <laughs> the oh. and he gives rides to orphans <laughs> regularly, apparently. So there is a Jesus in but, every smile. The Don is basically the same character that Rob Williams played in August Rush. He like takes care of all the orphans in the home. There's not really a limit to his goodness, you know? Robin Williams, right? Or am I thinking of somebody else? <laughs> All right, so they I both like engage they in what could be considered, what could be a, considered consensual a consensual handshake. handshake. Uh, which oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, you could consider it a consensual a consensual handshake, considering she said, 
how about a handshake? And then extends her hand for a handshake. And he said, oh yeah. And then he also takes her hand. What the fuck? You could consider that consensual, It could yes. be merely considered. And I guess electric you I actually didn't see the movie, so I don't know exactly what her powers are. Uh, but God, clearly... just just think about God and change nothing. <laughs> she has <laughs> God powers from space. Wait, sorry, let me go back. Did he say that he wasn't sure of her power? Was it? At which point, Captain Marvel then begins to squeeze and I guess electrocute this guy. I actually didn't see the movie, so I don't know. You didn't see the movie. <laughs> You well, don't have to see the movie. You let me highlight why it's important. Context you need is here. I was gonna say, let me hi well, it's still important that he hasn't seen the movie, especially for a legal case, because this is not a human being we're talking about. It's an alien god. You would know this if if it was a legal case, because if you could get her into a court, <laughs> which is gonna be pretty unlikely. Oh, oh um, my god, someone said the Don used to play the guitar for the orphans. Used to. Oh. Then she ruined his hand, and now he can't play the guitar anymore. Now the poor orphans will never, able, never be able to hear the music he produces. She ruined his life. I don't understand how you... Like, you, Is he aware that she's like a super powerful god, or no? Because that would be relevant in the court case, right? Just like how... I mean, you would... You can't hurt... Like, he's not even physically capable of hurting her? I'm... Uh tiny little bit of research like the bare minimum of you you need to establish people's power levels and potentials for these kinds of scenarios like if a child attacks you as an adult then obviously you, you have incredible power over the child and it can't really hurt you but you could do anything to the kid so yeah, and, and that is, obviously is going to play in the legality of it this is where the jury comes in as well because if the kid slapped you on your leg and then you kicked them and they were like i'm literally talking like three foot right now you kick them in the chest and they fling across the room and they get permanent, like, organ damage or something. And the jury saw that video, they would just be like, this is, this is fucking wrong. And they go, and the lawyer's like, it's self-defense. He was slapped on the back it's of the leg. It's self-defense, okay, yeah, I get slapped on the back And the jury would be like, that's hilarious, you're wrong. <laughs> you can't yeah. possibly. <laughs> like, I could just swore you tried to defend yourself So, there. I've clearly got a lot of guilty. faith in the potential jury right now. Like, I'm just hoping juries aren't retarded, but, yeah, I don't know electrocute this guy. I actually didn't see the movie, so I don't know exactly what her powers God. are. Uh, but he's clearly in pain as a result of this grip that Captain Marvel has uh, put on in this. I'm glad that he actually acknowledged that the Dom was in pain, because most people would just be like, nah, nah, he deserved it. Doesn't even, whatever he's, whatever's going on there. Like, this man is clearly in pain. It's like, thank you. For, for, uh... Look at how flat that ass is. Oh. Someone said, here's some legalese for you. Assault with a deadly weapon, because that's what her powers are. Yes, absolutely assault with a deadly weapon. Like, I was, I think you I said You don't even it, need to I, make that I, point, because she it up threatens to kill stream. him. Like, yeah, I think it brought up on a previous stream. It's like, imagine, like, they, these are real-world scenarios you can compare this to. Like, if she had a gun, and she used that gun to threaten his life... You could just swap swap out the powers for a handgun. Boom. Yeah, but what if he said it was in self-defense because he asked her to smile? Come on. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Oh, fucking shoot him. Three in the chest. I mean, it's only reasonable. Six to the back of the head. Suicide. He's clearly in pain as a result of this grip that Captain Marvel has uh, put on in this handshake. Here's a proposition yeah. for you. You're going to give me your jacket, your helmet, and your motorcycle, and in return... Also, we're halfway through this. He's trying to pull back. Uh, I hope he's... Because there's no defense for his stealing his shit, surely, because that's not even relevant to whether or not it was self-defense. Unless you make an argument like she was trying to run away from him. <laughs> as, as he literally like flees you. into the store looking for help. Extortion. Let me, let me look up extortion real quick. The practice of obtaining something, especially money, through force or threats. She's literally committing extortion right now. Oh, definitely. She's 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 framing it as I'm allowing you to purchase your life. Well, she's like, I I give me your shit, or I will physically hurt you. What? No smile. Okay, so why do I think that this may qualify as assault and battery? Well, battery is a criminal offense involving the unlawful physical contact or touching of another. So, is what he did. 
fair under this definition? I don't think so. I think because we have enough precedents in society, I, I think any lawyer, anybody, any normal person would say, if we're going to use this definition for battery without applying anything contextual to it, then every time you come into contact with somebody else, that's battery. What? You bought something at the cashier store and you brushed their hand while giving them your credit card? That's battery. What? You bumped into somebody accidentally when you're waiting in line some plate? That's battery. Someone taps you on the shoulder to say hello or that's battery. I mean, it's... Well, I'm curious. This, this is the thing. If we're really allowed to do this, it's like if I poked rags and he was in a mood with me, and like I literally just poked him, could he actually accuse me of battery? Like, that's ridiculous. That would be... Like, you can't just make contact with somebody. Yeah, but, I mean, battery is a criminal offense involving the unlawful physical contact of another person. He considered didn't even touch harmful, her, I guess. But look at that. Considered offensive? Also, it's it's very important to note that, um, well, I, cause I took that uh, enhanced concealed carry license uh, class uh, about a week ago. You are not allowed. Uh, now, this will vary by state to state, I think, to some degree. But here in Arkansas... You cannot use your handgun. You can't use the threat of deadly force or deadly force to defend your property. Mm -hmm. So even if somebody is the law as it currently stands in my state. So pets, if someone is beating the shit out of your dog, you can't legally shoot them. If someone is killing your chattel. Really? You can't? You can't. No, you can't. Well, extend... I'm if someone's beating my dog, I'm sure. Face. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's like, I don't yeah. care. Like, well, that's, that's, like, what the, that's what the law is. You have to come up with something else. You can't stupid just shoot them. You shoot, a, can yeah, you well, wound you them? You can't just shoot them. Um, it depends how you wound them. If you shoot them and you wound them, uh, just using the gun is using deadly force. So even firing warning shots is the I mean, use if they're, of... If they're animal. like literally beating your animal, though, that's... It's yeah, well, something you're going to have do. to do Is something. that not violent? It, it's violent, but it's violence to property under the law. So you have to come up with some other method of getting your dog away that doesn't involve deadly force. If you want to stay you know, legally protected, um, there, are, there are circumstances <laughs> where assault, like if somebody sets fire to your house while you're in it, you can use self-defense, obviously, because that's immediate you know, bodily, you know, potential bodily harm to you. Um, if somebody, so generally if you have property that counts as like a living space and people damage that while you're in it, yeah, absolutely. If, if there's actual credible threat to your life, but in a case like this with Captain Marvel, that map, I don't, I, I think you'd really have to stretch to get a jury to say, That's, yeah, this is she my thing. can legal. You might yeah. be able to stretch it semantically, but no jury is going to agree with this. You'd have I'm to be not insane. Wrong. Someone says, chat, you're wrong. He's like, I literally just took this six hour class like a week ago for my state. Like, I, I would love to, I'd love for you to tell me where I'm wrong. Someone's, people keep saying I'm going to be what isn't deadly going force? full John Wick. What is deadly <laughs> force? No, 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 no. Once you shoot the gun, that's using deadly force because you're shooting a gun. But this is what the law is, man. I gotta. <laughs> This is shit I was gonna that say they teach you it does. Class. It does sound like Rags is just repeating what he was told. It's not like we, you're... Have, we have. Yeah, we have legal precedent. People have been sent to jail for firing warning shots at people who have invaded, you know, personal or private property because firing the gun is using deadly force because it's a gun. But you said you're allowed. Jesus. Are you allowed to shoot someone who's broken into your house? Um, for the most part. What do you mean? For the <laughs> most part. Yeah, for, yeah, if for the most part. they broke in, then when, what's the exception to the most part? If you had a scenario where, so, because I don't want to give a blanket always yes, just why I say generally yes. There can be scenarios where someone is in your house, but they are not in any way a threat to you. Um, for instance, most of the time when the police get the call of somebody being found in someone else's house, like it's some a, retarded dude who like just no like actually yeah it's like a drunk goes into the wrong house like this is a real thing that happens so if yeah, you wake okay. up and there's a drunk person that. in your couch well, sleeping you can't shoot him that would okay, be murder. That makes sense. yeah stuff like that and and i was gonna say probably a child right like if a five-year-old broke a piece of glass and then climbed into your house and you were to shoot them dead you'd probably be in some trouble there potentially 
Say, say that one more time, sorry. So if like a five-year-old kid broke the glass of like a window or something and climbed into your house and then you shot them dead, you'd probably be in pretty big trouble in it. Yeah, if, if a five-year-old breaks into your house, like throws, just throws a brick through the window or whatever, breaks it and crawls in, there is no way you can shoot him. Mm -hmm. There's just no way. But yeah, like I said, semantic, well, you know what, let's see how he applies this. But generally, like, generally when people break into your house, the scenario that you think of, have got people there to rob you and they've got crowbars or whatever. Yeah, generally, yes. In, which to is defend your considered life, yeah. harmful or offensive. And battery is distinct from the separate crime of assault, which is the act of creating the apprehension Good of... five-year-old has a gun. <laughs> <laughs> what is assault? Assault is any know. credible threat or attempt to create apprehension of harmful contact. Interestingly, he does say, I think, like Korpav, it was that most people mix up assault and battery, and I'm definitely one of those people. I didn't realize assault was this. I always assumed assault was actually hitting people. But a credible threat. And a, it's a credible threat. And for chat, this stand your ground isn't a law that applies to every state. Arkansas is actually a duty to retreat state, but it's not what generally people think duty to retreat is. It's not... It, it's a fine... I have no problem with the concept of duty to retreat as it's legally uh, defined, essentially. And, and look at this this uh, definition. Assault is any credible threat or attempt to create apprehension. Well, so Which this is those exactly this is why we have a jury. Yeah, though, right? So wait, wait. So like, so like, what it, was the it, threat wait. and what was the apprehension? If I had a chainsaw and I was bringing it down on your head and you roll backwards to avoid it and you have video of this, a jury can conclude that that was assault for sure. But if I had my hand just above your head by like an inch and I was patting you and I went to do a two inch pat and you rolled away and you were like that was a credible threat a jury would be like you're a fucking joke this, that's why the jury controls this right these are these are just guidelines to set up the the prosecution slash defense and then the jury has to decide whether or not it's a fair uh, application of the law is that how it works or am I making shit up <laughs> anyone yeah I'm just this is, it's odd that he brought this up because I mean, from her perspective, there's no way he could do anything to her, and she knows it. <laughs> Mola gives head right. pats confirmed. <laughs> there's no way. Yeah, I'm not a lawyer. That's why I I just assume that that's how this works. Because fucking hell, if we were to go by as long as it can fit this definition, wouldn't like everyone be in jail by now? Because <laughs> it's like someone looked at me; it was a credible threat. Contact or unlawful touching. There are two flavors of battery in most jurisdictions. There's the crime of battery, which is prosecuted by the state, and then there's also the tort of battery, which is what you would accuse someone of if you wanted to sue them for civil damages in a law. Michigan is a state uh, in which your stand your ground laws apply, so have fun shooting the guy who beats your dog. Oh, okay. sweet! I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, like even if it was against the. If I saw a dude yeah. like beating up my dog, it's like if I got a gun. I was gonna like, say a lot uh, of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah a lot of people would shoot him anyway. It would be tough I, to I, not I do wish that. That was uh, yeah. I mean, I, it would be tough to friend. not. Do. If, tough. if I was in that situation, unless I was like sure beyond a shadow of a doubt, like my dog was going to die any second, then I'd probably just point it at him and I'd be like, "Get get the hell away from my dog!" Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm but, definitely down with the idea that if you start going around beating someone's dog and they shoot your ass, it's like, well. I'm going to, it's going to be tough for you to garner any sympathy with me, my dude. Prosecuted by the state. And then there's also the tort of battery, which is what you would accuse someone of if you wanted to sue them for civil damages in a lawsuit. Uh, but most of this discussion should apply to both. By way of example, California Penal Code Section 242 defines battery as any willful and unlawful use of force or violence upon... John didn't person. pet ghosts for fear of assault or battery. <laughs> <laughs> any willful and unlawful use of force upon another person is probably the one he's going to be trying to use. ...of another. To meet this criteria... I guess maybe he's going to try to stretch the definition of He's going to stretch the shit out of it. Stretch the, the fuck out of that definition. <laughs> ...has to be able to prove that the defendant intentionally and unlawfully touched another person in a harmful or offensive manner, and the second element, which is that the defendant did not act offensive. in self-defense... Uh, or in the defense of so he's saying, as long as you can prove that the Don was not acting in self-defense, which, yeah, you can say that, and that uh, what he did could be looked at as, as a possible threat, 
then no no i'd say i'd say the only thing that they would even have a chance of doing is running with is is running with offensive yeah, because there's no that... way that Jerry's going to consider that a threat. Well, so they're people, gonna, people in chat, definitely run the... people in chat saying he didn't touch it. He is going to counter cover that in a second because this gets so loopholy. It makes me hate lawyers even more. Of someone else, can I As just say any... that that is a beautiful, like extremely favorable profile shot of the Don? Like he should yes. use that for his <laughs> IRL Jeez. Facebook picture. It's fucking gorgeous, man. Just keep like, it that is light. I can't handle the real thing. <laughs> even oh. the slightest touch. <laughs> can be enough to satisfy the battery statute if it's done without consent or in a harmful or offensive but way. But she in was fact, the yeah, one who asked people. him for the handshake. It can be counted, but it would never get through court unless you have extreme circumstances, such as it was an old person teetering on the edge of a fucking staircase and you touched them and then they fell over and died by falling down the stairs, right? Like, and a jury would have to see the video evidence that I'd be like, yeah, you fucking killed them. <laughs> like, I just touched them. Um, no, it's not murder. It's just, just a, little, a little nudge. A little nudge. In a harmful or offensive way. In fact, you learn very early on in law school about the so-called eggshell skull theory, which is that if you make contact with someone who has... Oh, yeah, so there you go. The idea that there are people out there that if you do a tiny, tiny touch to, you could potentially kill them. Um, but the thing is, wouldn't this again isn't applicable, Captain Marvel? The jury would never allow this to go through. Legal principle that states that the frailty, weakness, sensitivity, or feebleness of a victim cannot be used as a defense in a tort case. That won't apply to Captain Marvel. Well, wouldn't it be the reverse if anything? She's super powerful. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. She can't be harmed in basically any way. In any way. <laughs> Someone said a uh, eggshell response theory. <laughs> <laughs> eggshell, egg milk. I can't wait. Yeah, some people say that would apply to him. Yeah, like again, we'd have to be. I think it's fair to say we we'd be aware of her abilities in this court case. Fragile skeleton. Oh, she fucking implied. in the video. She electrocutes him with her hands. So we'd be like, she's clearly not human. Or she's, yeah, it's a part of his suit, and then they'd have to analyze the suit and find out the voltage, and yeah. then they find out it's just her. I'd assume that, yeah, I, I assume that we would know, because all this court stuff would happen after the events of the movie, in which case, everything that they'd know, and they'd get all, the, they'd have all the info that essentially the audience would know. This isn't because a if they didn't, case. then that would be, it wouldn't be a fair court case. Everyone is frail to the is dog. <laughs> As a skull that is as thin as an eggshell, you're liable for those damages, even if the kind of touching that you do would not even hurt another person. But if it's enough to hurt someone with a very unusual condition, what we call the eggshell skull, I don't actually know if that is an actual medical condition or not, that's enough to make you on the hook for the damages that you cause as a result of your unconsented to touching or battery in this case and she asked a... him for the handshake i it think was i think he's talking clip. about the map thing you... the map you can't because there's no, there's no way he's talking about the handshake that she offered no yeah i there's actually no do way. think there is a chance i'm pretty sure he's about to justify it i'm i'm a little lost right now i'm confused what point he's trying to make i'm assuming he's about to bring it around yeah important. like if is i was in the jury i'd be like i'd raise my hands like judge question are we talking about him <laughs> touching the map for that second or the handshake she offered him? he hit the map <laughs> cause as a result of your unconsented to touching or battery in this case. And almost as important is that the contact requirement with another person is satisfied even if it's just touching their clothing or if you touch something that is immediately connected to that. There we go. We've come full circle. So if I was to poke rags in the eye, that's very different from me poking him in the contact lens because it's not his eye, but it would still potentially do the exact same kind of damage. And then you can extend that forward to glasses he's wearing or a gas mask that I fucking poke right through. And he's about to say, like, if Rags was holding a rope, I don't know, and I pulled it really hard without you realizing, I could really do damage to your arm um, if you were, you know, grasping it hard. Yeah, so. you just pull me down, you just pull me down, and I'd fall on the ground. And so he's right, but fucking hell. 
we were talking about the map here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, I was like, is that law real? Is is the spirit of that law that you have to convince a jury about? Is that really gonna be in one of those situations where you're hurting people's immediate articles? Is the jury gonna be like, oh yeah, that's battery what you did? It's like, Ooh. and this is the thing. That's why we actually get to have a valid response to this because we could potentially be in that jury. Yeah. That's what's so if you punched someone and you punch them through their shirt. Now, technically, you haven't made contact with that person. But yes, that's what the law's the for. the shirt is so connected to the person, punching them through a, a garment of some kind is enough to satisfy the... That you would have be to be fair. the slimiest fucking lawyer on the planet to be like, well, she was holding the map, and he did touch the map, so that's battery. This is the, the well, that's what I'm saying. You can do it, but what jury is going to accept that? Like, what kind of a human being do you have to do to make that kind of an argument? What kind of human being This whole video do? would be one of those things where he's like, this is dumb, but an asshole lawyer would argue this in court. <laughs> this is what I mean. This is not what he does on his but channel, like, typically. No, nope, I'm the asshole lawyer. She's good. He usually, like, from what I understand, there's some people in chat saying his whole channel's bad. Like, I wouldn't go that far. I, from what I've seen in his videos... His whole thing is he's supposed to try and explain to us what would eventually happen in a court of law as a result of blah blah blah. But this video, he seems desperate to try and defend her. I don't know why. <laughs> like, why is everybody doing that? And, and remember, remember, this would be a 90s jury. Yeah, this which would be, be a modern even, jury. Even more which, so I don't on think the Dom side. Really indifferent. Yeah, I don't think there would really be any difference between the two that much. But remember, this is, this took place in the 90s when people hadn't been infected with this social justice, feminist, equality, diversity bullshit. You imagine being the defense lawyer for this shit. You, you, you wouldn't believe your day job. You'd be like, are you kidding? Uh -huh. <sighs> right. I'd be like, I'm not taking this case. Oh, I'm not defending No, you'd take her. that case. I would take the shit out of defending the dawn. I'd be like. You can you, fucking bet. Oh yeah, defending the dawn, not defending her. No, no. Someone pointed this out, and I find this really depressing. He said, uh, to make this even worse, this guy is training the next generation of lawyers with this line of argumentation. Well, what's good about he, that he is to be this. aware of how the law can be used instead of it sneaking up on you. You need to be aware that there are slime fucks out there that do this with the law. But he should be teaching them how to dismantle this bullshit instead of how to come up with it. So the top comment on his video is, damn, I've been assaulted and battered much more often than I realized. <laughs> yeah, man, you're missing out on all that sweet, sweet legal money. Oh, yes. I'm through, That's, uh, I couldn't a be a lawer because I just couldn't, to... I couldn't bring myself to do this. I just, I don't ha I, I'm too principled and morally good to be a <laughs> lawyer. You know, I, I just I couldn't do this kind of shit. I, I would be in law school listening to this guy talk and I'd be like, I can't do this. I can't morally bring myself to do this isn't right. Mm -hmm. What we're doing isn't right. Definitely I would have to be like an extremely principled lawyer and be like against this guy at every turn. Because I couldn't do I couldn't put up this argumentation that he's doing because this is disturbing to me. Because like the fact that you are is... actually defending her actions of assaulting and stealing his property, that's that's really messed up, man. Especially when it's the dawn. So Especially connected the dawn, to yeah. the person, punching them through a, a garment of some kind is enough to satisfy the uh, touching of a person. Yes, that's why the that's, Of course, there. we all agree with that. Like the idea you can yes. punch someone in the arm when they're wearing clothes. Yes. And crucially, that extends to things that are immediately connected outside of the clothing as well. So, for example, if someone was walking down the street and they were holding a cell phone in their hand, if you went up to that person and smacked the cell phone right out of their hand, well, even if you don't actually make contact with the person's hand or their forearm, the fact that they were holding the cell phone and it fell out of but their But he hand, didn't do that. And yeah, yeah, this is the thing. That scenario, there's, there's a case to be made in some way, shape, or form. He folded over the map slowly, and she ended up being the yeah, one that pulled gently... it down, like, hmm. That's enough to sucks. qualify as battery for the person. And if the victim saw you coming and was in apprehension mm. of that contact, then you'd also be guilty of the crime and tort of assault as well. That's the apprehension of the physical contact. So not only would that count as destruction of property, it would also qualify as potentially the- Is there such a thing as like, 
Because he's going to go into... Yeah, you, you get why he's setting all this up, right? I don't know if you've caught on yet. He's trying to create... He's trying to say that the scenario with the map is like the ones that he's well, building up you, here. That, yes, but do you... Because the main criticism of her is the fucking brutalizing, and he's about to make the defense for that in relation to all of this. Like, I'm, I'm being facetious, but he's, he's essentially trying to set up a self-defense case here. I guess. It sounds like... Yeah, he sounds like he's really going to bat for Captain Marvel. And... I just, like, is there such a thing as, like, say, for example, you slapped me, and then I fucking punched you in the face, you fell over, and I punched you again and again and again and again. Is there not a case you could make, or your lawyer could make, that I was, like, excessively self-defensing myself, if you know oh, what I mean? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Self-defense is generally, you have to, you can only respond with, you know, an appropriate level of, you know, you know, a return. You know, you have, what well, I guess the word, I guess you'd say it's, um... I, it's just, it's just a, it's a fairly mundane word that's actually generally used legally for it. Well, because I was, um, was going to say, like, she's class. a god alien. Like, <laughs> how do you... you yeah, you, you can only use appropriate force when responding to something. Like, the lowest minimal force that you can use is generally what's yeah, accepted. Like, if someone annoys you, you can't kill them. <laughs> Yes, I, I think that's a fair law. I agree with that one. My God, if, if that was legal, so half the points. people I've met would be dead. Time of it's assault like and battery. Appropriate or see that proportional clip, or something like that. Christ. Qualify as potentially the crime of assault and battery. We see that in the clip, the man on the motorcycle uh, invades Captain Marvel's physical space. There was no reason for him to uh, stand up from his motorcycle and walk the 10 to 15 feet away from the motorcycle. She was looking at the map. Yeah, he was going to help. There was a reason. Her. He wanted to talk to her. The he, reason was he wanted to. He makes to that her. explicit. He says, um, "If I'm going to help you, the least you could do is give me a smile." He's made his intention clear verbally. He wants to help her. More like a criminal. <laughs> Can you believe he stood up from his motorcycle? He didn't ride it into the store and yeah. pay for his items. I don't know why he assumed he, he said that as if the normal thing for the dog to have done there was just to sit permanently on his motorcycle <laughs> just like forever. Into Captain Marvel's physical space. There was no reason for him to place his hands on the map or the newspaper that Captain Well, Marvel he clearly did it so he could yeah, see her face. Yeah. If we're talking about uh, I'll also notice that this this picture here is the extent of the most violence that he uses. Yeah, but that is what's the appropriate level of self defense here? I'd say you know a gun. I'd say please go away. A mini gun, yeah, maybe. Please go away. Mini I'd say, gun. I'd say put oh, a grenade I'd... in the Don's pocket is the only appropriate response to this. Yeah, reverse pickpocket him and send him on his way. Well, <laughs> had in her hands. Now, of course. Uh, no one's going to argue that Captain Marvel was physically harmed by this interaction. Yeah, I thought you just were. <laughs> okay, that's not no a because eggshells to theory. the crime of battery. All that is required is the touching of something that is immediately connected to Captain Marvel, and I think that makes the statutory definition of assault. Yeah, well, a jury wouldn't agree it's with terrible. you. You should no, know that. No, it's not assault. No, it's not assault. A jury would never she agree is in with no this. No way, apprehensious or fear for life. It's not assault. How could you possibly think this is assault? Well, he in said it, it matches the definition, which he might be right about that because fucking a, a shit ton of things match the definition but that should He shouldn't. also said that, that we are morally incorrect. To he did say that. On. I wonder if he comments on that because we only got four and a half minutes left, so let's see. And the fact that he has invaded her personal space, that he's standing. He's mentioned the personal space thing like five times in the last minute. Yeah, Doesn't and I don't buy that... that it's personal space. Does he pull I mean, like that an mentally arms retarded is... Terminator argument? Is there a legal definition of the amount of a bubble around you that's a personal space, like in in actual length? I... I don't I don't know if there's a legal definition for personal space. Let, uh, let me Google that real quick. Maybe we shouldn't be shocked. Personal He's a space YouTube is lawyer. the okay. So this is just from definition.uslegal.com. Personal space is an approximate area surrounding an individual and in which other people should not physically violate in mm -hmm. order for them to feel comfortable and secure. It is the zone around individuals which they regard as psychologically theirs. They regard. The amount of, oh, oh, at the end, the amount of personal space required for any given person is subjective. What? <laughs> 
<laughs> what the hell are we supposed to do with that? So going by the definition on, and this isn't the be all end all, but on uslegal.com on the definitions bit, that is what it is. Um, personal, uh, let's see. It also depends on how well you know the other person. Intimate the relationship, the less personal space is involved. How do you, how do you... The law does not recognize a specific crime or civil action based on violation of personal space per se. How can that be? However, used? the law does recognize various actions based on assault, harassment, and unwelcome touching. Right. Well, that makes sense. So if you twist but... that, yeah. But like, okay, fine. Most of them carry but this on. This is re I think this is such a stretch. But absolutely. <laughs> statutory definition of assault and the fact that he has invaded her personal space that he's standing only inches away from her saying no he's not he's not inches with away with yeah, I mean, the yeah, implication is, is between inches, but... two and five or something i mean i'm inches away from the moon yeah a couple of inches for sure three that could Multiple. arguably constitute a, a threat against her, I think that qualifies mm -hmm. as assault as well. So this guy's actions, I think, constitute the harmful or offensive touching of Captain Marvel. She Jesus is effectively- Christ. where would our society be? Where would our society <laughs> harmful be? Harmful touching. <laughs> harmful, this is harmful touching. Where the... <laughs> This is why it's, just, Christ, it's just better to stay with dudes at this point. Yeah, like honestly, I tell people this all the time. Like, man, you can't beat pussy, but Jesus Christ, dudes are so, so much easier to just get along with and talk with and hang out with. And they're so much more casual and easygoing for the most part. And besides, they won't because accuse you of harmful touching. Lawyers like this exist. Lawyers like this existing make the world a worse place. Harmful touching. The victim of being battered by this guy uh -huh. on the motorcycle. And the thing about being a victim of effectively battery and the apprehension of battery, assault, that gives you access to the legal justification she of She ain't got apprehension of assault. Self-defense, there you go. Apprehension of battery. Self-defense. She ain't got apprehension of battery. Of, of, what is, of, what is no, the, there's no way. What is the reasonable self-defense for someone folding your map over? I, it's telling him to stop I'd and say backing it's, away. You Taking take the map away and, saying, and step back and go, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, at that point, there is absolutely no misconception that can be made that you don't want to talk with this person. And it's not just a, oh, he, he talked to me, he said one thing, and I ignored him. No, 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 no. Once you say, get, you get away from me and you take a step back, that's very obvious. That's what you not, should do. That's what I would do. Not well, to no, mention, I wouldn't. I would like, say absolutely take me away, handsome stranger. <laughs> not to mention, uh, she shook his hat. She asked him to shake her hand. So clearly the whole feeling threatened thing doesn't apply here. It, yeah, not to mention I mean, his entire argument clearly, falls apart with... Like, she's clearly in the position of power. Yeah. Um, so, like, how could she be threatened when when she's making jokes as he's in struggling in pain? Like, I don't I mean, understand how you'd I, assume... I haven't even seen this retarded movie. But just looking at this scene, you can clearly it tell she's, like, messing up his arm when she's shaking it. He's trying to pull away. You have to be, like, a genuinely awful, horrible, evil person to make this argument. And I I'm hate to say the evil curious. word, but... Jesus well, Christ. Yeah. No, I is... think this fits the bill, man. He is a this massive. This dude is genuinely scummy. Because she's like, not if like you, if mistakenly you this. accidentally hurting him. She's doing it because she wants to feel superior. She wants to take his shit. And at the end, she gives him a snide remark about smiling. No remorse. She wants to hurt this guy. Well, I'm confused because... Like, uh, that's evil. In his opening, he's talking about all these conclusions people have made while considering everything. So far, he's only talked about the moving of the map and then the response to that. Like, what about the the, the Grand Theft Auto? What about that? Is, is there a legal justification for that? Gonna, is he just not going to touch that? Like like just we're running touch out of time, so we'll have to see. <laughs> Arguably, she was partially justified here. Now, those are, of course, partially the legal justified. arguments, but even if we're going to talk about philosophy, oh, I let's... think, morally speaking, it's the motorcycle guy who initiates force. And wow! No. Holy no. fuck! Oh, fuck my brain. You. My brain. Fuck you. You can he look at his force. 
Look at his furrowing of the brow as his tiny brain struggles to actually make an argument for this. You wow. absolutely disingenuous fucking cunt. Wow. Fuck you. Man. I cannot believe that a person in the world would actually make this terrible argument. What a terrible <laughs> channel. I got I nothing to say. Like, like I just... I guess. God, I'm going to look at his social blade and I'm going to hope to God it went down after this. Uh, I mean, it's not a very well received video. Legal eagle. Legal eagle, yes. No space. Legal eagle. Oh, no, that's... He didn't go down. Or he's doing fine. It, he didn't get a lot of views for this relative to his channel, so... Even if we're going to yeah, turn into philosophy... I think, morally speaking, it's the motorcycle guy who initiates force. And under almost any conception He's of He's not a person, once Wolf. He's a lawyer. Once someone has initiated force against you, you are privileged enough to use the defense of force against that person. Yes, that is no, true. No, not but only, when you... Only appropriate when you, levels of force. I was going to say, when you stay that vague... Like, what are you saying? That if, if someone brushes past me in the street, I can mow them down with a minigun? Like, I'm confused. Yeah, and then just say self-defense. Self-defense, self yo. Because he, he, I love that he specifies philosophically, and, and, and then he doesn't give any details. He's like, when someone does a thing, you can do a thing. And you're like, yeah, I suppose. If only we had more rules to clarify. Oh, we do. <laughs> you can't kill people who annoy you. What do you know? So long as you don't escalate from using normal force into using she deadly threatened force, to oh, use what? deadly force. How can he wow. say this? Let's uh, see what he says. Maybe he follows she this literally, up or literally, verbatim, unironically, threatened to rip his arm off. What other than deadly force could that possibly be? Force against that person. So long as you don't escalate from using normal force into using deadly force, which it doesn't appear that Captain Marvel did. Here. Doesn't appear. So when she threatens Are to take off his arm, me? that's just a she joke, I guess. She threatens to to blow off his hand. She said she threats. First off, she won't let him retreat. Right, and if you and in any self defense case, like uh, like you can't shoot someone who is disengaging and retreating from you. You can't. You can't do it if if. If they, if someone comes up to you and they threaten your life, right, and then something happens and they are running away from you, they're going down the street, they're not armed anymore, they're no longer a threat, and you shoot them, that's murder. Like, he was clearly trying to disengage and get away from her, and she is holding on to him and making threats against him. There's no way that you can apply this. No jury on this planet. <laughs> they would laugh you out of the fucking courtroom. This is insane. Here. Was Captain Marvel justified in taking this ass motorcycle? And oh, you gotta add the... The Dawn is an ass the hat, guys, just so you know. Yeah, he's an ass hat. Okay, so... And jacket? No, probably Even if not. he was, but that's not just No, probably not. Probably, probably not. not. Probably, <laughs> probably not. Yeah, probably not. Mm, this is hurting my brain. It's like <sighs> Quentin, but handsome. In this ass motor Quentin. <laughs> motorcycle and jacket? No, probably not. But Mr. Hat motorcycle rider committed battery in the first place. Yeah, you just because you say that doesn't make it true. I like that he's, he went through that first, like, ten minutes of trying to vaguely prove by stretching everything that she committed battery, so that now, in this end bar, you can say, he did commit battery, so, and it's like, yeah, did he though? Did he though? And deserved some of what came to him. He deserves some of what came to him. Some of it. Some of it. Like, he, you know what he, he deserved? It. He deserved... For like, let's talk, let's, even framing it as deserved, right? If you put on black clothes and run across a busy intersection in the middle of the night with your eyes closed, you don't deserve to be hit by a car. That's just the natural result of what will happen by putting yourself in that scenario. When, like, when, when a, when a kid sticks his, a butter knife at a socket, he doesn't deserve to be shocked. That's just a natural result of his actions. When the Don goes up to her and he asks her for a smile, he doesn't deserve to be ha to have his life threatened. I mean, deserve is a to, moral to have argument, real right? Physical body. I mean, I'm only in the most vaguest sense. You can't but have, if we're gonna be you can't have deserve in law, 
Can you? <laughs> you deserve this. You know what you I? Deserve. What it? You know what it just occurred to me? I wonder if the actor who played the Don has seen the vehement defense of him, <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> like he's just sitting Hashtag at home and he, he out feels. The Don. <laughs> I like this comment. He deserved to be thanked politely and then have his kind offer declined. Yeah, that's what he deserved. Absolutely. I would that's have accepted his offer if I was here. Um, yeah, I would have been like, yeah, actually, this is exactly, literally, totally, 100% fully what I need right now. I do need someone to give me a ride someplace because I don't know how to operate your human vehicles. I don't know how your traffic laws work, and I need to keep a low profile. So, yeah, uh, having a ride with you would make total sense, but the riders forgot what riding is. So I'm going to instead you imagine threaten your life and steal your property. If we had had the Dawn, Captain Marvel, and Samuel Jackson as a trio going through the plot in this movie. But it's so much better. <laughs> and then, like, the Don keeps making yeah. advances on it because he's kind of, he's got, like, a crush, and Sam L. Jackson's, like, can make jokes and stuff. Could have been great. Could have been great. And we can argue about how much force was justified and what kind of Yeah, we could argue about that, but I guess you won't because it's going to get in the way of your argument. I don't know. Mentioned Captain Marvel. Was because, in. you know, his ass is counter suing you for the theft of his property and the physical assault to him, the extortion, and the threats of deadly force. You know because sad? if you're threatening to take off someone's hand, that's deadly force. He can't even do it, because she leaves Earth at the end of that film, so who's the, yeah. who's, who is the Don no going to find justice? For Don. Hashtag yep. no justice for Don. No justice for Don at all. No justice for the Don. But he is but a man, so he much... gets it. Which force was justified and what kind of apprehension? Oh my god, I didn't know the Don's real name. No, 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 Robert. no, no! I don't want to know his real name. He is the Don. He is the Don. Well, people in the chat, people in the chat. No, the people in the chat don't need I, to know either. I speak I, I for want, him. No, no, no! I want to see if he has. He has a Twitter. I want to. I want to know. I want to know. Please tell me. Please, for the love of God, tell me he's seen some of this. But I was like, I like how this guy says we can argue about you know the the, the boring parts. Yeah, we can parts. have a really short discussion <laughs> about we what would literally really define whether or not this is valid. It's like, eh, we can talk about that. Not really. Yeah, it'll take us five seconds. Let's do it. Was People in, in the chat are time. calling him Donathan. Donathan! <laughs> <laughs> ...was in, and what kind of fear she faced from the sky. None. But certainly, Zero. it is not as clear-cut as Captain Marvel is the villain. Yes, it is, though. <laughs> Why is it? What do you... How do you even... He hasn't even come up with a justification for the theft of his motorcycle and breaking the law when she drives in front of the cars. Or the motorcycle guy was completely innocent. It's never black and white. The legal reality. Really? You tried to, he has he tried to make it, it pretty black if, and white if, here. If it's never black and white, then we wouldn't have any villains. Is is that his point? So how would he? By well, saying it's not black and white, that makes his position worse. The different. Well, he's a lawyer. <laughs> so, like, of course, nothing's black and white. Oh. is always gray. My guess is that some, but not all, of the force was justified. At the end of the day, this tempest in a teapot was really about a select few people who wanted to have a very idiosyncratic view of this deleted scene. Uh... Yeah, you're one of them, mate. They can... Oh, yeah. I think you're projecting a little bit here. That's not a legal term, but I think you're projecting a little but, bit. Yeah, him, Brown Table, quite a few others, they have an absolutely, not only insane, but concerning view of the, uh, the event. And really, I guess we don't all have a Terminator comparison. Those mansplainers who wanted to make a oh. two minutes left. Oh, did he just say that? Oh, it was really so, about wait, wait, what did he say? People. Are you on three thirteen oh six right now? Thirteen oh five, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Who wanted to have a very idiosyncratic view of this deleted scene? And really, all of those mansplainers who wanted to make a clever point about oh. Captain Marvel being the oh, villain. Oh no, mansplainers. Mansplainers. <laughs> So wait, wait, sorry. Are so wait, who, who are we? We're so mansplaining requires for a man to explain something to a woman. So all the male people that we've been responding to, we can't mansplain to men. I guess that, that's not really the definition. Isn't, isn't he mansplaining, mansplaining to us right now? No, because we're not women. Oh fuck! If we there's got to be women, some woman that, that watched this video though. He's ma he's what committed to Star mansplaining something. Didn't she? She, hate she it? may have seen this video, yeah. So that's at least one. He's an SJW. Hey. That's great. Mansplainer. <laughs> that's Is that a legal term that you're going to use in the court? <laughs> 
ended up your honor my client is they... innocent of mansplaining <sighs> what a joke can you imagine like a judge hearing that word being like uh, what the fuck the, 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 yeah they'd just be like do you mean ex explained he goes no mansplained they're just like what <laughs> Captain Marvel like, can you villain. explain for the rest of the world what this word means as far as I can tell, whenever they say it, what they mean to say is to condescendingly explain something. Yeah, it. Yeah, to, a man has to do it to a woman, though. Yeah, it has a to man, be a man has to, to a condescendingly woman. explain something to a woman. Someone said he's mansplaining to Star Wars girl. Uh, yeah, there you go. Ended up becoming the thing that they hate most in this world. They are wrong. You become the very I thing you it. sought to destroy. <laughs> And as an aside, You're wrong, buddy. everyone recognizes wrong. that this scene is basically an homage to what happens in Terminator 2, right? No! This, uh, that okay. might be okay. what they I, tried to do. I, I'm going to say this because I've watched all the Terminator movies for some, you know, part, partly to my benefit, mostly to my detriment, <laughs> uh, very recently. So I have Terminator 2 very fresh in my mind still. So please do try and tell me how this is an homage to Terminator 2. He's one of my favorite films you of all time. He's fuck. gonna be wrong, whatever he says. This scene is shot for shot exactly what happens to Arnold Schwarzenegger. No, no. it's not. <laughs> you know what the, the really important differences are? Uh, Captain Marvel doesn't get burned by a cigarette. She, she doesn't get stabbed in the arm. She doesn't have someone pull a gun on her. She doesn't get a pool cue snapped on the back of her head. She's not a robot trying to save the world. This is so bad already. Schwarzenegger in T2. I need your clothes, your boots. Oh man, good movie. And your motorcycle. <laughs> no, no, you skipped the part. No, no, you skipped. <laughs> you cut out the part where he hit. No! You, <laughs> you lying lawyer fuck. What about the part where Artie was uh, physically assaulted and battered for our real? He put a lit cigarette on his bare skin and you just cut that part out you you just cut that part out oh my god okay, and this then. is just, this is just ignoring arnie is a robot his only mission directive is to keep john connor alive there is nothing else he will do that by any means necessary you... there is a point in this movie where arnie is about to blow a kid's head off with a gun and John Connor has to tell him not to. The whole point of the movie is that Arnie is not a good person. But He's not a hero. He's a protagonist protecting the hero. Why do I have to explain? He's not a good person. That we, we're judging the morality. Simple shit. We're judging the morality of Captain Marvel. We have deemed her a villain because she has a moral compass and it's fucked. You cannot do that with a robot. You can't go, the robot is evil. He doesn't have a moral compass. He's a ro He has a mission to... He's programmed. And even if... He uh, did exactly the same thing as Captain Marvel. It's not the robot's fault. It's the guy who made the robot and programmed him. Sad. And if this is such simple shit, I know that simple concepts are not exactly something that gets through this Lawyers? idiot's head, but my God. This Lawyers is, are scum. I mean, you, you literally have to just ignore the movie. It's not it's shot for shot, by the way. To call it shot for shot is annoying me. <laughs> It, and, so you and, clearly and, edited out a lot. And, and on, top of very this, important. on top of this, right, um, Terminator 2 is not a difficult film to understand, so the fact that people can't says a lot about how dumb most people are if they can't get Terminator 2. It's, oh, it's no one called dumb. Arnold Schwarzenegger a villain in the scene. He can't be! He's a robot! <laughs> can't have a robot villain it has to like it, in any scenario where a robot is actually like bender could be a villain specifically because bender has like actual moral compass he has emotions the, the terminator in this movie is his fucking arc in the movie is trying to understand Just what emotions robot. are and god at damn this point it in the film we think he's evil he he's can't. actually like portrayed <laughs> as the villain and, and look i don't he, I don't even think that's the argument that people should go with, that he was meant to be portrayed as evil at first. Because, it's I mean... That the argument should, you just go with I mean, was that he was actually assaulted. I mean, I mean you, well, you can just say that he's a robot and he was programmed in the context is... You would say like, force for evil. For this is force for good with, uh, he is a force for good, specifically because we align with the morals of the human protagonist. It's a very... Because we have to be pedantic, because that's... The entire thing here is is the difference between Captain Marvel and a fucking robot. I can't believe, like, people will so casually refer to a robot and be like, See? 
It's fine. <laughs> like, See, this killer robot did it. With better, the killer robot did it with better justification. Absolutely. He's a way better character as well. Like, that's why this dude edited out the part. No one called Arnold Schwarzenegger the villain in the involved. scene. Everybody knows he's the hero. I mean, no, obviously he's not. No. He's not. Yeah. No. The whole, the he's no more a fucking hero than a gun. Oh my god. He is a tool. Yeah, first off, he's not a hero. Second off, he's, uh, like people say, you know, he's not portrayed as a hero. At the beginning of the movie, it's not until the hallway. He's on John Yeah, it's Connor's ambiguous. Side. We don't not know for a... sure, but we assume villain because of the previous movie, assuming you watch them in, yeah. in order. And it's, you know... It, well, You'd you have mean, to watch, like, you the watch shitty them in trailer. Order. Yeah. It, uh, just oh, just to refer God. to him as a hero is inaccurate, but I could understand why you would say that, but it's, it's, it, I have to point out Wait, how inaccurate it is compared pause. to Captain Marvel. Everybody knows Jay he's says it's the about hero. to get worse. I mean, obviously, he was the villain in Terminator oh. 1, but he's the good guy in Terminator 2, and this scene from Captain Marvel no, is you're fucking retarded. exactly the same scene. Okay. It's not this exactly the same scene. This dude's begging her to let go. He's not. begging her. If he was a her. robot, then why was it important for the robot to drop clothes? Is that a serious question? <laughs> Is that somebody just asked? Sorry, hang on. Uh, you know, yeah, obviously. Someone, okay, let, let me explain this concept to you. The whole, the, the rules that the movie establishes and the time travel, like, we're not even going to touch that because I already know that time travel already is messed up. The rules of the time travel machine is that you can't take clothes in it, only, like, biological, like, that's why they have real skin, right? Mm -hmm. That's what allows them to go through. But they need to integrate, and not integrate, but they need to blend in to society. It would be retarded to walk How around naked, How are you going to blend yes. in if you're running around naked? Like, the Terminators are cognizant of that fact. Like, come he on, the, the movie Terminator literally one, explains it. Guy in Terminator 2, and this scene from Captain Marvel is basically exactly the same scene over not. again. Take it! Take it! Oh. But I guess it's different if the superhero has a vagina. No. Oh uh, God, okay, no, no, no. so ignoring that, remember oh. he has to track down the guy that he injured, the guy his hand, the guy's hand. He runs away. He crawls to the back room and is cornered as Arnold comes at him with a gun at this point. Before he gives him the keys, just try. He just wants to survive. Like Arnold had to go out to find him to track him down. But let's back it up. Oh my God. This video is actually pissing me off. I, I kind of Just... want to hate fuck something right now. <laughs> oh, well, you know, I got some time after the show. Basically exactly the same scene over again. Oh, you know someone? <laughs> yeah. But I guess it's different if the superhero has a vagina. No, oh, it's such a different crusty if the joke. stereo... And the now that Mr. Motorcycle... It's... No, it's oh different boy. if the entire context and characters, if literally everything is basically different, then it will be a different scenario, regardless of gender. But if you look at it really Arnold simply... wasn't even a man, it's a robot. It's just... You're comparing a woman with a robot. There's not even a man involved. That's the, that's the thing, it's not, he doesn't even have, like... Mm. He's not gendered. It's a robot. Why does no one He's remember that... The Terminators are not humans. <laughs> Why is this something we have to remind people of? Someone said to write that down, Mahler. Oh, that's a good point. I haven't written anything down from this one. Post your favorite quotes from this insane-tism in chat, and I'll try and pick a few of them up. What was, so, what even would be the quote that I'm writing down right now? I think it was the whole, uh, like, it's okay if you're a woman. You can I guess it's okay it. if... It's, only like seconds back. it's not okay if you have a vagina? I don't know. I'm literally texting someone now. Fuck, because this video was just... I'm so upset. <laughs> people like this are <laughs> are out there, and they're real, and they're teaching people stuff. Shot for shot. That's what a bunch of people are saying. <laughs> Legally but... and morally. Touching the map is battery. He was standing inches from her. I'm gay. <laughs> 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 Yo, what are you doing? Rex, what's yeah. a hate fuck, apparently? Um, can I pretend? To, I just say, can I pretend to hate you? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Mostly men have a problem with this scene, that's true. No work, too, because I haven't, I haven't eaten, because 
once I woke up, essentially, we were doing stuff. So I got to eat anyway. I get it. Buy a bitch some, buy a bitch some crazy hibachi. I don't know. <gasps> now that the mauler, that the mauler, the video is uh, coming to a close. There is a certain frog that is uh, streaming that we should, we should send people his way. Why would you want to disrupt his E3 coverage? Because I like to disturb Frogold from time to time. All right, well, let's hope this is near the ending. Douchebag lost his jacket and helmet, he could really use a whole wardrobe makeover. Black leather is so five years ago. He could really use a slim cut. Five fully years custom ago wasn't that long ago. Uh, uh, there was in like, what was the year of this movie? 92? Oh, Mar Captain Marvel? Um, was it? Yeah, 89 it to 95, I think it was. I don't know. Like it was 95 but, like, in the scene that. Why would he wear a suit on his bike? No, that doesn't make sense. It was a really bad lead in. But like I was going to say, What's so was the fucking hand? the Is more you know on thing. His hand? Don't know. Suit from Indochino, which he could even wear to his arraignment for battering Carol Danvers. Oh, fuck All you. of my suits are now custom. Uh, oh, where we say not uh. guilty? Where, the one where we say, yeah, he's innocent, but this bitch is a fucking oh, psychopath. He, she needs to be locked up. That people, one? People are saying people are saying this is an ad. Well, yeah, I know I, it's, an it's ad. obviously an ad. <laughs> I know it's it's a yeah, I, I know it's an ad. Yeah, he, I, 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 well, ad. You, well, I mean I I could have been mistaken yes. for him being unironic, so we we know it's an ad. It's just a shitty segue. Yeah, just like you know the fucking what? joke he could was wear shitty. on his bike instead of a biker jacket that is amazing that everyone loves. A suit that makes it no. I mean, he's made worse arguments in this video. Custom made I, by. I, did you have your he, stolen by a psychopath? He did nope. say Seems that. Seems like um, a great time to mention my sponsor. <laughs> what a great comment. He did pack. say you'd have like an after credit scene, Gina, or whatever. including this three-piece suit that I'm wearing right now with a custom double-breasted vest, <sighs> which I think is awesome. I love Indochino oh, suits, and I buy them with my own. Uh, yeah, you don't know what a breast looks like. You don't know what a breast looks like because you're too <laughs> afraid to talk to women. Because he knows it would be illegal to touch a woman. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, not a touch I a woman's so map. I personally yeah. reached out to them, and I'm thrilled that they're now a sponsor of this channel. Uh -huh. See, the secret to a wow, great I suit care. is... I think lesser of them because of that. I think lesser of Indochino suit. because you like them. Your, your admiration of them is like a stain on their reputation. All about the fit. I'm a reasonably athletic guy, and I can never buy suits what about off the, the rack color? because they just simply never fit right. Indochino will make you a fully cut. Ooh, you okay. can choose the style, the fabric, the lining, and the for lining. For less than four hundred dollars, and the best part is they still use the best yeah, materials, like deal. Super One Forty wool. When they after credits, I, I think never they still the use the this. best materials. They used to, but they still do. I guess this counts as credits. Again, else you have tons else. of choices too. You can send your measurements in. On Just fuck, get on with it, online. Jesus! Or you can go to a physical store and have a stylist take. Oh, I'll send my. I'll, I'll send my measurements. When my buddy Andrew took all of my measurements for over ninety minutes when I went in for the first time. Andrew yeah, took my measurements haircut. and a couple weeks later I got the best fitting What's that suit fucking my stupid thing he's wearing on his arm? perfect right out of the box. Legal Eagles can get Andrew, a Maybe it's like a measurement for... device? I don't know. Just three Is it like a clip on tape measure or something? Why would it take 90 minutes to do measurements? I guess they have to take a bunch of them and they have to make sure they're right. Like they have to measure your, your thighs and your calves maybe they and triple chest check and your shoulders and your arm length. Yeah, I mean, I'd, 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 I'd do a 90 minute measure sesh to mm -hmm. get a super cool fitting code legal suit from Indochina. Or Indochino. In said Indochina. Clicking on the link really <laughs> helps out this like channel. Vietnam. That's Indochino.com, <laughs> promo code legal eagle for the best custom wow, suit for your life. Wow. Wow. Captain Marvel is not a villain because she beats up on a guy who battered her. But she is a villain because she did Battered her! Infinity battered gauntlet. her! She had it in her hand. She was carrying it like a football. Why didn't you just put the gauntlet on, Carol? Just snap your fingers! Why did he, <sighs> why did he give himself white eyes when he did that? I don't know. But he didn't batter her. Okay. So that was that video. Uh... I had, like, by the time we actually covered it, I had, like, 15 requests to cover it. It, it was awful. That shit. <laughs> Wonderful. Absolutely awful. Um, I'm glad these things are successful, I suppose. 
Is this how this works? Stuff, Stream, right? Everyone go to Fringy's channel. I guess I need to link Everyone, it. Oh, what what should we type? Well. Should we just... Should we just type... Ideally, no, we're, let's done. criticize Fringy's live stream. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Can't pause, though. I don't know how long we have, Fringy. Wait. You're supposed to know this shit. It's your stream. Wait, is he stopped? Because it's got 13 out of an hour. Hold on, let me check. Maybe we'll just have to... It says he's still live right now. Um, let me pull it up on like. Wait, guys, I'm I'm confused. I'm a little bit confused here. Is this Fringy's live stream? Yes. Oh, okay. He's I, live I, I now. Tell. I just needed I just needed some clarification. It really ought to be coming out soonish. I think. Everyone just goes. Efap is streaming. Yeah, no. I'm <laughs> oh, well, the joke doesn't count if it I, if I the watch together isn't showing on the the. <laughs> I can't. Okay, I, chat, it's not the, working properly on the there. joke. Word. Just, the joke. Just, just, no. Open, no. Open it up yourself, no, Rags. You no. absolute no. massive. I no. I have it open. It's for the well, chat. I've got it this open. was important. On, they I'm needed to see. Well, now. they do now. They, they need to see that it's a Fringy's live boss. stream on it. That was important. I was just waiting for Fringy to real. Oh, I think he's realizing. He's very quiet now. Fringy, you're quiet. Turn up your oh, beat. You absolute no. master. Yeah, they no, are. <laughs> he's just he's just turned on our stream now. So I can hear our stream and his stream on our stream. All right. Uh, Streamception. Keep, turn on the Halo music and oh no, no Gears of War. Oh look, a hammer. Dun, 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 dun. A black man. A feminist. feminist. Another feminist. <laughs> Quick, beat her with a hammer. On. Yeah. Yeah, Which no, I don't condone. <laughs> this is the hey, best way to communicate with Fringy. Yeah. The, the memes that the Don spawn, man. <laughs> it's insane. We just My ruined Fringy's coverage of Ethereum <laughs> making a about the I was going to say, we probably can't stay for long because I've got a Why shit ton of things for us to get memes. through. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we gotta. We, gotta, we, we really should uh, get along with him. Fringy can cover his um, video games. And we say, will cover important if, things, like the legal analysis of deleted scenes. Stay on his stream if you want to check out some E3 coverage. Stay on ours if you want pure tismery. So, you know, which, yeah. which, use carefully. Do you want information or tismery? So, this video is uh, coverage of Game of Thrones. Since we've just seen a defense of Captain Marvel, we've got to seal it out with the Game of Thrones defense, obviously. Oh, it's boy. a stream. I went on vacation to escape this. <laughs> It's a stream. Or like they're wait, is it, wait, wait, hold on. Is this is this the one where I'm name dropped? Or? No, no, that's gonna be the last oh, thing we wow, come before. Oh wow, another shitty Funhouse podcast. That's what I have to say. If I I've never watched them, Funhouse, but my was... god, not a great first impression. So there's just a couple of really funny arguments they make. I've got three timestamps. They're no, nothing too controversial, but still funny. Um, is the name drop at least positive? I'm not gonna tell you until you see. It. <laughs> I should satisfy that. Um, I still think the decisions that Benioff and Weiss have made uh, not only made a great television show, but also was exactly the way it should have been done for. And this is exactly television. why I stopped listening to Fun Hop. <laughs> yeah, this is I, like I, heavily like, disliked. Have to to do, do we have Mahler, like unironically, do we have to because this guy who can we take a moment right. on the planet? You're cutting can out can take a little bit of a segue to appreciate the the catastrophically awful design of this setup here with the chairs and the microphones because what if what if I mean, the look, back to retards want to leave well now now first off that guy is gonna have he has to batter her in order oh to get no. out of his seat well well hold on worse than that is like look at the framing of this the, it's the like first a two in the the two in the front you can't see their faces you're looking at the back of their heads well they do have multiple yeah, camera angles looking i think at the other ones Think. Well, because they're looking at this either the, the screen or the monitor. You're looking at it. Ours is better because you can always see our faces, which are prominently displayed at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> they even light up when we're talking. And the dawn is here. Are you familiar with Project Mouthwash? No, I'm not. I mean, I use mouthwash. mouthwash. Oh, wait, is that is that some kind of personal attack or something? <laughs> Uh, not only made a great television show, but also was exactly the way it should have been done for a, a television show of this caliber. Because again, oh my God. The, this, this caliber proofs in the pudding. The rating, the ratings are the highest they've ever been. Are uh, they? The ratings? The ratings no, the ratings they're, they're actually the lowest views, number right? of views. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, no one cares about that. Oh yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah, so this, I don't care the, how many the guy on the left, he, he out of this group is apparently the only one with a brain cell. 
And uh, when when the guy brings that up, he's I I actually don't like it when people say like this is the highest rated thing. I'm like, do you mean view count or do you mean actual review numbers? Yeah, like, like reception or because who cares about the view count? Like fucking because if we're going by that, then Anthropoid must be one of the worst. Yeah, ever. Yeah, really, is really, terrible. really, really good. Okay, wait. Let me. What let an me awful. awful yeah, watch the watch the guy like <sighs> clarify with him immediately because he thought it was really bad. The the proof's in the pudding. The rating the ratings are the highest they've ever been. Uh, the ratings the ratings, the ratings in terms of people even numbers like views. Yeah. yeah, even she clarified <laughs> like hey. Yeah, uh, what yeah, do you mean about the ratings, ratings in terms of like audience? Uh, apparently the left side of the table is the better side. Oh, he's asked. I don't think right. audience but, reviews and critic reviews would be pretty low. Right? I guess he <laughs> just said that the lowest thing is it doesn't matter. Um, oh, and he just said that doesn't oh, does matter. It not? Oh, does it not matter? Oh, oh, oh that's God. weird. That, that's kind of weird, fucking idiot, because you brought it up. But if it doesn't matter, okay, I don't know why you bothered. If it doesn't well, matter, he's now. saying people's I, I just, upsetness uh, doesn't matter. It's the ratings that matter. I just want to remind you that this is one of the guys who said that um, it should that they should have put black people in Kingdom Come Deliverance, even though it was trying to be a historical game because it was a video game and you press A to jump. Well, that's yeah, that was one of the yeah. But when Kings of Come Deliverance, that was retarded. I look Funhouse; they're entertaining when they play video games, but when they like talk and have to use their brains, fucking stupid. Sure, they're still it making matter. money. It doesn't matter. No. What HBO's bottom no. line, right? Well, and, and that's the point. Uh, mm -hmm. They're they're making a television show, and that's You're unfortunately not wrong. that's unfortunately the the. Sort of the world we live oh, in. Oh, no, it's yeah. unfortunate, but you brought it up. <laughs> I know it's interesting that he said it was like unfortunate, it's unfortunate that that's the world we live in. So but forget that. That's what are you? What that's style are you arguing? Yeah, and like this was this was trying to make obviously trying to make money, but also trying to make a good oh, product. They failed. I thought they did both. A lot of people didn't. But. Oh, so oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, it's like arguing with two different people in the same person. Um, and then oh the next God, one yeah. is it. Right, so oh, so, oh, thank God, are, 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 we, are we getting off of this? No, no, so there's three quotes from this podcast. So that was the first one that I thought was oh, funny. God. I only scanned through. <laughs> I think there's a lot of tism in here, but I, I only scanned through, like I said. So I haven't caught all of them, but I know someone wanted, uh, a couple people wanted us to cover this. I just, it's just fun to laugh at. To be satisfied. Oh, oh, that's yeah. right. Oh, that's um, fun to laugh at so stupid. This was something that I sort of asked out loud on, on Twitter. Uh, and why not just stop watching the show if it's so bad? Just stop watching. Uh, that was one of the okay. things that happened. Okay, all right. So, wow, you're, we care. you are just so ridiculously stupid, it boggles <laughs> the mind. So, I, I just, I'm just, it's literally a little baffling how fucking stupid this man is. All right, so you're watching a show for eight years of your life. Nine. Three episodes, nine, three episodes away from the finish of the whole thing. And you're just like, oh, just stop watching. Just, just, don't like, just, stop, just stop watching. You haven't invested nine years of your life into it. Just, just walk away. Just stop walk watching. away. Pretty simple. Just stop watching. watching. I like that. We wanted <laughs> it to end well. We wanted it to have a good ending because we were like actually excited for it. Even after the bad, we were like, if they can just make a good ending, I'll feel like it's worth it. And they didn't. So now I feel like I wasted years of my life being invested in this. In this idea that if you don't like it, it's like, so, okay. What you're saying is it's better if they just completely stopped watching than it is for them to watch and point out what they think is bad about it? Like, which of those is really worse? Like, like, don't say bad things about it. Just stop watching it. Just completely abandoned your investment. Your nine-year investment? Abandon it. Get rid of it. Just don't say mean things. And it's not even mean things, necessarily. It's just pointing out the obvious criticisms. I, last season, I agree, season Ray, seven, that Don wasn't allowed to just... A year and a half ago now. I agree. Um... People complained about it a lot, and I, I why? was like, but why, why go through this? Why push yourselves through another whole season, another two years of pain? I know a lot of people liked episode one and two. Yeah. But the idea that I they do. jumped into the season to hate it isn't even fair, but okay. What's your job? Um, okay, yeah, I do have, I have a better what answer. About what, what about curiosity? Um, like, I'm, I mean, I, I've, I've, I've been angry. I was angry after episode three. My point is that I'm now dead inside. I don't feel anger yeah. anymore. <laughs> but I also want... I agree with that guy. <laughs> just dead inside. I don't feel that. Guy, that, that one seems to be the only one with a brain. That Holy shit. Time. It would be insane for me to not watch it until the end. It would be like watching like five of the she's Harry right, Potter yeah. movies and then being like, meh. It just yeah, feels right. crazy to do that. Like if, even if Especially I since we knew for a fact that season... Like with The Walking Dead, I don't know when that's going to end keep watching that i quit after like season seven 
because I was like, this is awful. But with Game of Thrones, it's like season eight, and they're like, this is going to be the last. I made it this far. Yeah. It's like, like imagine, this really imagine that we difficult of a concept for you. Like we really? we watched Lord of the Rings trilogy, right? Imagine mm -hmm. we got to the last thirty minutes, and oh, it got real. Is like all of a sudden it got really bad. Right, we we what got through it? eleven and a half hours or whatever, and then at the very last half hour, you know, we didn't like the way that some of the characters were treated at the very end, so we just turned it off. And we we didn't just we didn't finish through with it. We didn't finish the last movie. We just said, nope, I'm just not going to watch the end. I'm just going to walk away because stuff happened that I didn't like. I'm just going to boop blocked. You're blocked. I'm not watching it. I don't want to hear it anymore. Ridiculous. This book in a nine book series. So I'm going to be like, well, I did seven. So let's just get the hallway. See, that's uh, that is. But I'm also not angry. That's and that's also not that, upsetting me. No, yeah, that's true. You're not angry, but I think if people that are that are. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Did, did you just see that? Apply to you. She, and she it, it rescued apply him. To you either. She rescued him from his own point. She changed his own goalposts, like just yeah. to help him out. And he was like, "Oh, thank God." <laughs> like, yeah, if you're angry already, like why 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 make yourself angry? There you go. That was my point. I think, I think is Bruce the guy in the back right? think so i have no idea bruce needs whenever like before you say something right like in defense of something or to attack something imagine as you're saying it like what would be the obvious rebuttal or the most common rebuttal to what i'm going to say what would it be like i should be prepared when i make an argument for what the other side might say against it and if what they might say against it is true maybe i shouldn't say this thing bruce i don't think, I don't do think he that. thought that far ahead i don't think that he thought at all um, I don't think he ever thinks. No, he's not a he's not a he's not a thinker type. This is not the first tism that he's had. And he's had lost they're angry about it. One. Um, and this is something that again I've seen a lot on the internet. People are saying Benioff and Weiss just wanted to move on to Star Wars. They got Star Wars and yes. they were like, We're done with this show. That's not true at all. They've been saying this for is it not? five years now that they wanted the show to end Wait for after it. seven seasons and HBO has pulled another season out of them. I think it was supposed to be more episodes though. Um, I mean, either way, <laughs> even she's like, you're wrong. <laughs> she well, just proved him wrong immediately, let's, and he was like, uh, uh, either way. Poor Bruce. Poor Bruce is so just fundamentally stupid. I just feel like I should help him out, like, like a retort at the bottom of the staircase, you know? I feel like if they wanted to leave the show, if they didn't care about the show anymore, then they should have gone to HBO and said, man, we don't want to do the show anymore. We're done. We're finished. We don't think we can do the characters justice. The story goes past what we want to do with it. You guys need to hire somebody else. You need to bring in consultants because we're just, we're not in this anymore. We're done. Instead of saying, we hate it and it's awful and we're going to do a terrible job, but we're just going to do it anyway. There's, there's no, there's no principle there. You know, there's no love of the craft in there. Yeah, their egos That's are way too far up their own have. bums to assume that they wouldn't give the characters justice. As far as D&D are concerned, they nailed it. In a way, they kind of did seven seasons they, because, because it, of the, you can yeah, look I mean, at season seven. All we have to say, I mean, one D and D said we always thought it would seventy three episodes. It's like, where in the fuck did you pull did that? You pull that seventy three. Where did you yeah, get such actually, a random number? They actually responded to that. Season seven and eight as one combined six and six, right? I think it was seven and six. Seven so and six. Oh, no. so that's, it would be an extra long season. season and half. Yeah, but, um, and that's that's sort of the thing that I wanted to sort of point out is that. They didn't, they've been trying oh, they to make it. this a sort of a complete story from the very beginning. And they knew it was going to be like Benioff says, we always believed. Where it. did you pull that? <laughs> <out>? <laughs> she well, said it too. <laughs> Sorry. Exactly. It's like it, me, you, you hear that quote and it's like, how could you possibly believe um, that? It like, it like jumped me. So I got to make sure the chat here, otherwise they don't know what we responded to. And they knew it was going to be like, also, also, also says, we always this guy, this guy in the, the front right. He's silent. Totally said, said it, had said anything. He's just absorbing all of this. <laughs> Listen to the people on the other side of the table. The guy next to you <laughs> doesn't know what the fuck the he's table. talking about. About any. Never listen to him. Yeah, so, about anything. Um, God, it was about seventy three hours. Um, and yeah, a lot of people. So we had to think about very that specific. Way. Well, yeah. a, a yeah. lot of people were like, "They're bullshitting. They're bullshitting." And I was like, "I don't." Yes, I mean, like they are. So, so they, <laughs> would, they, would they called that. that it would be a seventy-three-hour show from very early on. It's like what? This <laughs> is seventy-three hours. I mean, I, I, Bruce, I get it. Cognitive thought is not your forte. But seriously, how could you hear that quote and think to yourself, "Yep, that makes sense." Seventy-three hours. 
73 hours. I just like this. the, I love the idea that they wrote down all the character plots and they just looked at it as a big whole thing and they were like, 71, 2, 3, 4, oh, 3, 73, that'll be it. Uh, 75 would make more sense. <laughs> 73? 73 just makes you wonder, like, how did, they, how did they get to that? Oh my god, you're an idiot, Bruce. Um, but yeah, like, uh, I got said that a few times, and I was just checking it out, and I was just like, God, and then I checked the like dislike, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's hey, not yeah, good. Oh, are... mm. uh, let me see, let me see, please tell me it's super low. 4.3 to 6.3, that's not good enough. I'm going to add my dislike to lock it. That's, that's, pretty, that's actually pretty impressive, considering that there are 1.6 million subs. That they could, it's hard. It, you have to really fuck yeah. up to get a negative ratio on a video. Like, you have to really, fuck, like, that's hard to do. That's why, on um, like VidIQ and stuff, uh, all the stats, they stop going green after someone 90%. Said, someone said 73 is his IQ. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, for this next one, I decided to just bump it up quickly because I know I, Ooh, I, I, Curiosity's God. just getting to it now. It's a podcast called with, with Riffin with Bobby Lee, episode 32. I have no idea. It's watched to a degree. Um, I think it's got 100,000 views, so it's definitely watched. Um, and yeah, there's a, there's a name drop for Wolf in here. And it's what very, the? very strange because uh, I was sent this and I saw it and I was like, oh, okay. I'll just, I'll let you see it first. Well, if you can get your. Uh, I'm guessing get, get they didn't film. like it. And after every take, they're like, yeah, they give you notes. Yeah. A little faster. Or we didn't really feel when you say this, you know, and then you do exactly what they tell you to do. And then you go to the premiere, you're excited. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you're to blame, right, for a bad movie. And it's right. like, I, it's like, no, I, I of I, an all around bad movie, by the way. Right. And then you can, she's just a, a, a portion of it. And, and she's getting go, lynched. Yeah. They're talking about TLJ, by the way. Right, yeah, yeah, it's true. Okay. It's it's not fair. Yeah, it's, it wasn't fair at all. And, and I, I think and and I, I know that because I've been re, um, watching reviews on YouTube. Right, this guy named oh, Dishonored Wolf. You know what I mean? <laughs> he calls her fat Asian bitch. In <laughs> wow, you got the, it dropped by Bobby Lee. <laughs> wow. I like I like the degree of upset he has. It's like he called her a fat Asian bitch. Can it, is what's so weird is that Bobby Lee is a comedian. Let's go through all the things that you've called people. <laughs> <laughs> like the, like one of the one of the things that frustrates me to no end are comedians getting morally outraged at other people's jokes. Like, how do you have any kind of ground to stand on? I was wondering if he was going to talk about Game of Thrones, I mean, and I was like, what did, what take are you going to say for that? Because I didn't blame any actors. Asian I liked all the actors. In his review, oh my, oh my god. god, like really harsh. I know. It's, and it's a white dude like, saying it because you can terrible. tell. Right? It's fucking terrible. Especially when that's copywritten for What's your mom. You know what I mean? <laughs> wow, that was so funny that literally only you laughed at it. Even I mean, even the Asian dudes like Bobby Lee. What? How come you're not getting upset? How come I was about you're not to say, do you upset? not do you not get why this is actually what? kind of hilarious? The guy literally used the joke against him the second after he was morally outraged by it. So it just puts him in a position where he's like, dude. I just made my position clear on it, and now you're trying to get me to laugh along with you about the joke. I was, I, I was just watching this, and I was like, you just destroyed everything about your argument immediately. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm terrible. sorry, I was in a different world. Especially when that's world, copywritten for your mom, you know what I mean? <laughs> so the guy just basically said, your mom is a fat Asian bitch. <laughs> and look at the guy's face. <laughs> yeah! I, I, like the, uh, I like the fat what? guy. Yeah, I mean, this is what I mean. The, the, he's <laughs> clearly on our team. He enjoys this guy's <laughs> Oh my god! Dude, someone in the chat said, who's Indian Mario? <laughs> Indian Mario! <laughs> 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 Indian Mario! Indian <laughs> Mario! I love you, Indian Mario. <laughs> Indian Mario. <laughs> yeah, just, so I'll play it all in full now. Wa just watch... It wasn't fair. ...how it he delivers the thing, and then the guy is like, oh, that's so bad, but then he just reflects the joke immediately. At all. And, and I, I think, and, and I, I know that 
because I've been re, um, watching reviews on YouTube. Right. This guy named Dishonored Wolf. You know what I mean? Thank you. He calls her fat Asian bitch in his review. Oh my god! Like really harsh. I know. And it's, and it's a white dude saying it because you can terrible. tell. Right. It's fucking terrible. Especially when that's copy written for your mom. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Uh, what a feeling! <laughs> du, du, du. Feel the feeling! <laughs> Come on, baby. you do that kind of shit to me all the time. And I agree. <laughs> and he's like, oh, yeah, you okay. do that shit to me all the time. Yeah, I was like, you do that shit to me all the time, but I totally agree. He's like, so, this other guy so, is fucking spineless. So hold on. I, I'm not really familiar with these guys. Who's the one that runs this podcast? Is I have it no the idea. funny one that I like? Or? It's, it's Indian Mario. I, I hope Indian Mario's the one that runs this because he's I like him. <laughs> he's making me laugh. <laughs> yeah, that's that. That's the like, I was just like, what what a bizarre okay. Um Right, so again, because we're on a podcast roll right now. So um have you guys heard anything about about Kaleida recently? I've only no. heard of it. I don't really oh, yeah, know any right. of the context. Okay, so Collider are the people that Red Letter Media make fun of a lot for essentially being the most shill like podcast there is for Star Wars. They're basically just like everything that is new that comes out of Star Wars is great. Uh, they have loads of like merchandise. They always talk about how amazing everything is. And um, the guy who's like one of the main people there is pissed off because Disney didn't invite him to, I guess, the Star Wars um, what was it, celebration. And then he asked them to, specifically, and he didn't get a reply, and he's really pissed about that. Pissed to the point where he doesn't want to shill for the, uh, Star Wars, oh. um, <laughs> Gal well, I'm Edge. glad that you learned your lesson. I know, right? I can't believe that he stopped shilling for them after he wouldn't get an invite. Well, it's like, not dude, that simple, though, on. is it? Because the thing is, when you're a paid shill, you can't go off script. You'll get in trouble. And so this this thing has been going viral, and it's hilarious because yeah, just so just watch what happens. Well, I mean, at the time, again, yeah. So the the angry dude is on the right, and then the others are just listening to him and getting increasingly concerned because all, all of them are paid to be here, as far as I understand it. it was we already had a, we we had the, our show. We book out our show a couple weeks in advance, and I didn't even know. So Darina's coming on today, and I had to leave oh, early and schedules and stuff too. And I don't even know if Christina is in. I don't even think she's in L.A. I think she came in. I don't even know where she is. I know you've admitted to it being butthurt, but I still think Christian, like, if you, not that you're asking my opinion, yeah. but I'm going to give it because I guess that's why I'm sitting sure. here. <laughs> I still think you should do your part of doing your job and is talk about it. About yeah, it, but I, yeah. and I'm going to be stubborn and say I don't want to. Okay. <laughs> um, I and I you're don't. going to though. What's that? You're going to. I don't want to. Uh, no, because it's our coverage. Uh, Haley's got a lot of really good interviews with Imagineers. Uh, that she's going to be posting So first on. of all, first of all, I don't want you to do that on the air. You can call me in afterwards. No, no, no. So you know what? So then Where someone you, else hosts the show today. So, like, first of all, oh. so that guy's like a manager of some kind, and he's basically like, oh, you're doing it. <laughs> the guy's like, I don't want to do it. First of all, don't do this live, guys. Like, this is the worst thing you could ever do. Dude, <laughs> this is like a repeat of the Dusty and Creationist Cat podcast <laughs> that failed after one episode. Fuck it, let's just air this out. Let's air out all of our dirty laundry live. And we're both we're both fucking idiot retard, but you knew that's Dusty and Creationist Cat. <laughs> and yeah, just for clarification, <laughs> wow. chat probably knows more about this than I do. I only know about this from vague context. You'll never catch me watching Collider, unironically. Someone else hosts the show today. You you don't have. It's the second time and you've you're, done this. The first time you've done this, you burst in the door. You burst in the door and screamed at us because we played the YouTube video no, and we no, didn't no, no. know it. I, I, that was I, the first time. I went in. I went in to let you know that you have been taken off the air already. I know, but you screamed at us. For I it. didn't scream. You, I just, you I didn't. Roxy did he yell at us. I said, "Hey, look at this." He yelled at me. Looks so uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all these. Just keep an eye on the faces of these other three people because they're just like, "What yeah, the fuck I'm is happening?" I'm on it. I'm on, I'm on it, man. Roxy did he yell at us. Uh, there's a clip. I, it's it's pretty. You, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dad, the, the answer is yes. You yes, yelled yes. at us and you embarrassed us in front of Kate Mulligan, who was sitting here too. If you want to do this on the air, I'll do it on the air. I would much Whatever, rather you, you did. You 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 started this on the air. You brought. You 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 started the show by saying you're not going to talk about it on Jedi Council, which I, is your show. Okay, but you're not the producer of it, and I am was, actually. I am actually. You're actually I, I, not. I, yes, I am. I'm actually. That was the deal I made with Fernandez. No, I'm also actually, uh, no, just the same way you didn't know. The same way you did. The same. <laughs> oh God! Why are you doing this like, live? Collider oh. <laughs> live. Everyone's well, telling didn't... me the Ori trailer is playing at the moment at E3. 
Oh, watch it later. Uh, yeah, we can watch it later. Yeah, so. someone, no, that someone I... will upload it by the time that we're still doing this, so we mm -hmm. can watch it. Live I was the I fucking head of the development. Reaction. Absolutely, yeah. Well, all of us are reaction. I mean, me and you are definitely invested. Rags, you, you, do you like Ori? I forget. Fuck animals. Uh, there you go. One point ahead of content, you're, you're like, oh, I think you just had a development. Ahead. I walk in to Fernandez, I go, can you clear it up? Content and development, yeah, to do. which now is not the case. You are, and I get it. But I, first of all, if you want to exactly. do this on the air, we do it on the air. Yeah. But I am not. But I am absolutely not talking about it today. You can have Roka host it. How about that? I mean, if you don't want to host the show, because I don't want to. Oh, I'm so sorry you didn't get to go last night. You're welcome. See, you can if you want to do <laughs> oh, this again, God. we can do it all the only because you you had the same thing, and what people also don't realize no, with no, you, you're you act you act hot headed, summer. you act hot headed <laughs> you all the, the time. You <laughs> what do you even do if you were a guest on this show? You'd be like, I mean, I know that I'd be I'd be I'm being recorded, so I just I just stand there, I just be like, mm, I dead eyed. I just pull my right phone out and be like, right do do. And stare right at the camera. You just not move a muscle. Just sit there and smile. You, you, you look at the girl on the left. Like she's not, like going oh, out of her way not to look at him. She's like, I just don't want to be. Here. Wait, this is how you lose your job. <laughs> <laughs> you scream and yell at people, content. but you want to do it now. We can do it now. You don't want to cover Collider's content, is what you're just saying on on Collider Live. The show's called Collider Live. It's right. not the Christian ah! show. It's called Collider Live. And it's called this Collider Jedi Council, and there's a lot of really good. Well, maybe we should change that. that. Collider, maybe, we, maybe we'll change that, and we'll and we'll have we other talk conversations. About some really, cover, re really well, good coverage that Collider's doing yeah. from. Oh Galaxy's my God! Edge. Why didn't they cut the stream? I know that's the obvious fucking choice. They've taken this down, obviously, um, but everybody's still copying it. It's hilarious, <laughs> and it's a look into like. It's not fun to have your opinions bought for you. Really not fun. Especially when you actually want to make some form of a stand. Now, I actually think that his stand is kind of childish. They didn't invite me. It's like, okay. Oh, yeah, it's really stupid, but Christ. And he's like, that's it. I don't want to do the thing. And then it's like, no, you have to do the thing. It's what your job is. It's like, oh. I don't want to cover it at all. That's just really bizarre. Okay, good. There's blue milk and there's people dressed in costumes. That's it. All right, moving on. All right, so <laughs> next, you want to still talk about this? <laughs> <laughs> Catch me outside. How about that? Which I was really appreciative in that. But argument. I just don't. What, what, what is it? <laughs> that girl went on Dr. Phil. Oh, catch like, me catch outside. Me. I just don't understand. Like, how about that? that? But why, but why, but why do that on the air? Why, why do that on the air? Why would you start this on the air? Why because you oh can have God. a conversation with me after. <laughs> they had like ended it and then they started back. I was like, no, 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 no. Afterwards and say to me, hey, I wish you. Do you see she tried to rescue uh, it? She was like, oh, it was cool that you said this thing and then he brought it back. And it's like, ah. Uh, you wouldn't have done okay. that. But I said you want to come on the same way because I didn't call you out when you came in. You embarrassed us in front of Kate Mulligan when she's sitting there. He's Kate and Mulligan. Felt like, oh my god. No idea. But I guess apparently this the, has happened before. The chicken, the black over there, black hair, maybe. Oh, it could be. Yeah. So, so our producer here at EFAT has never ever on air while we're live in our studio, and th this never happened to us. We're You're very about professional. Jay, yeah. Um. We're talking about our producer. I'm pretty sure he's the manager of EFAP. I'm not sure talking, if he's the producer. We're, we're talking about the, the producer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The one who produces, Different if you understand things, what I mean. The one who produces the cash money that keeps the studio lights on. You know, yeah, who pays yeah. the, the property taxes. Which is where they get you, by the way. <laughs> Balin says, wow, I wasn't invited to Tommy's birthday party. I don't want to do my job. Frank, you're 35. Do your job or your <laughs> This is the thing. Like, really awkward. God, is this the way they do business? That was embarrassing. When this you is ran why. It. This is why I'm very, 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 very picky about sponsorships. Yeah. And I have to know all this shit beforehand. That's why, I like the white with the watch thing, I knew everything going beforehand. I've got this watch next to me right now. I'm gonna wear it tonight. I'm gonna be wearing it tonight. And I gotta be like. Uh, you can't enter into these contracts with the sponsorships where you have to shill because shit like this is like, well, now I can't be genuine about how I feel. So, well, now I feel like a piece of shit because I'm saying things that I don't really mean. And fuck, like, this is the thing. It does suck to have to say whether or not you approve of a thing or you want to promote a thing when you actually don't want... This is what this comes down to. He feels cheated by the Star Wars brand and thus does not want to promote a Star Wars thing, but he has no choice. You're kidding me. Ori isn't releasing until February 11th of next year? Damn. Oh, <laughs> oh hey. Well, that was like my most February anticipated 11th. game of the year. 
Well, that's is... the day before. That's the day before my birthday. You can I get to me as a birthday present. That, Let's just that's hope it's 10 good. Days Let's after just hope my it's birthday. good. It's... Oh I mean, well, I mean, I, I don't then have. You'll have all that. Money. No, you'll have, have all that birthday money. money. You can good. spend that on my present. No, I don't doubt that don't... it will be good. It's just like, no, I won't have any money because my sponsorship with Game of Thrones was uh, tragically cut short. <sighs> I guess Doom Eternal is really the only thing I have to. Well, that and uh, well, is Cyberpunk coming out this year? Or I don't know. I, I don't think know. Doom Eternal is coming out this year. Otherwise, it's like. <laughs> Look, no, it's okay, dude. No, it's okay. It's gonna be even better I mean, than you. I mean, I'm not now. not really mad. Obviously, I mean, I I want them to take their time, and it's been because the first game released in 2015, then the uh, DLC uh, definitive edition that came out a year later. So it's been, I mean, that'll have been four years of development time uh, if we're going like right after the definitive edition came out. So that's. A good long while. Still disappointed though. I want long that. while bad. I agree with that. That's human more crying though. I mean, here the other day, I didn't even say it, I didn't mention it, and talk about it. But it you do that because you knew that we got a that we got a strike on the channel. But how do we strike tell on the producer? channel? We didn't know that. We had no idea that the, just the audio Cyberpunk was going to do that. Cyberpunk was postponed to no 2020. Idea. God damn it! Sorry. Well. So it's really only Doomy Turtle this year then. <laughs> Yay! Well, that's Donnie the thing. Turtle. <laughs> Like, I that's the thing that E three like people say. What do you think about E three? He's like, I don't shit E three. Like, I I don't I don't know if I could stress how little I care about E three because I've there's been all these games that get trailed out throughout the year. You know, like like the uh, the games I I've been reviewing like The Plague Tale is great, Void Bastards is great. You have all these games that come out throughout the year, and so they're fantastic. And E three steals your attention away from a lot of these gems. There's some fun memes on Twitter I'm looking forward to showing. The, there's someone who's already made a meme for the fucking Ash robot queen that we had in the opening minute of the show. <laughs> I, I, I failed to check my Twitter in time, that's why I didn't know about these. Okay. That's exactly what that does. Yeah, but, yeah, but same way reactions. When you sit down and you do reactions, like when Real Re Rejects do it, when we do it, we play video over it, and it doesn't ever get strikes. It just gets the demonetization. It, no, it does when you live stream, and I've said that a thousand times. Never to me. Yeah, no, no, I told, oh, I've told everyone on the show. Ne never to me. Time. I've it's never so heard that. It's embarrassing. Well, I, I, never heard it once. I apologize for not letting you know explicitly that that was a bad idea. But it wasn't a matter. But what Even I'm telling the you is it's not The guy's face. <laughs> Like, and and the 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 chick sitting across from him did that thing with the lips that white people do, where they kind of bite their lips a little bit. Like when you come in here, just trying to, to contain. If you would have said that day. If you would have come here and passing hey, guys, a phone listen, between uh, them. you streamed it. That shot it's like here, look at this. That. It'll be you less would, okay. But you, you I like you to imagine people. that they're just looking at me. It's a dick butt on there. Corbin, you're like, ah, see, we're shut down. I we're just, done. Oh my it's God. so embarrassing. We all know, we all know how, how, how that door slams open. That had nothing to do with my tone. Okay. All we're right. talking right. about the okay. mechanics so of the door else, opening. Though, who, right again, now is what we're doing. I, I'm looking forward to hearing you guys talk about Galaxy's Edge and all of Collider's really good content. Uh, <laughs> so so you, you can host it. You can host the show. Well, so no, I'll you can look, just do what we ask you to do. I'm looking <laughs> just do what we ask you to do. Oh. You are our employee. Oh man, that's you are our suck employee. To hear. This is you the do thing. what we tell you to. We pay you. This like, is how this arrangement works. Like me, Wolf, Rags, obviously like Geeks and Gamers, Nidrotic, all those channels, every one of them. You get to do whatever the fuck you want. It's Say whatever amazing. The fuck you we want. can shit on anything we want. Change your mind in a, in in the moment. You don't have to cover what you don't want to cover. It's all brilliant. But this guy is just like, no, you'll cover what we tell you to. It's like, aww. You hosting that show? What do you think Cody's doing with the cameras right now? I can't even imagine. Uh, I just looked here, at. Oh I can't even imagine. Cody, 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 my favorite he comment. He already left. Cody quit. Right. Yeah. He's Cody back. left a while ago. <laughs> Cody's out of the booth. I, but, first yeah, of all, I think I think that's it though. But yeah, um, so that's pretty embarrassing, huh? Yeah, I'm oh. glad that we don't have anything and, like that here on our. And Red Let Media just produced. put out a video of Rich Evans laughing at this. Like that's all it is. <laughs> He's just laughing at watching it. And it's because apparently they keep an eye on him because Nerd Crew is based entirely on Collider, as far as I can tell. Yeah, I mean, look at the comments for this video. It's all like red letter media stuff. Yeah, 
And it just confirms everything. They're just shilled to fuck. And the, the fact that there's still some semblance of a soul in some of their workers, it's like, oh. Oh, they think they have a soul. Yeah, this this will be quick, and I suppose it's just because I don't even. What can we say about this that hasn't been said? But I, I feel like I kind of have to say something. Change the name to X Women Scene. Woohoo! Oh we'll, my we'll god, look at the quality of those awful suits. I don't they get look to... terrible. Oh, I can't wait to see this movie tonight. Me and my friend are so excited just to laugh at it. I mean, I wasn't laughing much at all. That was actually kind of a disappointment part for me, honestly. What, with um, King of the Monsters? I didn't laugh No, either. no, uh, X-Men. And bigger risks. Oh. And for what? Please, tell me it's not your ego. Be oh my god, look at her man. acting. Or yeah, I've thereof. never been a fan of her as Mystique. She is not a good actress. Metal from the president. You like it, don't you? As opposed to being hunted and despised. Well, you know, actually I do. And then you got McAvoy, uh, McAvoy, sorry, uh, opposite her, who's like one of the best actors around right now. He's like I can't wait to see him in it. He's fucking he's like he, there's no role he can't take, which is really cool. <laughs> really good character actor. It's like why would you put those two in a room? Why would you do that? It's all just a means to an end, Raven. What end is that? Keeping us safe. You should understand better than anyone that we're only ever one bad day away from them starting to see us as the enemy again. I got to got to pause, but uh yeah. you never know with this stuff. McAvoy is a god, this is true. I really liked him in Split, and then, and then, I mean, he was good in Glass. <laughs> yeah. So what? We wear matching costumes and smile in pictures that to make everyone feel safe? That is a small price to pay for keeping the peace. By risking our people to save their... What happened their to the cool costumes they had in Apocalypse at the end? Too cool. I don't know, actually. Yes! yes. Did they just scrap them and think they didn't need them anymore? And then they were like, oh, I guess we need to make new ones. It's funny. I can't actually remember the last time you were the one risking something. Um, um he's so, in a wheelchair. It's so hey, awkward. What about because Jason? <laughs> he took like there was a joke in the fucking comment section that it, his response to that would be he picks up one of his legs like a wet noodle and just like goes low. <laughs> <laughs> like how you you know, you know you're standing there telling me this. <laughs> so, he, second comment, she sounds more like an ex-wife. <laughs> like, he literally gets shot. Still. And loses his ability to walk. Unless yeah, he that's like one of the top comments. Locks off his powers. I mean, come on. I'm not even a big <laughs> X-Men fan, and I know this. Hey, Professor X can't so walk, lost his bestie to differing opinions, <laughs> well to construct chat. a school for helping mutants, and creates a team <laughs> to help protect humanity, and that bitch has the audacity to say, it's funny, I can't remember the last time you were the one risking something. Well, exactly. this movie tanked. Yes. And by the way, <laughs> so, the women are always saving the men around here. You might want to think about changing the name to X-Women. Oh, well, um... Um... Oh, you changed it again. <laughs> <laughs> again, there's not much to say about it that hasn't already been said. It's such a cringe line. It's not even delivered well for what it is, and it doesn't even make sense. The, um... The event that takes place that makes her say that is because Jean Grey does the most significant saving in, in the in the event that took place previously to this scene. However, Nightcrawler and Quicksilver are the second two most significant by far. They're both does guys. Does Quicksilver have, like, a, a scene like the last couple movies that's at least mildly um, entertaining? No? I'm so the only... sorry, but he gets like, taken out of the movie. The like in the first oh, 15 minutes you're kidding me not like dead even though technically me saying that is a spoiler but you don't see him until right at the end then and then it's just for him uh, to say hello dude he was like the only redeem like the quicksilver scene in apocalypse is literally the only to see that movie it's weird it I really don't should only just look it up on youtube i don't get why they made that choice but yeah that's happened <sighs> oh. but yeah once you see it we'll be able to talk about it on the next efap as being a pretty poop movie. Um, yeah. So. So next video is pretty depressing, to be honest. It's tough for us to go through, but we got to do it. It's important for journalistic purposes. But old Loke okay. has. Uh, <gasps> oh my God! Hold on! Hold hey, on! Up? Don't play it yet! Don't play it yet! Don't play it yet. Oh God! Look how. Hey, what's up, guys? I've got a television set right behind me. 
uh, right now. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of feed from my brain. You need, to, you need to crop it so the face fills up the thing, if you can. I know, but I, I, well, I, I uninstalled, I uninstalled uh, Photoshop, so I, I can't. This will have to do. You just do it with, like, you could do it the old-fashioned way. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so <laughs> this video is him explaining, like, what he thinks about a video game, something about something else, and then he's explaining his potential Keanu future. Keanu Reeves is in Cyberpunk? That's kind of neat. That is cool. He's explaining his potential future on YouTube. The other thing I wanted to talk about is, is why I haven't been making that many videos. I've gotten a lot of emails and tweets and stuff like that. Where the hell are you, man? Why have you only made five videos the last two months? Well, truth be told, this is going to surprise some people, but I'm actually currently looking to go back into the workplace and I'm looking for a job. No! <laughs> I'm too busy trying to figure out what's happening in this clip. He's total. <laughs> total. He's he thinking about going back into the workplace. Yeah, I'm like, oh, well, I mean, release better content that more people enjoy, it's or else you'll have to do that. Yeah. You, excuse you, Rags. Who makes better content than Tonald? Maybe the dog. I'm not. No, it, it's not. It's not necessarily uh, that needs to be. No, it does need to be better. It's. <laughs> I. I fear that. I fear that perhaps his hidden brilliance is lost on the plebs, so they don't appreciate fully. Just what it is that he does. We've got and a he does... chat full of people appreciating it here. I don't understand what's stopping him. I, don't I, I appreciate it. it. I appreciate it. This isn't about me. No, I said a full time. I, I set up a go I can't pay all the tonal bills myself. <laughs> you can offer that. <laughs> God told. Well, Donathan replaced <laughs> We can't. We, we've already if lost enough memes. We can't. I quit totally my true. job about October 2017 to start this YouTube channel, so we're coming up <laughs> on the two-year anniversary. I wanted to make a YouTube channel because I was really passionate about video games, and I had always you been. Shot your buddy and I back. felt myself very stuck in corporate America with the suit and tie on and carrying the what briefcase is this clip? everywhere. You, you had a clip of you shooting <laughs> your team in the back, and then you died. <laughs> <laughs> what is the Guns point of this floating. video game clip? He was stuck in corporate America. He had a briefcase and a suit. I was stuck in corporate America, much like I was stuck shooting my teammate and then stuck in limbo between dying and respawning in this video game. We need to contact Daddled to get him to... Daddled? Yeah, we need to get Daddled to give him some inspiration. Very unhappy. My position was... Essentially, compensation finance, and I got into the corporate world after getting my MBA and an undergrad in economics, which is why you guys see me talk about numbers and stocks sometimes, because that's kind of my background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're familiar with your, with your numbers Expertise. and stuff. But I got into the industry <laughs> on YouTube after quitting my job, and it was, it was actually quite the chance you know, it was very risky at the time. Uh, it was quite the chance. Yeah, I believe I can believe it. I, I believe, believe it was it. quite the chance. Uh, you know, I was one of the first people out there to do like controversial style video essays. Fuck you! No, <laughs> you were not. You lying fucking piece of shit. How dare you, you say copied that? Copied other people. <laughs> this is bullshit. How dare you? I I lit I know this is weird timing, but I actually have to take a shit right now. So you will listen talk about to what he just said in slow nold. Yeah, talk, yeah, <laughs> go turn on Slonald, and I'm gonna go outside. It was actually quite the chance, you know, it was very risky at the time. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah, Tonal broke new ground. <laughs> uh, you know... I was one of the first people out there to do like controversial style video essays. Controversial style video essays. What do you think he means like that? I have absolutely no idea. Controversial style. That's a style. I mean, is he just saying when he when he does clickbait? Maybe for being an edge lord and trying to be against what everyone else thinks. But Christ! Oh my God! Since then, there's been a lot of people who have come around. <laughs> 
And there's been a lot, just just like the video. I can't believe that's a real quote from the chat. Just because it's bad <laughs> doesn't mean it's bad. <laughs> Oh, also, someone sent in a super chat about Ori being available, only being available as an Epic exclusive. The description of the video actually says it's going to be on Windows 10 and Steam. So, yeah. Okay. It's got to wait a Is it a year. timed exclusive? For what? For Ori. Going on Epic, or have they just invented that? No, 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 no. He said... He was saying, um, watch it be an epic exclusive. Oh, okay. But the description of the video says it will be on Windows 10 Thank and Steam. The gods of godly outness. But then again, I they could still not. do it, you know? They better fucking not. They better fucking not. The game industry. I talked about <laughs> okay, all. I need to hear that again. <laughs> the game industry. The oh, Jesus Christ. Actually, let me look it up. On have put it on here. Come yeah, around. Cool. And oh, there's maybe been I can pre order it before just, it goes off. Just like the video no, game yet. industry. What are you talking about? Well, like with Metro Exodus, I pre ordered it, so I still have Steam, even though no one else does. So I'll probably do the same thing with Ori just in case. Yeah, that's fair. I have every bit of yeah. confidence. Great. Controversial really style later. video essays. <laughs> Since then, there's been a lot of people who have come around, and there's been a lot just just like the video game industry. I talk <laughs> that delivery is fantastic. <laughs> he sounds drunk about it all the time. There's been a lot of increased competition from people uh, with talent. YouTube, <laughs> so it's been. In Increasingly difficult. <laughs> increasingly. <to stand>. Increasingly. <laughs> Did he say that? Yeah, he said it before too. I know that he said that in another video before. On YouTube. So Everyone. it's been increasingly difficult to stand <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, total never change. Just keep mispronouncing everything. Increasingly. <laughs> Increasingly. And you know what? Like, I feel bad, but I'm like, dude, if you're finding it hard to stand out when you got a head start, it probably means that you're not offering anything. <laughs> like, except a weird, obscure podcast listening to you as if you're a god. <laughs> <laughs> we need to and reach out to him, get him on the show, because as long as he. how we've covered him over the past year. I think we'll be fine. And create consistent income. Especially because I'm not the most uh, dramatic, <laughs> provocative <laughs> <to the cap. laughs> person on YouTube. I have returned. I like to keep it chill on this channel and just share my <laughs> opinions. I like what? to keep it chill. <laughs> And sometimes that's not good enough, especially when there's been a surgeons of a surgeons, surgeons, surgeons. Is that a thing? Would you say a surgeon? There's race. It, it would. Well, it depends on the context of how he's saying it. We'd have to listen a to the rest of the sentence because there a surge. because he could he could mean a surge or a resurgence depending yeah, on how the I sentence think, and goes. And he's, he's combined. So that could have meant one of multiple correct things, but instead of <laughs> new style YouTubers, license Nvidia shadow play icon of new style YouTubers. <laughs> There's surgeons. been a surgence of new style <laughs> YouTubers. That is true, total. Uh, Agents. I like it. Discussion style YouTubers just popping up popping. all over the place. So it's been tough to stand out. I don't think it's tough to stand out. <laughs> Someone said sturgeon. Out. You know what? You you stand out, Tonal. You do. <laughs> Ain't nobody like you, buddy. A sturgeons. I like that the several people surgences. guessed it was a surgeon. <laughs> I don't think that's the what he surgeon said. Tonal. The second age of new style and what that YouTube has will be operating on your brain. Can we get Sean Bean on EFAP? Yeah, definitely. Let's do it. 
my channel to essentially devolve into is inconsistent income and for a guy that needs uh, a certain amount of income to live just nah, man, like be off everyone. the grid <laughs> so it's led to inconsistent income and he's a guy who needs an amount of income and else you know we gotta pay our rent we gotta <laughs> Dr. eat Loke. we gotta save for retirement it's maybe just not in the cards for me anymore oh in terms of putting out full-time youtube videos it's just not <laughs> there's just not enough money anymore so that's it guys it's just not enough money there's not enough he money doesn't make enough like money somewhere. all right I'm looking to go back to work, and what that means if I get a full-time job is content on downward thrust may be incredibly Dude, turn sporadic. off your shadow play notification. Maybe yeah, that's one. one of the first things I've that you do. You t so that at the end of every all your clips, it don't have those things coming out. Last one minute, thirty seconds saved. Kill saved. Thing saved. Moment done. Recording. Why, why ended would you? Why would started. you ask that of Tonal? What is wrong with you? Was Tonal <laughs> put out? Like put out good content? That's a complicated question. It's certainly <laughs> it's it's um, it you guys is certainly help content. If you want, going to my Patreon account, which I'll link in the description. All right, I want to see his I Patreon. How is Tonal's Wait. Patreon? I'll look it up. Here we go. Patreon.com slash tonal. Patron. Oh, that's that ain't good. What that is ain't that? Good. No. He's uh, got 64 patrons. He's making 184 a month. Ugh. On 300,000 plus subscribers. That's interesting. I mean, I, I don't mean to brag or nothing, right? But I mean, I, I oh, then made don't. a. Okay. So that was easy. Also, um, <laughs> I think that I think that happens when you have a few really big hits with the kids, you know, and they all subscribe, and then you have the stuff, you know, your all your non hits in between the actual good stuff. You know, there's no consistency in the view counts or the reception to the stuff. So people subscribe, and then they just sort of forget you're around, or they don't really like you quite enough to give you any money because you don't put out consistently good stuff. There's a lot of stuff that goes into it, but I'd wager that's probably probably why. I mean, his views don't get that many. His videos don't get that many views. He just had you know those couple of big big viral hits every once in a while, and people sub for those, but they're few and far between. Yeah, unfortunately, the EFAP audience can't float, Mister Tonald. I wish we could. Tonald, Listen, if every remember. if we have two thousand eight hundred people watching, if every one of you gave a hundred dollars to Tonald, <laughs> that would be. I mean, wow, such a tiny, just such a tiny thing for 2,800 people to do, just $100 each, and he would be, wow, what a show that would be, what a display. Tonal, do you have to remember, DSP Gaming is still around, he's still successful, and he's <laughs> married. He's married. If you, think, if you think that there's no woman out there for you, just remember, remember that DSP Gaming DSP has like a moderately attractive wife. And hey, there's nothing wrong with moderately attractive. In fact, you should probably aim for moderately attractive. Don't aim for ugly. Not to announce my Patreon publicly on this channel in a dedicated video. I mentioned it at once. Um, at the end <laughs> this, of is great footage. this is great footage. I really, this is, yeah. this is awesome footage. One time like last year. Um, I just think it's very tacky to put up a video asking you for fucked money it up by itself without without you fucked it up and you kept it in your video. You fucked your finisher thing up. Yeah, well, and you kept it in the video. He's you know, keeping it whenever humble, I'm dude. playing games and I do something great or something cool or interesting, I alt F10 and it saves the clip. So when I never when I need to put footage of games and stuff in videos, you know, give people something to look at, you have me like wrecking shit. And the like, cool stuff's happening, like oh, you took on a whole squad in Apex, or oh, you got a big kill streak in Mordhau, or you did something fu fu some funny happen. I'm not gonna be like, no, I fucked up. Let's save that to show the world. He's a humble man. He likes to let people know that even the, the great Tonal will very make humble. mistakes. I agree. He is. He so I haven't is actually done humble. it. If you guys want to support me, the best way is on Patreon. I don't have a big Patreon following. Most creators, uh, we rely on Total YouTube ad revenue more. plus Patreon. 
you know, minus taxes, of course. <laughs> that little gap where he was like, <laughs> his brain was like, you have to say a third thing. He's like, but there is no third thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so he's having a conversation with his brain. Yeah, that's what the gap was. Then you hear, you wait, hear wait, him go. Huh? Did... Big Patreon wait, follow. Wait, that? Yeah, li listen for the. Uh, it's the best <laughs> thing ever. Following most creators, uh, we rely on YouTube ad revenue plus Patreon. You know, minus taxes, <laughs> of course. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know, you know, you know you minus know. taxes. <laughs> minus taxes, because, you know, you you pay taxes. Let me explain to you what taxes are. I just, I, I'm sorry, I can't get over the, tax you know. Room. Like, he just agrees with himself. Like, hmm, you know. <laughs> <laughs> to make a living. And, of course. Um, since I didn't announce my Patreon... <laughs> It's quite small. <laughs> so if you're out there and you're wanting to maybe see this channel go back to full time, <laughs> you can go there and help me out. But currently right now I'm looking to get a job. Currently. Currently right now, as opposed to Currently later. Currently later. Oh my god, that's like when Review Tech USA says also two. Makes me want to like claw my ears out every time. Also I hear it. two as well. No. In addition. It's like rich. They're synonyms. They mean the same I just fucking thing. can't live oh, on YouTube anymore. <laughs> um it's just doesn't seem to be possible. It sucks for the small um, massive. You know, I started this channel <laughs> doing <laughs> the slow little re gap. Re 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 play that again. Play um, that again. That's you know, I started this channel <laughs> doing wow <laughs> discussion style videos, and it was very hard. At one point, I got my breakout video going, featuring For Honor and Battlefield. And since then, we've been growing. There's been a little bit of stagnation. You know, there's a lot of seasonality on YouTube. But for the most part, seasonality. I'm really yep. proud of our uh, community. At times, <laughs> you know, YouTube can be fa fairly toxic. <laughs> there's a lot of people out there that just like to cry and whine, but what? You know, for the Dude. most part, Dude. what is this video? What is this video? Discussion. There's a lot of people who like to cry and whine. What? Is this? what? this video's about. No, I gotta get a job. <laughs> Stagnation. <laughs> it's like okay. You know, there's okay. a lot of seasonality on YouTube. Seasonality. But for the most part, I'm really proud of our uh, community. <laughs> At times, you know, At YouTube times. can be fa fairly toxic. <laughs> and there's a lot of people out there that just like to cry and whine. But, you know, for the most part, I think the discussion we have on this channel is good. <laughs> and uh, although I've made some bad videos and some ones I look back on and think, what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, total. Someone said, please adopt this man. <laughs> That's gonna be great for Goodell. Sometimes I look back on my videos and think, what the hell is I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> ah, so old. For the most part, I'm really proud of my work, and anyone who watches my content, I really appreciate it. Well, we'll always watch your content, so, I'm looking to go back to work. That's just how it is. <laughs> the With cosmic orphan just wants to 
Daddle. The cosmic orphan. Uh, though I've got an <laughs> idea for a brand new video format that I'm going yeah, to Yeah, how many be times have you said this total? This channel. Is this like the seventh or eighth time you've said you're going to change your content? Fall, if not it's winter, video format. Fall. 2019. All right. So the end of this year. I need to figure <gasps> out how I'm going to do it, oh. but it's basically going to combine my two passions in life. Oh. One of them, obviously, gaming. I'm not going to say what the other one is, but let's just say it's going to be unlike anything <laughs> you've ever seen on YouTube, <laughs> period. Okay, jeez, dude, really? I, am, I am ready. I, so, I'm hyped. <laughs> Jesus hell Christ. fucking yes, give me. So is he playing, a, is he finding a bot here? I don't know. They don't seem to be doing much of anything. Look forward for that. Otherwise, I'm going to be releasing content at my own schedule currently as I look for a new job. I don't want to. I, I, you know, okay. I'd rather go Paul, back. What? Tonal, I don't even play Mortal Kombat, and what are you doing here? Isn't we'll this see. like the point where you're supposed to deliver the fatality when he's stunned and literally well, no, doing Yeah, nothing? he fucked up earlier and he just said, whatever, I'll put that clip in the video. Yeah, and I have a feeling he's not like, gonna nail this one either. Well, that's the thing, you're playing, you got, you're playing against like a bot or something, surely, or, or a, an autist, something. But essentially, <laughs> you're playing against a vegetable or a practice robot. And you fuck it up still, and you're like, you know, instead of me trying that again, I'll just save that clip of me fucking up, because I just need foot. I just need to pad it out. Also, I have no idea why people aren't watching my videos. Do you do full time, but... You did um, fatality. The really? revenue you fucked is up. just not there. You let the fatality. Okay, the, the whole Until that thing time, that's fun about Mortal Kombat is that the fatalities are he disagrees with you. His Dude. channel is getting a fatality. Yes. As many videos as I possibly can. I'm still trying to find the best way to present content on this three now. channel. <laughs> it's been an ongoing uh, discovery. Uh, <laughs> it's been an discovery. ongoing discovery. For me to <laughs> cut through these trees yeah, here. No, nope, there is a wagon. I didn't see the wagon. Do I we want to do go loco, go broke, go water. Go loco. <laughs> what is this clip? Oh, I, I think we need to pull it back a bit. I think Rags is why, out. Of why sleep. wouldn't he just grab a different? He's only got this for a minute. Just pull a part of it. That's not Otherwise, terrible. Otherwise, I'm going to be releasing <sighs> content at my own schedule currently as I look for a new job. I don't want to. And um, I'm still. Oh wow! I just got buffering, yanked around. Buffering. It's at 15:43 here in a second. Best way to present content on. You on 15:25? 15:25, yeah. Ooh. On this channel, right, it's, it's been an it's ongoing uh, discussion. Oh. Let me reload. Reloading. I will Praise reload the, the child of the cosmic chicken. All right, we are 15:28. Yep. Yes. All right. For me to, you know, do I want to do news? This clip? Do I want to do what is this discussion? Clip? Do I want to do you know, What are you webcam? doing, Tom? Do what I want to do video essays? Oh, guys, you're playing with a controller. What do I want to do on this channel? What I've are you tried doing? just basically <laughs> everything. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm I not even listening little, to him. The little dip that he does into the water, that's so great. He's just like, I'm going to just jump and, in the water. Uh, I'm still trying to work towards my preferred <laughs> method of content to you guys. <laughs> if you guys have you a, you know, a preference on what kind of content you like on this channel, you can drop it down below in the comment section. And of course, leave me your constructive feedback. Get to the wrong side of the boat. <laughs> so before I wrap up. Why would you put this in your video, Total? Get to the wrong side of the boat. Oh my God, if I was gonna get footage for any game, I would do something more action packed rather than walking in water and trying to find the right side of the boat to go yeah, to. With The Witcher, you've got two options combat and then pumping the graphics up and just doing going through the countryside looking at how beautiful it is. But not this. 
<laughs> You're fucking up driving a boat. I just want to say thank you guys for supporting me for so long. All right, long. where's he going to go? Anyone out there that has been See, watching? This is where you could begin. You could start the clip with this, and you just sail it out, and you have the camera look I around. I hope, a nice thank God, he, like, crashes or some, like, one of the, <laughs> I don't know, drowners or whatever. Like, just rip him apart, and he dies. My content over the past two years, I owe How you a great How do you make The Witcher look bad? Because it's been a crazy <laughs> ride, and uh, I wouldn't take it back for anything. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys hopefully very Where soon. Where are you going? Take care until then. The no, objective marker. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at the objective. Look at the objective marker. It's He's pointing in the exact going, opposite no. direction. No, the objective is, listen, the clip makes sense. <laughs> he was struggling and fucking up with the horse and the water and the boat. But now he has found his way. He is steering his ship now. He is setting off into the horizon on this lake. His This channel is like his new boat. He is setting sail. He is going forwards. He's leaving his horse and his crap driving behind him. And he is moving on. This It all oh, makes God, perfect boat. sense in his the... mind. Just away from. Maybe he's gonna go the long way to the objective marker. He's gonna go around the entire it world. Is, and it is a visual metaphor. Also, if I didn't pay attention to anything, anything he said in that last section. I was oh, so, I didn't either. I was so taken <laughs> with the gameplay. <laughs> How do you make let's, Witcher let's three get back. Look bad? I want to see that little dip he does. You're reaching rags. Yeah, I'm a this, lawyer. Do I want to do discussion? <laughs> do I want to do you know webcam? Do I want to do Here video comes, essays? Here comes. What do I want to do on this channel? I I'm, I'm still basically <laughs> everything. I'm still loading. I'm still at 1532. And, uh, I'm still trying to work towards my preferred load. method I don't know of what's happening bringing with content me. to you guys. Well, I mean, it's all right. We're, we're good. So, yeah, it was sad news. There was speech around that little dip. He could Tonal is considering leaving YouTube or at least slowing down YouTube to pursue a, um, a job of some kind. And good God, Tony, don't, don't do this to us. The best thing ever. Who's Tony? I mean, I'm calling this is an Tony as a short uh, for Tonald. Man found with 21 severed vaginas in his freezer. In oh. Okay. Uh, All right. Uh, he uh, just scooped those bitches right out, didn't he? All right. Okay, Jeffrey Dahmer. Okay. Um. Let's not talk about that. It is, to be fair, it is not known if the women survive the. Uh, uh, wouldn't a lot of women be turning up there, without like... those parts? <laughs> <laughs> I could have swore uh, I left this vagina here yesterday, right between my legs down there. <laughs> Someone sit in the chat was like, we found him. <laughs> Florida man. <laughs> Give those back. Florida man. <laughs> Is it from Florida regs? The court, I, I don't know, let me actually check. Because if it's, it's from, from Florida, then it makes UK, so, um... A Danish man living in South Africa. <laughs> okay, South so Africa, that's, uh, Florida. It's, it's one of the yeah, two. So. It's Peter Fredrickson, 63, a Danish man living in South Africa. So it's a whole mix of... Mm. Oh, Jesus Christ. And with that, it what is time. For, we have two rounds of memes. First is pictures, second is videos, all right? Oh, boy. Are we doing pictures or videos first? <laughs> it's the rags we were talking about. Total. All right, you said pictures. Well, Total bores me. How dare you? <laughs> when all he does is... Listen, I, I honestly did like the video. But the wit... This is what happens when you make The Witcher look bad. I just... I start to zone out a little bit, and I... And I just saw this headline. And I was like, <laughs> hmm. He kept an organized collection of all the body parts he'd removed over the last nine years. He's like, all right, well, the man is studious. I'll give him that. <laughs> um, meme number one. Oh my god. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. That's great. It's EFAP Studios. <laughs> <laughs> I get to Dumb. be the, the role model for the Dawn in this movie. I, I don't deserve anything like that, but I mean, <laughs> I'm the producer. But someone sent me this on Twitter. They were like, oh my god, he's in. I'm guessing this is Borderlands, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The Dawn. He's cropping up all over the place. This is the Mac. the EFAP starter pack. The deep lore, man. Massives 71146, The Last Jedi, my chat is froze. 
Beowin speed runs the pencil sketch any percent category. Oh, Goliath has moved. Goliath. <laughs> Wolf five seconds into a video. I... <laughs> Elevator music. Watch together sync issues. Snapping the gauntlet. Longman bad. X is implied. Someone, Someone in, in chat, chat just said emote milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, imagine the amount of times between us we've said someone in chat just said. Oh. <laughs> this <laughs> one, I... On the website, there needs to be a counter. This one I absolutely love. <laughs> <laughs> she came to his birthday! <laughs> no, Yay! that's a cobbled cutout that he has. <laughs> Oh, it's sadder than I thought. It, it's oh, no. got an Xbox copy of Minecraft. <laughs> Nobody to play with. Oh, that is. Oh, that's so <laughs> so sad. Hey, oh, team. I love it. Got us some oh, some table. panels. The Don wanting people to be more positive, optimistic, and smile more. I'm all about that legal life. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Who was this guy? Um, oh yeah, the the He's I the, remember that video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember. Oh, this is a pretty cool piece. Of, I believe the traditional. E-fap. I believe E Man Gameplay made this one. <laughs> <laughs> King of the critics. You got Patrick Willems, Jack, and Quinton there. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. Yeah, it's good. Um, looks more interesting than the actual movie. <gasps> it's true. Oh, God. You see, my late wife always told me I ought to smile more. Then I meet this woman who breaks my hand and steals my bike, and I have no money for surgeries. I lose everything. So I put a razor in my mouth and do this to myself. Now I see the funny side. Now I'm always smiling. Oh, yeah. Very oh. It's unfinished third origin story. <laughs> I like that. And the lore is this one deep. uh we have seen before, but I love it. It's amazing. Oh, oh yeah, I, this is a good one. <clears throat> so you got the Don looking in his mirror. It's been a year now since his wife's died. Since then I've done <laughs> my love, best to love... take care of our daughter and two adopted sons. <laughs> uh then you got him at the charity sort of area, I guess, and he's like uh, she says, thank you for donating to charity, sir. Every little bit helps. She says, just call me the Dawn. And you should smile more. You look pretty cute. I've also donated to countless charities. And spreading a little <laughs> bit of positivity everywhere I go. And then her look. Gets me. It's what Sally would have wanted. <laughs> the, the eyebrows. Yeah, Sally. that's a great Captain Bob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, God. I love this is it. so it's good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the true story, let's be honest. Then we got this one. I can't remember uh, if it's been shown before or who's seen it specifically. I just know that it's not Oh, everyone. no. It's so, he looks so happy. He's got a bandage on his hand. Yep. Just trying oh, to be a good guy. So good. The dawn. You know, all He's we so want weird. is people to leave him alone. This one's, this one's from the artist that makes weird things. He's the one that drew that, like, Jared that was, like... Super like weird details and stuff, but you can't deny that some of this is actually really good work. And I think it's a Don story. Well. Wake up, Don. <gasps> oh, Becca. 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 Oh no, Becca. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he has to Go put on his prosthetic welcome leg. To... <laughs> welcome to Pave. Oh God. Thirteen students have been killed in an attack by the toxic brood in Central Pave. But he works on the train wait, station now in Pave. Is... Paif is um like Evil our E-fap. alter nega yeah nega efap basically. Paif. <laughs> <laughs> we don't deserve Dodd. He is so good and pure. There's a lot and of Dodd names. And he drew this by hand. This is all hand drawn. Robert Kaczynski. <laughs> Don Don the Wick. night is darkest just before the dawn. <laughs> 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 oh, we need it. We need it. I can't remember what the context for this is exactly, but I like to think it's when Robert... Rex got mod powers. 
god, yeah, that's, that's when you banned me for 300 minutes and I couldn't post no, the No, 300 chat for the rest seconds. Of the... 300 and I bought seconds. you, Wolf. I bought you. Should have fixed well, it. Well, it. it lasted the entire rest of the night, so. Oh. No, it didn't. It did. You're lying. I, I don't it. believe you. It 300 seconds. That's like six minutes. It lasted the entire night. I don't know what to tell you. Your computer's broken. <laughs> No, it was that night that the chat stopped working for like 80% of it. Well, then blame Google. The it's night abides. The dawn abides. Non-alcoholic. <laughs> Doesn't even drink alcohol. I guess I, need to, I guess I just need to start making like all my icons. Put them on the Discord so people can have the... They don't have to rip them from anything. They can get just the clean images. I'll probably do that. The 300 year span. Street. Oh, oh my god, Rex. God damn it. <laughs> Rex is the woman. Oh, uh, I love it. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, <ballers processing. laughs> oh my god, Alpapen's the little fat midget. As long as he doesn't complain. Uh, <laughs> we got another Godzilla one. Why aren't you talking about Godzilla? That's a new move. Do you hate women or something? I'm making a video response to this. Hashtag I stand with Don. How about a smile for me, huh? Let's put a smile on that face. That would be um, battery, I believe. An assault. It would be both. It would be all. That's a threat. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I don't know I'm if we'll... I think you, we've all seen this one before, but it's worth reposting. Oh, I've seen this. Oh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's at the end of the That's really yeah. good. Poor ER. <laughs> really like just I, don't think, I don't think ER would have trouble surviving that. Look at him, he's still smiling. <laughs> that's what a whole Beowin mean. It's true, uh, smiling is harassment. Blessed Beowin. <laughs> I don't uh -huh. feel like posting this. Eh. <laughs> 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 Oh, it's beautiful. That's great. This is a Clone Wars reference. <gasps> I'm just a harasser, sir. I'm meant to be expendable. Not to me. <laughs> <laughs> I really like that one. That's so sweet. And then, yeah, this one I've had for ages. Uh, this is a part of the fact that, yes, Jay is in law, apparently our manager. Can I speak to the manager? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's got the haircut. No, oh, no. How did we decide that Jay was the manager? I have no idea, but it, it was a meme, and it got put into several memes as well, because this, this style of drawing was in that other one. Do you remember when we were all watching something on, like, a TV? And we're all on oh, episode? yeah, we were all watching Tonald, and then... Or, no, we were watching someone else, and then we started watching Tonald, and everyone started cheering. All right, so this Apparently one is... Apparently, Beowen sent you another one. Oh, uh, Beowin, can you resend the three wheeled raven? I'll uh, I'll put it on then, cause oh, I've seen that one. It's good. I'll Real repost good. it. Yeah, so you got oh, the robotic the embodiment 9, of Queen Elizabeth II, designed to keep her alive long after her natural oh my form God. is destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little ash pile inside. <laughs> May England live May long, England and live long and prosper. prosper. Long live the Queen of Tron 9000. This, I believe, was a request from fucking ages ago. And they, they like, were watching oh an God. old episode. They were like, I know this is old, but fuck it. I can't remember what our request was, but I remember Patrick Willem's Aliens. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, don't rem I don't remember the context of this, but I love that. Oh, yeah, this is another Baywood meme that deserves reposting because it's wonderful. Oh, yeah, I see. Such this. an ador this adorable good. drawing. Oh no. Pet your doggo, John. Don kind of Don? John kinda of fucked up. Don's fine. Don would have pet the shit out of uh I didn't say Don, did I? No, I just Oh. And again, another classic Godzilla one. <laughs> Pretty much the narrative. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It just makes sense. It just works. TFA Part 3 will never come out. Let's see. <laughs> I, who's this? I don't know. I can't remember who specifically uh, said this on Twitter. Collecting these is a nightmare. 
But, oh, um, so oh I god, oh I got it. It's it's just a spider looking into the Palantir looking yeah. for part three. They got Rhino Milk yeah. in the bottom uh, as well. Oh, it's beautiful. The people who yeah. make art for this, you're you're crazy, it's but I love it. Insane and wonderful. And then yeah, I can't this believe is, this people is, make art of the show. This is a fresh off the presses meme, but uh, Rags will love it. Need a ride. <laughs> 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 we get over. <laughs> 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 is there is... <laughs> I, and it doesn't there's no s for the rags it's, it's, it just ends with rag <laughs> <laughs> oh man he's on a bag of course really he is um, well, I can't remember if I showed this one, but I wanted to make sure. So it's a repo. If it's a repo, it's fine. But um, like the EFAP. Oh, did we cover Lord. this before? I can't remember. I haven't seen it, but this looks nuts. Hey, go! Is like that a button? The, the Tivity There's Gauntlet. Just a button. <laughs> I guess it's like the EFAP Gauntlet that has lots of specifications. So you got I of tonal the Tivity Gauntlet semicolon metal medallion so... of ER. It looks like the Eye of Tonald summons artificial barriers of blockage, reduces, <laughs> the boil of Eric oh reduces enemy movement to 0.5 speed, <laughs> allows the user to rewind time in the event of an unsuccessful battle by cheating, uh, by chanting, my life, did it fail? <laughs> this move can, this, this move can only be used once every 23 hours. Oh my yeah, god, at the bottom. Goliath, just sharp. Yeah, that makes sense. At the Cosmic bottom it says, uh, Oi, wolf, I live 30 minutes away from the Shire in New Zealand and haven't seen the Lord of the Rings films. I also like pineapple on pizza. How do I repent for my sins? Well, um, never eat pineapple on pizza again and watch the Lord of the Rings. Also, go to the places because, like, I hear you can go to a lot of the places they started filming the movies at, and that would be awesome. I want to do that one day. Let's go. That's your repent. Um, Yes, let's go. Yeah, let's go. So, yeah, let's a go. semicolon medallion of ER. It uh, gives user control of fire, wind, water, and earth. And temporarily revive an army of ghost Nazis as an assist. Will summon <laughs> the Pika Screech, which can result in heart failure of the target. <laughs> not, <laughs> not half bad. It's a Death Note reference, I'm pretty sure. Uh, monobrow shavings of Quentin. <laughs> 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 um, allows user to steal the soul of any person who frequently ingests soy-based food products. Bad. <gasps> Gives user ability to summon I Hate Everything, who can himself summon the other members of Sardonicast as an assist. Not bad, too. Uh, the boil of Eric Butts will reduce enemy <laughs> cognitive function by 97%. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Res results in enemies having an emotional breakdown of the sight of movement, even in the f even even on. What does that say? Even on um, next fly or level flying through a leaf. <laughs> even even a leaf flying through the breeze can cause a tear duct to rupture. <laughs> we just have to zoom in. Um, monobrow shavings of Quentin. Uh, semicolon medallion of VR. Yeah, yeah we already got, we were, we got the last two. Co cosmic egg and mix of... Mix of rhino, Medea, cosmic ghost, egg. and spider milk. Gives user insight into over 19 million possible futures in five seconds. Gives user ability to summon Rhino Army led by Medea. That makes sense. The hardest gem to acquire grants the user the ability, when combined with the others, to enter to either destroy the concept of subjectivity or objectivity and kill those who follow them. This is achieved by making an OK sign with all of the gems. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it would. Be that, so that's that's the Tivity Gauntlet. I want. I'm wondering if that was a combination of Infinity and Tism, but um, okay. a wonderful piece of. Art. 
Why are we, are still, we still talking, talking about, about this? Spider Man is coming out. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Spider Man is coming out? I'm guessing that's actually pizza or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's how I took it, yeah. Poor guy. Christ. Say my name! Say my name! Small gore iron mask. I don't know what that reference is. I'm a su is it 40k? I'm not actually sure. I don't know, actually. I reckon the people Maybe. That are, that are, no, uh, World of Warcraft, right? I don't know. I, think I don't World play either, so I don't know. I think that's World of Warcraft. I'm not sure. Detail one Warhammer. Oh. 40k, alright. Oh, it's Warhammer Fantasy? Alright. Okay, for this one, for some reason I can't get you guys a non-tism link, so... It's a, it's a Thai Mola, I believe they're called. <laughs> I see yeah. it. A bit. It's manipulated to look even better. I can't open that. Just ignore it. Okay. EFAP Objectivity Wars. Jack Saint is Thanos. God damn it. <laughs> You're still the boy. <laughs> <laughs> like the rogues gallery versus all of the heroes of EFAP. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this one's fucking. Um, it's been way too long to have put this on the show, but again, we haven't been doing memes, so. Ooh. Efap tonal days. Tonal days. I hope that there are more tonal days ahead. I can't wait to see more of that G gameplay. Dude, he's releasing like. A I want to see his new stuff. Yeah. That no one on YouTube has ever seen before. Do you think he's gonna like make? I don't know. Anime reviews in blackface or something. You can only oh, hope. I haven't seen that yet. Fucking hell. Oh shit, this is another like super awesome one. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how to take most of them. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but I like it. <laughs> what are you wearing? Is what I'm trying to figure out. How are you so huge, Wolf? <laughs> because I'm a massive. Oh. No, he's just closer to the. He's just closer to the. Front. Oh. Um. Very stylized. Yeah, it's awesome. So it reminds me of the. Like it. It's it's it. It reminds me of Super Jail. It reminds me of the weird world you could go to in the Simpsons game from like 2000. Seven, I want to say. I don't know when it came out, but like a Japanese world where things kind of look like this. I don't know what style this would be called, but it's cool. Hmm. Massive unit indeed. Oh yeah, and of course this, I think this makes a lot of sense that someone would make this. It's important. <laughs> <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Got a, a two more memes, and then we can oh, finally move into videos. Oh, Bayowen did uh, <laughs> say that he put the he sent the pictures back to you. That is the two memes I am referring. Ah, uh, gotcha. This is the uh, the three eyed raven. Find it amusing. I believe you would too. We've oh, already yeah. seen it, but it's with. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you've seen this too, right? They went drawing through the roof. <laughs> I want to skip to the next one though, because I love. <laughs> this was unforeseen. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, he asked me to smile. <laughs> he asked me to smile. <laughs> There's like people cheering in the background as well. <laughs> <laughs> he shot me in the back of the head, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> He's very well he, been eating a lot he, of pizza. <laughs> Way more pizza than me. Although he I don't know. I don't know. Face. Look at him. Look at him. He's got an adorable face. Beautiful. He's got a cute, little Which, fluffy dragon face. I, I do. Go ahead. I do have that Ori video. If you want to play. 
through the memes and shit. Um, I got video memes next. You want to get yeah, through them and right. then Ori? Yeah, whatever you want. I just got the link, so. Oh yeah, we'll throw it in. It won't. Well, this shouldn't take us too long, but you never know. Um, so this first yeah. one is the history of EFAP. Raid Wolf's Fallout seventy six. <laughs> <laughs> this is the history of EFAP five from Creamy Sheev. There are three Creamy Sheev videos. <gasps> um, is everyone still in the watch together? No. Yes. Re-enter, my good lad. All right. Let me scroll up. Oh, and videos. why? Yeah, God damn it, Rags. I can't believe you called him Bowen. Bowen. Such a terrible disservice to such a good artist. Stop <laughs> acting like you are warrior. <laughs> oh my he god. Didn't. Oh my god, I think I know who's gonna get it. He's the massive whacker. <laughs> massive whacker. Oh god, please be who I think it is. The big gay. The big gay. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> just labeled. <laughs> oh, I think Rags is way ahead of us. Oh, Rags, pull your. I'm at 31 seconds. Yep. If you can pull yeah, yourself back to 24. Good refocus it. Tonal near. <laughs> Please. Yes! <laughs> the beer. <laughs> <laughs> Artificial <Down>. barrier blockage. <laughs> I I love the, the space for his beard. The chin. <laughs> so that's uh, that's dad old, right? <laughs> yeah, it's dad old Luke. Dad old. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Fearless leader tone Luke. <laughs> Fearless leader tone Luke. <laughs> It just turns into a flame war. <laughs> I want to watch this movie though. Quickly, it's honestly something that makes me sick. And... <laughs> can you imagine Quint? Can you imagine Quinton watching this without context? He'd be like, "What the fuck is that?" Disgust <laughs> when I. See Name calling. And I'll be Bilbo. Bilbo. <laughs> he summoned <Bilbo>. Bilbo. <laughs> Language. Oh, he had his like piggy face. Being... Peace, love, and happiness by Edward. Happiness by Edward. Slice of Run around just because someone. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you cut off the word of tonal? <gasps> Apparently there is a late addition to the meme videos. To the pictures? Oh. How am I gonna find... Go on YouTube, work with me. There we go. Oh god, okay. So this is from Lil Potato. <laughs> I'm jumped oh ahead boy. of the queue. Have, it's, it's been new. a long time since we've seen one from him. And it's the Game of Thrones one, so again, I might be pausing a lot. Um, here goes. Oh. EFAP has suffered severe casualties in the long... No long men war. <laughs> I hope you can count to 20, because that's how many EFAP are the hands of Quinta goes <laughs> red. I'm not sure that that's inherently that much of a... Dude, that's a reference to Game of Thrones, by the way. The count to 20 thing. Yeah, I know. They the count to 20, yeah. Carol's flat. I mean, as a character. Is that like a personal attack? <laughs> 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 the eyes. It was <laughs> Rhino milk. Spider, Spider milk. milk. Objectivity. Objectivity. It just wants. It just wants. <laughs> <laughs> now the remaining survivors are desperately trying to stay alive. At this point, there's literally no escape. <laughs> <laughs> That's pathetic to me. You two are pathetic. You're subhuman. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh good lord, what's this? What the fuck?
すげえ Even though we've lost Jared, we have Tonal that he's honestly kind of better. Because <laughs> you <he> daddled. <laughs> uh, I love it. So interesting with what this really one. What I liked about your Hobbit videos is because you were doing what essentially me and Mauler do all the time. With so this is Mole Combat Dead uh, Deception. This is the opening cinematic. Uh, I guess the less you guys know about it, the more fun you could have with the me. But I was so surprised to see this, because this is a game I used to play all the time when I was younger, and I was just like, oh wow, this is actually... The movies is we are the robot, essentially, and we pick apart what it's wrong with the... I feel like the kinds of movie, like, the kind of uh, perspective you're advocating for would just make for really boring art. We have to talk about something called Peter Response Theory. Why? What the fuck is that? Peter Response Theory. Why? <laughs> oh, dude. What we're doing is objective. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um... <laughs> I had something really insightful to say here. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh god. And that rule I like how any cinematic that has a revealing person coming out is basically perfect for an EFAP meme. <laughs> <laughs> the chat. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna be him. No, no, never mind. The Dragon King. What the fuck have you guys done? The prophecy <laughs> fulfilled. The Dragon King had indeed returned to Outworld to reclaim his army and impose his dominance. What the fuck? <laughs> Where the fuck are you coming from in this shot? How the fuck is this even possible? Where the fuck? What is this? What are you? Subjectivity and objectivity. He's firing common sense. <laughs> Cersei's strategy. Raiden began to realize that even their combined might was not enough to defeat the Dragon King. Change.org. <laughs> Change.org. Raiden's sacrifice was in vain. For the blast had little effect on the Dragon King. Now or not, spin off to shape the world as he sees fit. I was the fool who brought him this power. <laughs> can destroy this threat, born of deception. The repository. <laughs> that, was, that was really good. Loads of really good quotes in there that match the. F I I approve one hundred percent. I like that the dentists <laughs> managed to make it into. <laughs> 
a meme. <laughs> okay. This is from, um, isn't it No Consistency? He should, he, Loki knew he was in Germany, he should have spoke German to them. He should, he should have, have, have learned... Like, he, they should have seen him <laughs> in German, otherwise it would have been a, a loose end. Imagine he did speak German. And so it's like, we never got to see where he learned German. He, why, why does he know how to speak German? He's from Asgard. Do they have <laughs> Germany in Asgard? <laughs> he could have jumped from a plane, I guess. Yeah. He could have parachuted down and then, you know, disa <laughs> disengage the parachute and, you know, jump down. Yeah, on but then the I guess the parachute sort of landed on all those people. Well, yeah, the wind, <laughs> the wind took it. Bring you the wind took it. I want to see the parachute just land on all those people now. I think that'll be yeah. better. Yeah. And you just see like some people awkwardly pull the parachute off them. There's like screaming and a guy just caught it and strangles. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> where supposed to go? That would be better. Christ. Welcome to the post apocalypse. We're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Always Those a fan of those. I really like that. Right, so this is the Batman animated series turned into a mameme. All right. From happydragonpictures.com, I guess. So I imagine I'm gonna have to do a lot of pausing in this one. This is old. Should be alright. You never know, especially with the music. Objective. <laughs> Objective. <laughs> Did you guys watch the show? I'm pretty sure I've seen several episodes, but I can't remember. I think I've seen some of them. Yeah. I haven't. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, Jesus. I guess I'm well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Damn. That was good. Yeah, the other thing is really good. He's even got the silhouetted my mask thing. Wow. Subversion. Oh, what the This is Batman. <laughs> <laughs> That was the meme repository. That's good, I like that. I, was, I like that a lot. That's great. That was I mean, great. Super creative. Uh, as you can tell, all the memes we looked at so far are very different. It's like, it, they all come from yeah. those different sources and creativity is great. Made in an afternoon, <laughs> an evening without sleep. <laughs> we very much appreciate it. The masses that come to run <laughs> our favorite franchise. Ruin our favorite franchise. The masses. Based on <laughs> characters in Eve <laughs> Sir Total. Sir Total Luke the Third. <laughs> if you haven't seen Batman the Animated Series, you are officially the largest like, master. I guess that's me. Brought to you by the. All right. And that was the... good. That was that was really good. That the was very Goliath high saga. <gasps> that is in uh, the the docket. Don't worry, we're getting there. Okay. This is, I believe the history of EFAP part six. Oh Goliath. my god, <laughs> Goliath! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the <Philippines>. <laughs> <laughs> He's got <a> fucking T Rex. <laughs> What fresh hell is this? <laughs> Eyes on Goliath. Eyes on Goliath. 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 I am the blessed pipe. Blessed pipe. And I'm Rags. Goliath. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. 
Wow, Frog will play in the black man. What's that about, huh? Hmm? Racism. <laughs> you should play the green man. That's true. <laughs> 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 Bilbo. <laughs> oh, God, Kylo Ben. <laughs> Kylo Ben. Rhino. <laughs> <Ryan. laughs> Wait, so he's destroying the Philippines. He has to destroy the Philippines, yeah. <laughs> 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 this, this shit's brutal. Oh my god. Oh, wait, yeah, who'll be Thor? Thor? Oh, I know who's gonna be Thor. What's, what's your bet? It's gotta be. Total? You know. <laughs> well, yes, the Dawn. It's either, it's either Total or the Dawn, you never know. It's Let's gotta be total. Uh, oh yeah. Yes! <laughs> I was about to say I don't think the dawn existed yet, actually. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> See now we got the funny thing. Imagine fucking Toad Loke seeing this shit <laughs> on his computer <laughs> right. Like, why? The was negative, but it was Daddle valid. now he's daddled. When he's angry, he's you know. Did... What can developers learn from that? <laughs> Infinite wisdom. Well, they can learn a lot. <laughs> the only way games get better in this industry Lord of the Rings is the big game. Is by but not Regas. <laughs> I love it. What what the hell is that? Why are we looking at Gandalf? I'm assuming that's all. I'm only nearly halfway through our meme videos. Is the thing. I'm just oh my make god, sure we're, we're not even halfway through yet. <laughs> oh my. I am inevitable. I'm definitely gonna have to pause a lot with this one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. This Just the... looking at the title, I know what this is gonna be. Deleted scene. <laughs> <laughs> We're all just waiting to get there now. <laughs> <sighs> People call me... <laughs> the Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Don saved many orphans, <laughs> men and women that day. Sadly, he died after using the Infinity Gauntlet. He could have survived if he still had his motorcycle, but it was stolen oh, I, years ago. I, wait, I, I'm behind. I, I, didn't, I didn't see that part. Don saved many orphans, oh men and women. <laughs> oh my god. It's beautiful. Don, but not forgotten. I Alright, this is from... Theory oh. animations. This is this is pretty awesome. You have horror movie trailer. The Last Jedi is a masterpiece. <laughs> the Last Jedi <laughs> is a masterpiece. The Last Jedi is a masterpiece. <laughs> That's great. I want to go back to the uh, thought of. Wait, yeah, sorry. I'll try and pause it. Am I? Is my icon just hanging from a string? <laughs> yeah. Did you all see it? Or. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. Good shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like he says it three times in the mirror, that's great. 
<laughs> That's great. Now you summon EFAP. No, I guess they're showing the new Halo game now. Can't wait to be disappointed. Um, Halo Infinite, right? Yeah. If you just say something, I'll mod you. <laughs> there you go, Rax said something. Bum, 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 bum. Like literally something. Uh, Add moderator. Ah, oh, yes! Rags yeah, has the Oh god, this is the moment. The Weird right, Wolf right. was timed out by Rags for 300 seconds. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Listen. We're gonna talk about power. <laughs> and how I've just made him a moderator, so... And how <laughs> all funny, the love me and despair. King of the moderators. Uh, Rags, king of the <laughs> 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 a visual representation. <laughs> oh <my God>. uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <Man. Man. laughs> I'm not putting my not name. Not putting my name on this garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this, this one's dumb as fuck as well uh, but they're all wonderful <laughs> and the different. last one wasn't dumb that was a masterpiece funny thing about um i think eating going on a diet it's not a bad idea it's... so uh oh shit hold on wait wait, wait hold on the thing. <laughs> he's, he's, wait till he lands wait till he lands he embarrasses me every day <laughs> he makes us okay, all look like backwards idiots and frankly the fact <laughs> Woo, up in smoke! Did you see that? Look at these pog champs! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say, but I love it. I'd say I'm in the band pit has left me horribly disfigured. <laughs> <laughs> this one's really quick, but wonderful. You're fat. <laughs> <laughs> You're, You're fat. <laughs> oh, this is just like a really awesome edit, and uh, I just never got to play it on the show. So here it is. It was for when ER came on. Oh, I know this one. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that the theme for again? Wow. Uh that's the that's a, a theme from Inception. The laugh yeah. is from Death Note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they threw it up on Twitter and it was like, oh that's awesome. It's really good. This is the history of EFAP seven. There's a lot of histories of oh, EFAPs. <laughs> this will be relevant. We watched this recently. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm Haldir. Yes. <laughs> People aren't going to get it, but... Total... <laughs> 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 That is very true to Tonald himself. Mm -hmm. We must be quick. Must pause. Music is probably gonna get me struck as well. Oh, you know what? Let's just hope we get past. And hey, you went to the effort of making my the back of my black the black the black of my black mask black. <laughs> the there black you go. of your black. <laughs> Artificial barrier. <laughs> Rags is the giant midget. <laughs> 
Everyone has their own opinions <laughs> and feelings. <laughs> Why would he be saying that? Towards what they like and what they do not like. Who are you? Show yourself! <laughs> oh, that's great! Uh, my expectations have been subverted. It cannot be. Forgive me. I mistook you for tonal. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan the White. Jonathan. <laughs> Fire. And water. <laughs> For every like, For a, every dollar like will be... a dollar will be donated to Don's Children Hospital. We have Becky. <laughs> Don what not forgotten. <laughs> That is how you subvert Hello expectations. Hello to be thy Don. Oh, these Don's so expectations were subvert. A lot of Lord of the Rings ones, actually. Which is not a bad thing. No? Wolf gets fuck a pep Game talk. of Thrones, <laughs> fuck season 8, fuck Dan and Dan, and fuck Chuck yeah. Wendig. <laughs> Did Aquaman come to save me? <laughs> I think, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck Aquaman! <laughs> Hi, I'm JXE, and today I'm going to be talking about Watch Mojo of all things. And my Rhino Mulch. I don't. <laughs> the context is. <laughs> What's so you can't fix this. You can't. It's it's the major plot point. <laughs> I am so done with this subjectivity shit. <laughs> to reach any kind of objective conclusion about the quality of a movie in terms of like a rating out of 10 or whatever, you would have to apply subjective criteria, even if the measurements you've made are still objective. And then that's really saying that the people who like it have confused it for- I guess I should pause. I just want to like, if it was <laughs> blank, you can listen to it. Good content. <laughs> so you, you can do that, but other people can't. There's not a, a previous version of the timeline where you don't have it, and then because you have it, you stuff changes. I want to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> the same as any other resource that if you have it, you will use it. The only it. version of the timeline is the version you have it. And if you have that ability, you can still use that to make things better for you. It's It sucks to say it, but be, having people call you names because you say bad about a thing they like is part of the job. <laughs> 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 I love the echo. Remember when movies were good? We can't. Racially <laughs> inaccurate. Racially <laughs> inaccurate. Sorry. Survive it. But uh, if it goes wrong, then we can't. I genuinely do not think your opinion on anything matters. <laughs> you can think that's bad. But it's a great thing. Critique comes in all flavors. <laughs> and just because it's bad, doesn't I told it. you. That's what happened. Mean it's bad. You know when you see like a train crashing, it's hard to look away. Literally, get off the <laughs> internet. I guess, like, I guess we've. I guess is the conclusion that, that like it works as it is, but it's consistent. But it's consistent in something that's not good. I'm just gonna deny that you've made any arguments at the end of it, and then claim I'm right, and that will be uh, how the debate will go, and I will win <laughs> based on my superior logic. You are worthless to me. <laughs> <laughs> God, you can have a wolf soundboard with this shit. It's <laughs> 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 insulting the Smeagol. Smeagol's more presentable than Eric. Would you prefer it if I were to give you uh, $5 or stab you in the face? And if whatever you say, I will. <laughs> Just to be clear, I'm all for this, unless it goes badly. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing that. No. 
<laughs> We're not doing Wait, you haven't seen Stand By Me? Are you shitting me? No. Requiem for a Dream. <laughs> no. Stage. No. Oh. <laughs> nope. 21. Jump Street. Yeah. Hidalgo. I don't know what that is. Smoke signals? <laughs> nope. This Peter Jackson's King Kong. Actually, Percy Jackson. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was not the answer you should have oh, uh, <laughs> The Silence of the Lambs. No. Old School. No. Ex Machina. Yes. Planes, trains, and automobiles. No. I Get hard. Me. Um, do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was really good. I really like that one. <laughs> that was one of my favorites, I think. It's funny how, That's like... That's a really, really good one. It ends up almost being an actual, like, comedy skit at the end, like, as if we wrote it that way. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent editing. Very good. Very and, uh, good. These people another... have too much time on their hands. The Beam repository Beam for another repository. Lord of the Rings one. Whenever you encounter Goliath, you must sacrifice something to him. <laughs> In prehistoric times, we referred to him as the... <laughs> <laughs> if you got a slingshot and a pebble, that'll do all the work for you. Offer, you, offer like, love to it instead of a sacrifice, and that's the trick, because no one's tried that. <laughs> <laughs> right, no milk. <laughs> Where did you run? Jane has not seen Lord of the Rings. <laughs> okay, this is. The, we've only seen a. We've we've only seen a black screen, and already this is becoming my favorite meme so far. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the effort! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this became a meme, and it was it's, <laughs> it's a different stream. I still remember Cynics, his little ah, oh, whenever whenever <laughs> he got afraid. Oh. Oh, you, you, you still gotta clip that up and post that wall. I am so the way. People who don't know. <laughs> I gotta pause for that music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well. I think that's uh, Pacific Rim. This is Pacific Rim, yeah. Yeah. How are we going to? Ex oh God, they're gonna go through all that lore for that episode. Yeah, I'm already <laughs> like immersed. Like I could watch this movie. <laughs> we know not why he came, only <laughs> that he did. <laughs> After countless eons of conflict. We warded him off with the novel combination of rock and string. When he finally fled, he fled to the ocean, seeking the one nation to never sully themselves with the with sling the of shot. The sling of shot. <laughs> this nation is now his hunting ground. His <laughs> people, his cattle. And now comes the time of harvest. May the cosmic chicken <laughs> Like a full on movie. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this super the chat. <laughs> Um, the reason the super, super internet chat, memes are better yeah. than 98% of <laughs> Hollywood movies. Jeez, we we yeah. would pay for this fully fledged, like, well produced. I actually would. <laughs> I would <laughs> actually fund this. You could easily actually write a story, a book at this point with the EFAP memes with, like, a coherent storyline. Potentially, we've got a lot of world building in. <laughs> 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 oh god, who's gonna be the, the kaiju? I guess it would be Goliath. Oh, right. I forgot what we were watching for a second. <laughs> eyes on Goliath, eyes on Goliath. Eyes on Goliath. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lord of the Rings music. <laughs> What would the soundtrack even be for this potential universe, considering it has the Avengers theme, Lord of the Rings music, and Inception music? It's, it's like a big fucking mess up. It, it would probably just be like a agglomeration of all three soundtracks with no original music whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Goliath has chosen Cynix. Chosen Cynix's new target. I'm gonna be totally, perfectly honest with you. I kind of want to write a book of this just because I can. <laughs> you should do. <laughs> The problem is that you'd have to go back and find all the lore pieces and put them all together. Dude, I don't believe it's easy. I mean, yeah, you could just look at the meme page on the EFAP website and probably give you enough. <laughs> <laughs> just the idea that this is what this is what he was doing when we were on the call with it. <laughs> I'm hiding behind oh a dumpster. Oh my god. Do you, so do you just not... see, like, do you just see, like, a black... Oh, not EFAP, yeah. Silhouette of a dog just standing there staring at you, and then every time you go around the corner, he's just a little bit closer. It, it, it's like one of those videos. <laughs> I'm gonna be total. I, I'm actually really tempted to make a defect book now, just, <laughs> just to do it. It, it. It'll be you short and everything. Me, you're, you're an uh, honestly, <laughs> not even really. <laughs> I would prefer I, to. Oh, I'm peeking now. He's not there. Thanks, everybody. What is that sound? <laughs> I don't. Is that wait? That's a that's a Goliath drone. It's <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur feeder cast water. Oh, we found it. <laughs> Getting closer. Kill it. Probably Where is that coming from? Oh, God. Uh. It, is that. Is Where that is him? Is that him coming from? <laughs> In the last ditch effort left for Goliath's, Goliath's heart. He pet him and told him he was a good boy, and this finally quelled the beast's eternal rage. <laughs> That's the trick, see? <laughs> Goliath only wanted love. <laughs> the the Isle of Peace and Prosperity. <laughs> cancer was cured. <laughs> 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 All was good. All was good. Except when it wasn't. <laughs> Based on the truth. It really, it really is, though. You could actually make that argument. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, that's actually it. That's my entire. Uh, of, of All right. Well, let's, let's, let's watch the thing here. This is ESRB. I don't even have to pause. This is one. I know. Oh god, that Ori theme. I can't wait to buy the soundtrack. Oh, this is like that Ori game. Indeed. Ori... Ori... Lee? Oh, relay. Hmm. He's a spooder. Oh. Oh my god. It's Haldir. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It's like a lot of boss fights. Zombie in owl. Ooh, whoa. We like this game. Oh shit. Oh sweet, it really brightens back again. Ooh. Ori in the Death Forest. No, the will of the Wisps.
It's a shame no one buys single player games anymore. Yeah, no, no one does. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Like genuinely that looks awesome. It's like the coolest thing. We'll get it on Xbox then, dude. Come on. No, I'm getting it on Steam. Come, come on. Come I'm on. Gonna sell my catalog Xbox. varies over time. Why do I need my Xbox anymore? Halo's not on it anymore. Uh hello. I mean it is, but it's on PC, so it's like why would I bother? Uh Halo. Uh, no. Yeah, that actually means I can now at uh, four hours and twenty eight minutes begin reading two streams of stupid chats. This is gonna be really quick. Um but yeah, uh I mean just just for those EFAP memes though, holy shit. We're um so wonderful and all in a row and for anybody who's confused about the Goliath meme, you can find it on Jay's second channel, I think. But I am making a supercut to specifically release on its own so that everyone can discover the Goliath lore. But I think it'll be cool to keep it as a very... It's going to be a, a sacred lore for a little while, you know? If you're not in on the loops, then you, know, you just have to deal with that for a while. It's a special kind of lore. Why a lot of... In yeah, depth. it's a pretty uh, deep lore. Um... God. Uh, scroll and give me a sec. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Well, so, yeah, a lot of people are saying Keanu Reeves is in Cyberpunk 2077. So. I looked at that. I just skimmed through the Halo Infinite <coughs> trailer. It's just like a, a CGI trailer. It's nothing. Mm hmm. Not gameplay? No. So nothing of substance. don't waste my fucking time. Oh my God. I, I'm irritated because it looks like they're making... ...retarded. What? Cut out. I mean, it looks like Master Chief is a robot, which looks retarded. What? Doesn't make any sense. What's your opinion? <sighs> I mean, maybe I'm missing some something here, but a dude plugs a cord into a thing and then it turns Chief on, which... Why? It looks like it's just a reboot of the entire series at this point because 343 which great, at least they're fucking admitting to it. Which will be an Xbox Scarlet launch title. Cyberpunk 2077 E3 2019. Oh yeah, the first up is So anyway, Let's... You can buy a Halo Deluxe arcade machine. It's uh, $16,000. Oh. It weighs 1,500 pounds, to be fair. Seems worth it. Hmm. I'm actually kind of interested in seeing Keanu. <laughs> Every single thumbnail just... Yeah, I'm more interested in Ori, honestly. I know, but you have to wait a whole, uh, like, a half year plus. I know, so. I gotta wait another eight months to play game. I, I just play the long. old one, Wolf. Jeez. I can, but I want to play the new one. It looks really good. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm gonna start all the way back at your, your, your boy Arthur. Um, I'm gonna start a watch through on Game of Thrones to see how the show looks early on to someone who knows what happens later. Wish me luck. You'll have to let us know how that went. Yeah. Tell Smiler I love him. I shall. <laughs> The one dollar donation from a profile that says I'm not giving my name to a machine. That's a <laughs> reference to Future Arbor. I like it. Molar, I freaking love you, dog. That's racist, but uh, yeah, I think thanks. I got an edit for the Dominator. Check out. Oh, I th think we actually put that on the memes. So nailed it. Uh, Captain Marvel and Lost Jedi. Which is worse? Captain Marvel. I would say Captain Marvel because it's got nothing going for it, while The Last Jedi has like one or two things, maybe even three. Why are you talking about Ori when Spider-Man is almost out? <laughs> when is Spider-Man coming out, actually? That's soon, right? I don't know. Oh, I have no idea. I've just heard that meme so often, I don't know. <laughs> it's like perpetually coming out. It's actually <laughs> out. Why all the cutting out? Um, I, I don't think Meal Rag's been cutting out. It's mainly just Wolf because he's a massive. Fuck. Yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, all hail the dawn, all hail the toxic brood, all hail the cosmic chicken. That's a very, very true message. 
They established that Batwoman is Bruce Wayne's cousin. Doesn't that mess up Bruce's character as the point of him was that he was an orphan with no other kin and only Alfred to help him through life? He made his own cousin. If she was younger than him... Oh, because I guess... I don't know. Maybe. I mean, that trailer opens with saying, like, Bat-Bat has left us. It's like, um... What do you... Why? Are you going to explain that? People aren't going to like that. Um... So happy to see my second favorite YouTuber, PMS Itch, on one of my favorite shows. Too bad my favorite Uncle Creepy isn't here, but his sidekick will do. Yeah, anything directed at PSA Sitch is going to be totally... I'm going to have to remember the context. I have to remember like what videos we were covering at the time as well. Have you watched Netflix's Daredevil? I have. I wasn't a huge fan. I thought it was okay. Um, Fringy loves it, though, so... And, and I know it's very popular, but I also know that basically all the other Netflix shows suck for a... But the ratings are really high. Oh. The view ratings, you say? Oh, the, the ratings. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Um, yay, first live EFAP. EFAP gaming cry of fear when? We need to do another EFAP gaming at some point. We gotta get that going. We gotta get that going. Uh matter of figuring out the right game in the right time with the right people, you know? Did you see the tweet I tagged you in person saying I'm a sextism and you're saying Captain Marvel is a villain but you wouldn't say that the Terminator was a villain? Oh yeah, I probably did. I was in a couple conversations with that. I gave up on it after a while because as you saw today, she's a robot. For some reason you have to explain this to people. Uh, when I talked about the Donna Corst, I didn't think it would become real. Well... When you get enough Dons cloned and killed, could give it such a name. Um, Don can't be killed. You can only be hurt. Brutally. Uh, they should have made Ghidorah orange, gave his head blonde hair, and replaced his rules with Make America Great Again. There's your commentary. Oh. That would have gone a little bit too far for people because the whole uh, protect the earth and be kind to it sort of thing was pissing off a lot of people anyway. I didn't even really care about that message because I thought it was so tismy altogether. Like, the idea that we'll save the planet by allowing millions of these enormous monsters clamor all over it. I was like, um... Okay. Maybe it's because I'm one of those people that's like, I don't really mind what the damage has done to Earth if it means we can survive. Obviously the irony of being like, if you cause a mass extinction for the human race by damaging the Earth, then that, yeah. Conversations to be had. But yeah, the main character just sort of was like, ah, oh, if everyone dies, whatever, it's fine. Um... Godzilla movies always look like crap to me. I've never seen any of them because of that. Wow. Chip Chipley, you're gonna, you're gonna piss some people off, so... I think a good route for a Godzilla film, they should do Gendy Tartakovsky's style. No dialogue, story told with visuals, and audio with just kaiju. I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd check it out. Give it a shot, you know? You should watch Godzilla Final Wars. I have no idea what that is, but I think I've seen that recommended previously as well. Hey, Mauler and Rag. My girlfriend and I keep fighting over Ray and Plank because she thinks they're actually good characters. How do I convince her there's really strong female characters out there? Um, How do you convince her that there is? Show her well, I, I assume you mean like real, like real strong female characters. Well, I would start her off with aliens. Yes. Alien and aliens and walk her through there and explain, notice that this is our protagonist and we don't make a big deal about the fact that being a woman isn't her entire character. She has actual things and traits going on with her. And then just ask her questions. Say, could you identify why Ray and Plank are, are, are good characters? Can you, can you tell me about them? And after you tell me about them, can you actually tell me the scenes that you learned any of this stuff? Or is this just... Is this, are these just things you're putting together in your head? Like, I actually think about the scenes that we see. Don't fill in the blanks. Good chat. Divorce her, dub her, bro, dub the GM, all his laws, break up with her. <laughs> Find a new girlfriend. Um, hi. Uh, would Godzilla have been a better movie if it had a big monster sex orgy? I mean, either way, it would have been a huge spectacle, right? I can't say oh, that course. that would have made it worse. I would have been down for that. Yeah. Yeah, the writing was bad, especially the humans killing the planet and shit. Also, Science Lady, she wanted to save the world by destroying it more. It makes complete sense. I just like that she falls back on her plan, like, the moment she starts seeing the results of her plan. And people are like, ah, but King Ghidorah made them all evil. And it was like, 
uh, in the literal mm. previous movie, King Ghidorah wasn't even around and the monsters were destroying shit. I'm just like, that's such a bullshit argument that the film invented. Uh, does Rhino Milker count as a real job? I don't see how anything is more real than Rhino Milker. Yeah. The, that's the most down to earth job you could possibly have. You wanna watch the new Absolutely. Godzilla today and don't want spoilers, so I won't be able to watch the stream until later. Say hi to future me. Hopefully the movie isn't really bad. May the Don bless you for spe spreading his good name. I hope you loved it, the KH Avenger. I hope you loved it. I don't like juice. Too sugary. Also, the whole nation racking thing gets on my nerves too. I get it. Very clever. If commissions aren't jobs, neither is piecework. Piecework? What's piecework? Oh, you know, just like work that you do when there's peace. Like, it's not spelled as in, like, war piece, it's spelled as in, like, a piece of something, piecework. Oh, oh, that's just a part-time job. If you're a full-time job, you do whole work. Yeah, the point with the whole real yeah. job thing when we were discussing <laughs> that, whenever someone makes some kind of weird gatekeepy argument for what a real job is, you'll find that they don't even agree with it once you explore enough jobs. What are you yeah, going to say, Wolf? I guess if you're an author, you're not a, you're not a real worker. If you're an artist, you're not a real worker. If you're well, like, an actor, you're not a real worker. The argument I was seeing from people on Twitter was like, uh, yeah, you know, YouTuber is not a real job. It is real work, but it's not a real job. And it's like, um, okay. Like, you don't have a boss, I think was one of the requirements. It was dumb. Uh, finally caught my favorite podcast live. Yay. Love the lengthy streams and thanks for uploading them after too. Enjoy how y'all get me thinking more about writing as well as the enormous amounts of tears brought forth from laughter. Hashtag I stand with the Don. I mean, the last three streams have been very Don focused. He's just keeps, he keeps coming up. We have to keep defending our guy because, I mean, fuck. Lawyers are coming after him now. Literal lawyers. It's kind of, you know, what can you say? YouTube's, YouTube's fallen down. It's fallen a long way. Do you think they'll reboot Game of Thrones after George is done with the books? I'd like to see the old cast make cameos. Kit Harrington as Benjamin, for example. Game of Thrones should have an ending like Rome or Sopranos. Um, I don't know what they're going to do. I think it would be a long time before we could get a, another attempt at Game of Thrones. If if we get another attempt, I would want Kit Harrington as uh, um, Ned Stark. Eddard. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that would be, cool. be a good way to put him in. Oh, hey, it's PSA Sitch. Hey, that was from Unknown <gasps> oh, Otaku. Hey. I believe... I'm not sure if they know each other. I can't remember. Um, just seen Just Right's vid complaining about Game of Thrones. I've not seen that yet, but all I've heard from people... I, I saw, like, the first two minutes, I think. And I know that people would just say it's just, like, one of the most hypocritical videos ever, because he's just complaining about all the things that he was like... Eh, like, like, that's the thing. It was a good video, but you know his standard is completely contradictory. So... Yeah. Yeah, you just counter every single point he makes by uh, I didn't notice that in my beginning. Twenty years of YouTube yeah. completed. Why is Susan still so damn damn bad at her job? You'd think she were a filthy goyim or something. Um has she even commented all the stuff that's happened recently? I don't even know if she's still in charge. I have no idea how all of it works. Not looking good lately though, no. I bet that ad guy likes see. the Let me alien check her channel. I bet that ad guy likes the alien squid in the Watchmen comic. Hey, Wolf, you read that recently. Is there an alien squid in the Watchmen comic? Yeah, it's a giant alien squid that destroys New York. Neat. Spectre is the last Jedi of Bond films. Also, hi, Rag. Hi. <laughs> Hello. I didn't see Spectre. Was it that bad? Either of you guys seen it? Uh, I've never even heard no. of it. It's the James Bond I've, movie. I don't... Well, wait. Is that the... Um... I think I... No, I haven't. Well, <laughs> we've, we've got no thoughts on such things. Sitch on EFAP? Too bad Adam doesn't we know don't Jack have about... We not such things in these dark times. Too bad Adam doesn't know Jack about Game of Thrones. Always the sidekick. Now get Lewis on and complete my YouTube Avengers Assemble moment. Yes. Um, Lee Yates Mien's Hoa Pipi. Me at lens, ya, yep, yeah. I don't know if that's like a spell or something. Me hands on, ya. 
Different topic, but I gotta say, I love Death Stranding's latest trailer. Homos are demons, women named Mama, good guys protect a white baby, based <laughs> Kajimbo. <laughs> Um, if the Jimbo? Dawn and Tonal teamed Jimbo? up, could they defeat Godzilla, King of the Monsters? I guess we'd have to ask someone like Rags. What do you reckon? I'm sorry. Say that one more time. I was thinking so about something. So Dawn and Tonal teaming up, could they defeat Godzilla, King of the Monsters? Hmm. That's a tough one. I'm going to have to, I, I might have to do some research on that mm -hmm. and then get back to you because I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm confident right now in making a, making a decision. Uh, would you rather get That's a tattoo? That's really the maybe category. Would you rather get a tattoo of Pro Jared on your junk or be spanked by a spiked baseball bat for 10 seconds? Sincerely, Mr. Massive. Spanked by a... Spiked baseball spiked bat. Spiked bat. Uh, for 10 seconds. Oh, wow. Um, I'd probably get the tattoo. Yeah, because you can get the tattoo removed, I guess. Yeah, you can get yeah. your tattoo removed. Or, or alternatively, you can just go over the tattoo. Like, I could just say, ink the whole fucking thing. Give me a big black dick. And boom, <laughs> there you go. You got Not one. Not to mention, but a spiked listen, baseball bat could actually do some permanent damage. Yeah, I mean, unless... Yeah, like, I... I you know, I, I gotta keep the back looking, you know, right, proper, nice, you know? Like, I can't have holes getting punctured into my backside, all that. Like, that's way worse. That's I way worse. Don't want to ruin the back door. Let's just say that. Yeah, man. I mean, if it, was a, if it was a single spike and it was not particularly big and they kept hitting me in the same spot and it just went in my butthole and it didn't actually puncture <laughs> anything, that would be one thing. <laughs> but that's probably not going to happen. It probably doesn't fit the spirit of this question. So I would actually get um, Pro Jared, um, his, his face tattooed on my penis. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I guess the real oh question God. is, listen, that makes sense. But would you have this face, have you made uh, the decision between would he face you or would he face outwards? Outwards. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want him looking at me. Yeah, but I don't think we can choose. It's got to be the guy who makes the thing, you know? Well, I would want him facing outwards. And the reason for that is very, it's actually very, very simple. First oh, God. off, Beowen it will says be, he's going to draw it. Oh, boy. Well, what what's gonna mean is that the people like some is someone sucking your dick, right? They're gonna get the worst of it because yeah, obviously, great fucking dick rags. This is excellent. We should do this more often. But small complaint, small complaint, <clears throat> minor aesthetic complaint. Um, I got pro Jared staring at me every time I pull back my lips. And you would so say close your eyes. That might yeah, I need to close your eyes, don't worry about it. Daddy's got you. But if you had pro Jared facing you, then people would assume that that tattoo is for you to look down at pro Jared and see him staring at you on your dick while you stroke your dick. So people would think you're really weird. I mean, they'd think you're really weird either way, but they're that you're doubly weird if he's facing you because they're like, oh, is that that tattoo that tattoo's for you to look at? Oh, that's fucked up. That is disturbing, but also true. Yeah, so that's um, yeah, that's my uh, those are my immediate thoughts. If I give it some more time to simmer, I could probably think of some more, but I think that'll do for now. Um, I've is... got your money's worth. <laughs> yes. Is your sister also a skull on wheels, Mister Mauler? Uh, the whole family's like assorted parts of a skeleton, but like can't really specify them because I would essentially be doxing. You won't see it during sixty nine. That is a good point. Um, the un see, here's the here's the trade off, right? Let's say you get Jared on the underside. So positive and negative, right? The positive is that part doesn't get seen nearly as much. Might be able to get away with it without people noticing. Um, for the most part, only the camera guy is going to see it. But man, getting that on there, the underside of your penis, getting a tattoo there, oh man, that's going to be rough. All right. So okay, we're getting a tattoo anywhere there. Going to be yeah, yeah, but but especially on the underside. Okay, Wolf, are you circumcised? 
Yes. Yeah. Well, there you go. I, okay. By the silence, I'm guessing Wolf has just conceded. All right. Yeah. yeah I mean, right. they don't really I have an argument. <laughs> let, yeah. Let me go to my board uh, and put another pick mark here <laughs> on one Rags, Rags wins. Wolf zero. I'm at like how many, how many ticks are on Wolf's board? Oh, Wolf doesn't have a board yet. When I need, you see, I, I get them on a, uh, I, I buy them when I need them. So mm -hmm. when Wolf wins, I'll go out and I'll buy a board. But that makes a lot of sense. I was just saving a bit of money here. Sitch and Rubago. EFAP together, it must be my birthday. Set up a warning <laughs> beforehand. Damn it. That um, is a good question, Jay. Let's discuss that. Would you rather get it on the tip or stack? That is so. Um, oh, boy. What a choice. Ah. Uh, that would be rough. <laughs> I don't want to choose either of them. <laughs> we go with a part in between both of them. <laughs> oh, 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 what if? Oh, what if? Like, would you have to choose your left or your right, or would it have to be like a smaller one on both? I don't know. We need rules. We need. We need. We need some rules here. Wait, you just uploaded a video, Wolf. <laughs> I I just recorded the Ori reaction. We upload. Oh, stealth video. Oh. Well, well, I knew people were going to ask me about it because it's my favorite games. So, all right, well, snip out the reaction. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read out the title of a video, and I want you to guess who uploaded it. Why this Fallout YouTuber couldn't avoid drama. The truth about Oxhorn. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine who. It so anyway, Sitch and EFAP t Oh wait, I read that one. Set set up a warning beforehand, damn it. Can't catch these lies without prepping my milk and I have no spiders. You guys should get Alt Shift X on as well. Keep up the great work. I would love to have him on, but I seriously doubt that he would. But I you know what I, I always say that about people. I should always just try. I'll send him a message at some point and be like, hey, go about Game of Thrones. Uh, nothing cures a hangover like an episode of EFAB. Love listening to you guys. Keep up the great work. Why, thank you, Lucas. Finally saw it live. Here's some money from Mother Russia. By the way, my girlfriend thought the all-female shot in Infinity War was embarrassing. You mean Endgame? Because the Infinity War one was fine as far as I was concerned. No, it was terrible. It was awful. It's an SJW. It was nowhere near as bad as the huge midgets, dude. The large... That was pretty... The large dwarves yeah, were fucked yeah, up. That, that was pretty... Um, Godzilla is a better hero than Captain Marvel. I agree with that. Um, your pal Rags of House Efab, first of her Hello. name, the Undressed, Queen of Video Essays, oh. the col can co Colonial Marines, and the first Queen of the Arkansas. Undressed. Uh, Elise of the Great YouTube Sea, Protector of the Realm, Lady Regent of the Seven Kingdoms, Breaker of Beds, and Mother of Wolf. Well, oh. Breaker of Beds. <laughs> That's a that's a reference. I'm so glad I did that. I'm so glad that I can fucking check that off my list. It's that's, still broken too. That's the one we did with Jeremy and uh, Jeff. That episode where you explained to Wolf that uh, you broke. It was it was the homonym thing. It involved breaking beds. I can't remember. It's there's a lot of EFAB lore to keep track. No, I don't. I don't think so. Was I don't. Was oh, that li was that a live stream? I talked about that. Mm -hmm. You, you the said still broken. I try, bed. I try not to get on the bed on that spot. Said something like, if you were dueling with dual hom homophones, and then you said homophones. Dual homos, if you're and dueling with homos, you, yeah. And you break the bed, and you said it's always in the center, I think. I can't remember. EFAP scholars will definitely study that. I tried right, generally, watching... the center of things is where they break, because it, it bends the most there. You, you, That's where mine yeah, broke. I agree. Kind of. I tried watching The Mist on Netflix and got about ten minutes in before some emo kids started take, talking about patriarchy and white privilege. Oh. Uh, this kid's chin and forehead collectively make up less than a third of his face. He is ugly and should feel sad. His opinion is also mongoloid in nature. That is that is mean. The, I'm not even sure who he's referring to. It's probably the first dude we covered. By the way, Rags, Hoonipop 2 review when? Belch. What now? Hoonipop 2, you gonna review it? I've heard you love the game. What? Okay. <laughs> you no, I... I what review for what? Some what to? Unipop. Have you not heard of it? Oh, um, yeah, I played the first one. It was, I mean, uh, I mean, look, the the payoff for the work that you put in 
Mm, not really all that great. The thing is, I have an internet connection, so my access to unrestricted free porn of basically any kind is limitless. So if you're going to make me do some work for it, you'd better be a pretty good payoff, right? Nah, it's a, it's okay. It's fine. An Indian chick is nasty, <laughs> but I just feel like, uh, feel like it's not quite worth the effort. Game's a little cheap. Mm. I'd rather undress gals in real life. Huh? I know that's assault, but yeah, I was gonna say, dude, do you want to go to jail? Like, what the fuck? Ah, uh, the girls there. Don't don't oh, give dude, them the there's male hot gaze. Criminal men. Don't give them the male gaze. That's all I ask. I want to get fucked by a rapist. All right, misogynists are everywhere. Do it. Types the left wing version of the Jewish conspiracy. Oh, I could see how you could you could pass them back and forth. Yeah, I guess. But there are misogynists everywhere. Look at this rags creature. Look at him staring. I, He's staring at the I chat hate, at I all the whammons. I'm staring at the chat. I'm looking at what the fuck you guys are doing over there. Mm -hmm. I see through your lies. I know you whispered dissent among the ranks. Uh, shit like this made me into a single issue voter. I now vote for whatever makes makes hoes mad. Oh, I get it. Oh, I, got, I guess I have to answer. I have no plans to review Honey Pop 2, <laughs> the sequel, to Honey Pop 1. <laughs> I don't actually, uh... No, I don't actually. Uh, how dare he criticize our Don? Hang him. I mean, we can't. Don wouldn't want that. He wouldn't want that. He's okay with being criticized. He gets it a lot from people who just don't understand the Don. The Don. Ask someone to smile. That's sexual harassment. That's from Wolf, by the way. Guy donating like some kind of disgusting creature. Gets told to smile equals sexual assault. Dismembers own baby in the womb. Whammon's healthcare, mm -hmm. honk honk. Whammon's healthcare, honk. Hey, Moller and Co. I'm curious, considering what's going on with Captain Marvel, being a hero but acting like a villain, if you heard about upcoming Amazon series called The Boys? I have not. The Boys? No. I haven't heard of that, no. It's an upcoming comic book series where a Justice League-style group of heroes are, in reality, complete villainous jerks that need to be brought to justice in by regular people. Alright. Sounds like it could be cool. Hopefully it's done well. Yeah. Um, Dawn doesn't deserve this shit. Fuck this prick. Probably never experienced parental love or something. It's, it's quite possible. I bet Carol doesn't even drink rhino milk. I think it's safe to assume that. Uh, the Dawn is kind enough to offer a stranger a ride somewhere, and this idiot acts like it's a bad thing. It was sexual harassment. You know, unless, you know, as long as we agree. And it's punishable by law. Like, we've literally got two very authoritative sources confirming this, guys. So. I wonder how many cases that guy's won, like, as a lawyer. I wonder if he's, like, shared his public record and stuff. be interesting to see. I wonder if he edits the videos or if he's got someone to do it, I don't know. Just wanted to show yeah, a little support for you guys. I've been binging all the EFAPs for the past couple months since I stumbled across Mola. Thanks for introducing me to Rags and Wolf Work 2. No problem, Tony. I'm glad you're enjoying them. It warms the, the, the cockles of one's heart to know people would actually watch all of the EFAPs. Apparently it takes eight days right now. Who knows how really? long once it'll all be done. That's almost as long as one Lord of the Rings movie. Mm-hmm. What's you guys' opinion of the Star Wars land that opened in Disneyland two days ago, which is heavily based on the sequel trilogy? <laughs> I watched Doomcock's video on it. I would I hear that I hear that they banned people from wearing Star Wars costumes into it. Oh. Let me let me double check that, but that's what I heard. What's it called? Star Wars Galaxy's Edge? Oh, is that what it that's what Galaxy's Edge is? I didn't even know that. I don't know. Is it? Um Star Wars got yeah, it's a theme park area. Uh, let's see. Star Wars Galaxy's Edge costume. So it looks like uh, I'm trying to uh, let me see. <laughs> yeah, Galaxy's Edge is the thing that uh the Kaleida people wanted an invite oh. to, I guess. Okay, you can't wear Star Wars costumes in Galaxy's Edge, not even the ones on sale. Disneyland's new Star Wars land is enforcing the themes park theme park's official costume policy. Why though? So dangerous or something? 
Yeah, the, the park requests that guests age 14 and up not wear costumes, particularly those that look too similar to Star Wars characters. Um, the unspoken rule behind the rule, the unspoken reason behind the rule is to keep park goers safe and not allow bad intentions guests to misrepresent Disney and its characters. Huh. Uh, if a costume guest wanted to cause trouble, they could trick other guests into believing they're official members of the cast. Given the other, uh, other guests bad guidance and being a general nuisance. Yeah, so guests would okay. get confused with the staff. All right. That's, you'd think they would have had that problem a long time ago. Like, they would have enforced right. this a long time that's ago. But okay. Yeah, yeah that's kind of All right, lame. all right. Yeah, we wouldn't we wouldn't want anyone to ruin the Star Wars brand, would we? No. That would be that would be terrible if that ever happened. Oh, Poor imagine? Don, look how they massacred my boy. I know. Well, I was rewatching a DS2 vids and found that DS2 and Skull of the First Invisions are in the vision I have. I have old ear as a boss, but the Hyde Knights are still scattered throughout the game. Wonder if mine's bugged or if updated? I would not know. That's interesting. Um at this point my DS2 knowledge has been sapped because it's been so long since i've even thought too much about that game but um this possible it might be an update it might be that there was a way to make it happen i'm not sure but uh imagine being such an ugly forget that you push to degenerate society into sodom and gomorrah in the hopes that if standards get lowered enough you'll finally catch some busted used up oh my goodness Ra Ra has a lot of takes they're very interesting uh, Movie Bob was de uh -huh. debating. There's some things that are just like, yeah, like Ra. I guess uh, he does a lot of Ra Ra Rasputin. Ra is an Egyptian god. I'll have you know, Rags. Yes, sun god. Movie yes. Bob was debating Ricky Gervais on Twitter on why it's okay to throw milkshakes at people. I think he wants an excuse not oh, to drink boy. all the milkshakes. <laughs> um, I'd be interested in seeing that. Oh man, here it looks. General, it's like here's a good idea to live by. Don't throw shit at people. Just don't do it. No, they don't throw shit it. at no. people you disagree with. End it. Like don't don't be a four year old. Not even Nazis, don't throw really. Stuff. Not even Nazis. Not even not even Nazis. Not, not if even, you're not doing anything illegal, you just can't. You can't. Not do even it. mass murdering Nazis. No, mass murdering Nazis. Yeah. Yeah. Can I throw a milkshake at them, please? Yeah, you're gonna have to point one out to me. I'm on EFAP 29, almost done catching up. Love you. I wonder if he's made it yet. You're on 29? Oh. oh. Still got a way oh. to go. Imagine you any of this Captain days. Marvel stuff happened 10 years ago. What happened between then and now that so many people find her behavior appropriate? Thanks for all of what you guys do. Uh, love Stitch. I, I don't have any clue what the hell happened, and I feel like... You know they accuse us of being like, wow, if she was a guy, you'd be okay with it? And I'm... I would accuse them and be like, if she was a guy, you wouldn't be okay with it. It's like this weird perspective people have, I guess. Um, how would they feel if the Don's husband came around the corner and saw that? Oof. That would definitely, oh, uh... <laughs> oh. Would change it up quite a bit. That would be really interesting, actually. It's okay, Rags. People who listen to Anita Sarkeesian tend to be women. They're retarded and... Uh, it's why Daenerys right, burning King's right. Landing is logical and in character. Wolf is back. Uh, did you, uh, well, what toppings did you get? Uh, it was a Halo Infinite trailer with a side of volume this time. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, so I, so I was, was wrong. Was it thin crust or thick crust? I, I, I guess I shouldn't have leapt to conclusions given that I skimmed through the video muted the first time, but... Uh, no, he's, he's still human, but now it makes even less sense than that, because I don't know if it's a reboot, if it's a sequel, if they're ignoring Halo 5. I don't know what's going on. And I don't know why people are excited for a trailer that literally shows nothing but graphics, but, you know. Because graphics are the most important aspect of any video game. Yeah, I said it before, I'll say it again. 343 is really great at advertising things, and they're really good at making games look pretty, but that doesn't mean anything. Right, people. I do. 
Um, I can't stay for long, I'm at work, Bye, but guy. I wanted to ask you guys, what if the coming Star Wars trilogy is written by D&D &D and directed by Ryan Johnson? I mean, I'm pretty sure they will be writing and directing, because they like to do that, but if your scenario was running through, it would just be a matter of like, well... Can they, can they do playing video worse? games. Yeah. It would, it would be sad. Oh, right, that George R. R. Martin games a thing. Uh, gonna catch this on Moolah later. Take my money and say hi to that massive wolf for me when he gets back. Oh wait, this that's sexual harassment. Yeah, I won't do that. I don't want to upset Wolf. He hey, this guy me. in Super Chats wanted me to tell uh, you hi, Wolf. He said you were massive. No, you just harassed him. Oh, are we are we really like almost done then? What do you mean? Are we almost done? No, it With never Super ends. Chats. Wait, it <laughs> never ends. <laughs> uh, we are less than a sixth of the way. Less than but a they, I, fucking hell, dude. Oh, I gotta what? go. Like, I gotta hold go on, in like thirty minutes. That's, are these the super chats from? I was the gonna say, yeah. I I will. I'll go through them all until I'm done. You guys don't have to stay. I'll make sure they get their answers. Oh god, yeah. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm, I'm not staying. I, I will This is honestly to, gonna take me a long time. <laughs> I don't well, know how here, let's just. I might. I'll say, I'll say Hopefully, they don't more. ask any questions that we have to discuss. Fucking hell. Well, this is well, the thing. I don't, I don't know how else to do me, it, right? Send me, like, whatever questions people ask me specifically. And I'm streaming about the E3 games sometime this week, not today, some other time, like yeah, maybe in a few days or that. whatever. I mean, do you want to do the same thing? And I'll just answer you, them. Uh, rags. I can, like, put up two notepads and just pop any questions for either of you and then send them both. And you can both do streams. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Then I can just, like, just read them off at the beginning of that stream and here, here let's do this how about right how about um wolf and i we can go and we can do a stream with our reactions to mauler reading out all of his super chats <laughs> <laughs> you fucking pull in fact, and comment in fact, on wolf, every one of wolf, them start so, so, because i can't i can't stay to do this live stream so you start a live stream and i'll join the live stream and as he live streams the EFAP chat super chats, then we can we can re respond to it. <laughs> Are you like serious? <laughs> no, that was, no, that's no, Maul, that's a stupid idea. I agree with you. It is a stupid idea. The people in chat are saying you should do it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So anyway, rags, 1911 versus 9mm, which would you rather have? Uh, that's an odd thing because 1911 is a gun and 9mm is a cartridge. So you're saying the difference between a gun and a cartridge. Is a... I'm assuming what they mean is 45 ACP versus 9mm. I mean, I I'm... prefer 9mm weapons. I have many myself. I mean, the gun that I keep by my side is a 9mm. I've got one that I carry. I have a 1911, and it's lovely, but I, I just have a, I have a preference for 9mm. I, I, just, I, I prefer the capacity and the lower recoil, and I mean, it's, just, it's just taste. I mean, there's no real winner. There's no, perfect, there's no perfect bullet, and there's no perfect gun, except the AK-47. No, uh, it, it's all about what's built for what purpose. There huh? we go. Superman yeah, didn't break the neck, will. he just cracked it. Oh. That's the yeah. reference to Man of Steel. To I won't be able to contribute cool. much to these super chats because that wasn't part of the stream, so I gotta Yay. jump out. All right, sir. Um, oh, all right. Yeah, I, fine. Uh, See ya. Good, good, good. Right. Just leave. Just good everything. Leave, well, enjoy Dark Phoenix and message me what you think. Uh, give me. Yay. The first thing I want you to do is send me a number out of 10. You don't even have to put out of 10. Just send me the, you know, between 0 and 10. Just, just the number itself, and I'll know. That's all I need. Listen, okay. um, I hope you enjoy your thing. I will not be watching the Phoenix. I only okay. watch White Phoenixes. Oof. Frankly. Yeah. Light Phoenix. So. Fair enough. Why don't you clip that and fucking put it in an article? <gasps> Maybe they will. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 yeah, I'll uh, see you guys later. Goodbye. Ciao. Goodbye. Hey guys, this will hopefully be the first stream I can stick around all the way to the end. Also loved your recent Game of Thrones content rags. Oh yeah, man. I've I've always been a big Game of Thrones fan mm. for nine years. Blood, sweat, and tears. The whole I haven't thing. really gone into it at all. The rags dragged me into watching episode three of season whatever. Yeah, it was. man.
Like it was After bad. After episode three, I needed Mahler to just. I needed to just bend his ear. I needed to vent to Mahler mm. about how shitty the show had become. Uh, Rex, find a way to conceal Carrie and Smith. No, 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 no. This is this important distinction. I didn't say there's no superior firearm. I said there's no perfect. I if I did say superior, I misspoke. There's no perfect firearm. Much like everything else, it's a tool that's built for purpose. So, yeah, like a sniper could be the best for sniping, but a pistol yeah, could so be the best. Yes, if you want to kill someone that. far away, you want to use, you know, a marksman rifle. If you want to kill someone, up, if you have to carry something concealed, then obviously that won't do the trick. So, eh, it's purpose. Everything's a trade-off. That's the nature of it. Yeah, like long-range sniper, short-range nuke, mid-range grenade. Like, that's how, kind of how you... That's, that's, that's a typical... Wingman, yeah. Uh, Rags, find a way to conceal carry a Smith & Wesson 500 Surprise 50 cal. Uh, I think I know what that- I think that's the big-ass revolver. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's that big-ass revolver. Jesus, that looks so uncomfortable to shoot. I would never buy one of those. Fucking hell, man. That man didn't it's get his head sliced off, he just had a blade held up to his throat, threatening his life. Wait. Uh, what's it's that true. referencing? The meme. Which one? The one with um, ER? Wait, what was the super chat? That man didn't get his head sliced off. He just had a blade held up to his throat, threatening his life. Wait. Yeah. Why am I blanking on that? What does that mean? Oh, I'm just um, nodding my head and saying, yeah. Oh. And everyone will think I know what uh, I'm, I'm sorry, talking about. respected Salmon. You've been disrespected because... I'd have to be completely... Maybe the chat knows. I'm completely bewildered on, on what that is, I'm afraid. Um, yeah. FFS, this, this happy cricket eater, his women hate him. I don't remember which. Oh, Terminator 2? Okay. Uh, hey, Mola, love TFA part 4. Part 5 could use a redraft. Oh, and then they put a spider with, with the uh, crystal ball. Apparently people are going to love part 4, but part 5 is going to be something that people feel is a little bit rushed. Uh, that's a prediction from the spider, so... I will now take extra time on part 5 just because... Movie Bob's Halo Reach review? It's insane. Um, that would be something for Wolf to check out, because I haven't... Oh. Movie Bob Halo Reach. Is it insane because he hates it or loves it? I, I mean, I guess we could do that. I don't remember a lot so about Halo Reach, though. Yeah, now this was um, this was a while ago, but the ratio was pretty bad. It's 721 up to 1.2 thousand down. Oh. I wonder what he says. So, <laughs> what are the, what are the comments a, saying? It's a five-minute review. Top comment. Um, you basically admitted at three minutes that facts hurt my argument, so let's ignore it. I mm. know this video is an attempt to seem deep. Or maybe a self-patronizing, heh heh, I overanalyze everything. But it's pretty pathetic how you're pulling one view out of it and ignoring everything else for the sake of appealing to one demographic. You can just as easily say Halo is in fact sexist against men because it says men are one-dimensional characters only capable of being energy rifle fodder unless they are sensitive and care about their CGI girlfriends more than the fate of organic life. I pulled that theory out of my ass much like you did with yours. In reality, the context makes or breaks the hidden theories. The overarching theme of Halo is contradicted by both of these theories. The theme, the setting, the characters, everything makes the context. And by ignoring it, you end up making a shitty video with too many le funny memes instead of entertaining. Hmm. Well, that sounds like something we should cover. I will put it in my notes. Uh... Oh, this is a short one that I really like. The Islamic State is comprised of people of all ethnicities fighting for what they believe is a faceless trying to conquer them and denounce their ancient culture as barbaric and evil. Glorious Caliphate confirmed for good guys. What I gotta do with this video? I wanna watch this video. I, I kinda do wanna watch it. We, we won't be able to finish it. I've, I probably gotta leave 10 minutes to get ready to go. Oh, we'll, we'll just save it for another I, I actually can't event. show up without pants, so I, you, I do need to... You wanna, we'll, we'll save it for the next EFAP if you want. Yeah, yeah, let's actually do that. Let's get Wolf in here and Very well. we, another Star Wars or not Star Wars, sorry. Uh, another Halo, you know, nerd type. Mm -hmm. That would be really cool. Because I really liked Reach. I liked it well, a bunch. Wolf, like, I, Wolf's anti-Reach, right? I, really, I think he's anti-Reach. Mm -hmm. Now, in bed, I'm anti-Reach. But for the Halo games, I'm definitely pro-Reach. 
I enjoyed it, but I'm not. Uh, that was fucking when I first when it came out, so I really wouldn't have much to say on it as substantive. Um. Anyway, Thor tries genocide, is exiled and stripped of powers. Bad. Captain Marvel threatens the dawn, steals dead wife's motorcycle. Hero? I know, dead right? Dead wife's motorcycle. Doctor Strange That's refused a nearly impossible patient which came back to bite him when every doctor refused to take on fixing his hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, this, I, I just skimmed through the timeline of this, um, is the, this video. I mean, the escapist. I haven't even started it. It's the same editing style that he's done, and this was, this was like eight years ago. Yeah, he hasn't changed, like, at all. It's the exact same fucking thing. Every once in a while, there's a meme face or a meme picture. And I'm like, man, wow. <laughs> it's like, like, if it is broke, don't fix it. That's his thing. <laughs> if it, it's the exact same thing. He's got the little meme faces. Hello, Fortier. Some I of them see are you the same chat. one. Some of them are the same pictures that he's been using for eight goddamn years. Look. In fairness, uh, YMS does the same thing. Eight. Yeah, I mean, YMS uses the, um, the, uh, one of the Rage comic faces. He uses the face of himself looking really, like, sad. And, you know, I haven't gotten tired of those faces. I find them funny. But, uh, I mean, if you're trying to point out that Movie Bob hasn't evolved or anything, then absolutely. <laughs> but it's all the same. Exact same. And it, it would be one thing if, like, yeah, it's like, it's the same thing, but I've refined everything about it. And it's so much clearer and crisper now, and it's all great. But no, it's not. It's it's the old crap is just kept the same. Well then, yeah. Um, I actually like that extra bit about Doctor Strange. It makes that a lot more interesting. The um, his refusing patience ends up hurting him big time later because he gets to feel well. He gets to be on the other end of it. It's good. Uh, what if Don is an old Jew who aged well, and Captain Marvel just assaulted a Holocaust survivor? Hello, racist and Nazi oh, pill department. Oh my gosh, you're right. Uh, I mean, it could be. Lots of lore to, yeah. to Don. Hello to my favorite toxic brood, Mola. I saw your series on Amnesia vs. Soma, and I loved it. Keep up the good work. Also, host the Don on EFAC. <laughs> we would totally do that. I would pay that guy to come on in, in character. <laughs> just talk to us as the Don. It would be the best thing ever. Uh, look so up. Doesn't evolve as long as he does. Well, clearly he hasn't. But the edit, it was bad to begin with. So, like eight <laughs> years goes by, and you're doing the same thing, and it's always been bad. I'm like, man, all right. I don't know if I could do something the same for eight years. Look at your stuff, Mahler. Your stuff's changed. My stuff changes like every video because I get new ideas that I want to do. Well. How how about you find something that's awful and just stick with it <laughs> forever? Why are we listening to Super Chats when Spider-Man is coming? <laughs> <laughs> Look up 1 minute 40s vid Wonder Woman is a whore. Ignore title, but a clip from Justice League War, how a real female hero deals with people. Wonder Woman is much better than Captain Marvel. I agree with the Wonder Woman is much better, for sure. I just I didn't think the movie was that great myself. Rise EFAP. Nice, nice bag of rice. Nice, nice bag of rice. Slash and dash. Scorching torch. Oh, we finally made it to a fifth. <gasps> Don's fault was being nice. Had he bent her over and reamed her while telling her that her father was right about her, the worst she would have done would have been to write a blog post about Don while cheating on her beta spouse. All right. Oh, what's that? I started a game review channel called Mark the Cyborg and could use some feedback. The vids are similar in format to Rag's weekly reviews on EG, so the EFAP audience might enjoy them. It's Mark with a C. Check him out if you'd like to, guys. Apparently ah. they're similar to Rag's format. Good luck, sir. Rip Boogie 2988 That's th That meme will trick me forever until the day he actually, like, dies that I'll be like, you guys cried wolf too many times. Then it'll be released. Wolf but cried. He did. When he lost his pizza. Press S in chat to salute Boogie. If we give Medea <laughs> all the Infinity Stones, she will have the power to avenge Dawn. I mean, I'd watch that movie again. These, these are very good ideas for movies, I'd say. Um, 
Godzilla big dick energy. Yep. To be fair, mm -hmm. I did love it when Doctor Strange as an ass. Yeah, but the thing is, the film hey, was saying he was an ass. It Godzilla wasn't... was a girl in the 98 in the Matthew Broderick one. Is Godzilla a girl in this one? I thought there was two Godzillas no in dip. that movie. Remember they kill one and it's like, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember either. It may, I'm probably wrong. Um, I know, I don't want to, I don't want to stereotype with gender binding. I wouldn't want to misrepresent Godzilla eggs, 98. So. That, that film is it, a classic. It did lay eggs. She laid eggs. Yes. So, gonna go out on a limb here. Roll the dice. Probably a gal. God bless Chris Hemsworth for knowing Thor is objectively stronger than Captain Marvel. Even the comics say so. Well, she disagreed. Thank you very she's much. Fucker. Regarding Captain Don't. Marvel's likability, she's the worst. Heck, Daredevil enjoyed hurting people, but he's more likable because it's an acknowledged character flaw while still having heroic traits. Agreed. The meme repository brings you an offering. Check your Twitter. Hopefully, I we watched it today. Um, people die for siding with Captain Marvel in Civil War II. She leads several to their deaths, including her lover, War Machine. Even M Magneto disagrees with her, and she dismisses him as guy who compares everything to Hitler. Wow. I wonder if they'll go in that direction. I somehow think they won't. Oh my. Women are F-king retarded and shouldn't be allowed in kitchens because they'd burn the house down. There I said it, okay? Jail me. I mean, that lawyer would make a case for it. So the Don offering Carol a ride and asking for a smile is sexual harassment, but Rose forcing a kiss on Finn in TLJ isn't? Yeah, but... You gotta understand. Power dynamics. Yeah, well, it's different, because Rose was really attractive. So it Ew. makes total sense that he'd be down with that. How dare you. Getting some of that... Getting some of that sweet... Sweet Rose Tico booty. No... Wow, that was hard to force out mm -hmm. of my throat. I, I could feel your that pain. Was, that was tough. That was a tough one. I don't know. Don't make me do it again. That's it's what recorded. about is up. I mean, that would be a request, a, a, just, just a, a request for an answer about a contradiction for that person if they were making those separate claims, I guess. Assuming the conversation wasn't about a specific thing in a different movie. But, fair point. Uh, this stream is sponsored by Gillette. Sweet. God, no. How do you do it in my swamp? <laughs> OMG, guys, for the last time, you can clearly see that Wolverine's skin is not black. He is clearly a villain. I, I, don't, I don't think that's the, the argument anyone would make, but... Rags, can you link to your book? <coughs> yes, I can. Um, I'm putting the finishing touches on it right now, so um, I'll get with... There was already on Amazon. Done, it's called uh, Iridescent. Spot checking. Iridescent? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because of the... Uh, I had a... A radiation experience. Yes. So now I'm iridescent and I glow in the dark. Ir Specifically, only certain parts of me. Yeah. Uh, insert Hawkeye. If, if, you're, if your dick could glow in the dark, would, would you have your dick glow in the dark if you could have that? If it was a choice, I think I'd yeah. go with yes. Why not? I don't think so. I'm Maybe a, I, can I, you turn I like it off and on, or is it a permanent thing? Uh, I think it's a permanent thing. So, like, it just in the dark, it just glows. It's like Rudolph's nose. Oh, no. Well, yeah, I'm going to have to say no. If I, if I had a preference, I'd say no. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, it's fair enough. All right. Insert Hawkeye sarcastically applauding. The futurist, gentlemen. The futurist is here. She sees all. She knows what's best for you, whether you like it or not. Better watch your hands with this chick. Yep, that's all in Civil War. I remember that bit. It's very much more applicable to Captain Marvel. Mola, can you do an unbridled rage of civil war? Why would I do that? Why would I lie about the movie and claim it's bad? That would be <gasps> awful. At least Zod asked people to kneel. I stand with the Dawn. Um, yeah, yeah, he, he doesn't force people to kneel. He, he asks them to. That's, that's much fun. Um, ask Wolf to release a Kindle version of his book. Down. I think he's. Um, I think Wolf said he was inspired to write a book about the rise and fall of the Roman Empire. Yeah, based around the. It's based around the emperor who actually is midget. I think he wanted to do one for the EFAP Empire as well. No, he said he was going to call it Little Caesar. That's racist. 
Being a so, mole doesn't I mean I work he's... really hard on that. So I'll take uh, a few ha ha's in the chat for uh, that. We'll one, we'll we'll we'll, we'll see if they say it. Here we go. Let's see. Well, I went to the jump. Yeah. We got we got some about the dawn and Mothra. Oh, you got a lol. A ha ha. A o. A a. Uh huh. Tax efap. Uh huh. Let's see. I think oh, you got a boo. A... You got a boo. Yeah. Well, you go fuck yourself. <laughs> you got to get a heckler Piece once in a while. Yeah. 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 That's harassment. Yeah, that I'm was going to demonetize actually. your channel because I'm an LGBTQ person. And that's harassment. Being immortal doesn't mean he's exempted from laws. What the fuck? He still feels pain, including when he extends or attracts the claws. About, I'm really not sure what video that's about at all. Round table. I've waited a long time for this moment, my toxic friends. Also, no one has ever really dawned. True. <laughs> They wanted the Dawn to slap Dawn her butt, but her butt double would not do it. Damn. See, Rose oh, is a woman, boy. so you might think Finn raped her, but Finn is black, so he didn't. Also, she is Asian, so she oppressed him. However, Rose is ugly as balls. Trene Gook? Oh, that's, these are racematisms. So the real oppressor I'm is Luke the Whiteman. Uh, you should get Brad Brad on that boy is a legend. Brad Brad. That sounds like a familiar name. Not sure Brad who Brad. that is. Catching an EFAB live at a reasonable hour? It can happen. Sexual harassment is not a justification for assault with a deadly weapon. Because lest we forget, yes, her powers is. are nuclear arsenal level or worse. That's true. She could probably obliterate Earth if she wanted to. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, I don't see why not. She could literally just fucking slice through the center of it and then we'd just be fucked. A girl in my college he steals told me the core of the earth and just eats it. <laughs> Kills it. Sells it on the black market. I've um I've actually got to head out. I got to get ready for the shindig. I so... hope this shindig is a good hoot nanny. Oh, it will be quite the schmigagel. So with that, I'll uh, I'll watch the rest of the stream later when it goes live on Mueller. And I suppose what I'll do is I will catch you later. I will... I'll be back later tonight. We'll keep a track or maybe, maybe. of we'll questions that are specific for either of you guys. Yeah, you bet. Done and I done. will, um, yeah, uh, bye-bye. Gonna go off, break some bets, see you later. Have a good one. Hey. What a massive. First time I've ever soloed on EFAP. I don't remember if I've ever done this before. It feels terrifying. I've got such stage fright. How will I ever read such... Super shots. Um, poor lone Mauler. This is weird. Solo EFAP. Um, a girl in my college told me, oh wait, it's gonna force me out of the call in, um, in Discord, because when you're on your own, it doesn't let you stay in. Um, um, <laughs> wait, Forti is in chat. Can I just ask him to join and not say anything? I'll, I'll... Otherwise, I just gotta turn Discord off. Okay, I'll throw Fortier in. Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Nerd. Wow, dude. Come back. What? Hurry up and put my socks on. Oh. What? Chat said, Rex, quick, come back. Oh, so well, fucking do it. it's oh my God, it basically, I, I realized that if I'm alone in the thing, then it'll eventually boot me out. And I was like, oh, I'll just have to throw oh, some no. Randy in here. Okay. So that I can keep well, the thing on the screen, but you know, Footy is just your old guy. All right. Well, uh, um, I'm gonna go now. Um, Have fun, ma'am. I will. Hey, it's ma'am. I said that, ma'am. Nope. Wow, you said no, and then you left, so I couldn't even reply. Isn't that fucked up? Yep. Um, a girl in my college told me she liked my sweater and started stroking my arm. I dumped a milkshake on myself, threw up my arms, and started yelling, Hands up, don't shoot. This is what feminism has done. Alright. The famoid cries out in pain as it strikes you. These are very strange super chats. Round table is a homosexual version of upper band. Oh, I remember us reading that out, actually. Which means we're finally up to possibly a third of the way through the previous EFAP. We're really making progress, guys. That Muslim in Wait, Raiders. Are you, are from the previous EFAP? 
Yeah, like YouTube fucked up, and so I couldn't read them out. And so I said I'd read them out next time, and now we're at this point where I'm still reading them out. Um, and it looks like I'm about just over a quarter of the way through all of the Super Chats, and I started reading them like an hour ago. <laughs> so... <laughs> that was living Guys, is... stop donating! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, yeah, they're still coming in, fuck. That Muslim in Raiders had the right review on women, fact. Okay, I, I can't... The woman, the Muslim in Raiders. Oh, I haven't seen Raiders in ages, so there's probably some kind of comment some guy makes. Um, this guy is a massive, that's fair. I think Rags implied he's a concealed carry holder. He is, absolutely, he took his test relatively recently to get it renewed, I believe. That's why he was talking about the laws today. Um, literally saying it's not the scene they chose is a better defense than what these people come up with but no even what they didn't go with was also right somehow yeah if the defense of the captain marvel scene was that they didn't actually do it you'd be like oh well you know what yeah and there's like why are you why are you talking about it so much when it wasn't even a blah 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 and just like yeah i can i can see that as an argument but no they um they're just going ahead and just defending the whole thing they were like no nah, this is all good all good um there is no women on the online, only lizard people. What, what is, what is, what, what is your opinion on that, Fortier? Uh, well, aren't lizards, uh, known to very commonly be hermaphrodites? Yes. So technically they are a little bit of men as well. Hermaphrodites, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Why do you criticize videos? They aren't even real. Um... There's some that are real. Most of them aren't real, you're right, but some are, and you have to treat it as though all of them are because you can't tell which ones are real and which ones aren't. Do you guys all know... the UFO videos are real. Yes. Did you guys know that Spider-Man's coming out? I did. And I believe Fortia's probably looking forward to that, right? Yeah, that's pretty soon, right, isn't it? Like, Can you check that? Early I've been curious July. all day, and I just decided not to Google it. Let's see. Spider-Man... Far from home. Did you, uh, blah, blah. Damn it, I clicked the wrong thing. Next nominee for Sad Feminist Handy, this bozo. Sad Feminist Handy. <clears throat> I assume this is still about the guy who was defending her. I, I'm, I'm going to assume that. 3rd of July. 3rd of July. Oh, wow. Close. Mola, how's your TFA Part 3 video coming along? Um, I haven't started the editing yet. The script is done. I'm still working on my Game of Thrones stuff, which is coming along. Episode 5... Uh, video is coming, and it's probably gonna be an hour and a half, but, um... It's gonna be fun. A non-white, oh, cretin white knighting and virtue signaling. There is no more unsightly and pitiful instance possible. How I wish people would listen to Bezmanov so that they understand why these NPCs should be stopped, criticized, and actively resisted. Well, here you go. This cuck will make these videos for two years and not get laid. Then he'll either drug a girl or prep a... Oh, oh my. Oh. Crush, crush in front of him. Oh. God of so the So did sun you guys uh, only watch Ori? Yeah. You haven't seen anything of the I don't, I don't think we watched anything else. Yeah, but that was updated us. I don't really care that much about anything. Not even Cyberpunk. They announced John Wick 4. I don't believe you. Even though that was announced ages ago. Why would they announce Wait, John really? Wick 4 <laughs> at E3? Why would they do that? <laughs> well, I mean, it, it was a meme in the Twitch chat. At I least. see. But, uh, yeah, he, he uh, Keanu Reeves was in Cyberpunk in the new trailer. I, and yeah, I then he came, actually came on stage. That was, <laughs> that was actually pretty cool, I have to admit. Jonathan Wick came like, on stage? Yeah. James Wick? Jonah Wick? Yeah, James. Jill Wick? No, Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill rolled out on... Oh, wait, I can't say that. It's a fat shaming. This is why we need to close the border. Man, got the alert to the stream an hour and a half late. So you only missed the introduction. Sweet. Here, let me give you a donation from PayPal <laughs> using a system called The Super Chat on the YouTube media platform from the interwebs. Yeah. Stop talking about Captain Marvel. Spider-Man is coming. That's, that's a new EFAB meme. It's fantastic. Glad I finally caught an EFAB live. Thanks for streaming today, guys. That was the other one we did, but uh, yes, I'm glad you enjoyed it. 
I'm working on writing a story for the Don before he meets the dreaded plank, because why not? Maybe some EFAB adventure titles. EFAB versus Space Fish. Why, why would she be Space Fish? Unless you're saying that's what Don, the Don was up to. He was fighting Space Fish. I could, I could see it. Stop dazzling me with your ignorance. Your shiny half-baked head is burning through my retina like an acid made of stupid. I was Magnus the Red, TTS. Um, I can't even remember who we covered after the thingy that that might be referring to. Shiny half-baked head. Who's the sidekick <laughs> now, Sitch? They didn't use the name, I'm afraid, for, for the person they were in. But yeah, there's been three oh, references yeah. to Sitch being a sidekick. I think that's to do with his podcast. Finn was a First Order salvager. Uh, yeah, I'm possibly, uh, yes. It's actually true, all of it. If they kill off Phasma, it'd be consistent with her character. Um, in the ninth episode, I'm assuming you're referencing, and yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh, have you all seen Bright Wait, did Burn? Phasma die? Well, they could easily just bring it back if they wanted to, right? Oh, it's one of those off-screen deaths. It's one of deals. Have you all seen Brightburn? And if so, what's your opinion? I'll see your response on Moolah after work. Um, I've not seen it, but I've heard good things, and I am interested by the concept. Basically like Superman, but evil. Why not? It'd be yeah. fun. Uh, <laughs> have I... you seen the trailer of it? Uh, yeah, I have. There's lots it's, of whistling. It's actually like... It... What? Lots of whistling. Oh, in the trailer? Mm -hmm. I thought you meant in my... Mike or something. Wow. No, the the trailer. Like I remember when I first saw it, I was like, "Oh my god, this is like a rip off." And then I was like, "Oh, it is actually a rip off, <laughs> like on purpose." <laughs> yeah, I think it was just a sort of like, "Hey, can we, we should just just do it. Just new IP, whatever." <laughs> yeah. Pretty fun movie. I want Captain Marvel to sit on my face. That was from Vito. That is a sexism. You can't say that. Unless you want to say that. That's that's how that works, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Wait, can he say it if she allows him to say it? Like, no, what if he's her boyfriend? No, unless it's okay. Yes. Oh. Like, I think like, that does make sense. And if you then. disagree, you're probably a racist. I haven't actually checked my race. But meter. I'm not disagreeing, though. I'm writing it down here. No, unless she says yes. Yeah, I think that's pretty straightforward. Like, when you chat, you'd agree. See, look, every single one of them said yes. Um, Except so. for the guy who said you. Well, that, that guy's that guy's a wrong, maybe. That guy spelled out his name with numbers instead of letters. Number took me a second to video. figure out what his name was. Oh, I need to like things on Twitter as well. I always forget to like things on Twitter. It's like a rude... I'll be doing a rude... Oh, there's another meme. I'm going to have to save that for the next time. No worries. And, uh... Ugh. Email making noises. I apologize for this ill professionality. It is quite Khmail? unacceptable. Khmile is making noise. Excuse you? Khmile! Dude, that's... I think you, you've probably upset three cultures. Oh, God. I'm so oh, sorry, come chat. on. Imagine watching this shit and trying to argue if it, it isn't SJW propaganda. Oh, you're talking... I'm assuming this super chat is relating to Marvel. Why didn't the blacks use the magic balls on Tony? Um, I'm thinking the magic balls couldn't save Tony from his 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 wounds. Oh, Rags, you beautiful yes, could, doggo. I love anything. you so. I have to put, Rags is going to have an interesting set of messages slash questions. Oh, Rags... You beautiful doggo. I think my brain is running out of steam. I'm not even spelling very well right now. I love you so. There That's you go. not my fault. Well, I blame you for most things. Don't scare me like that, colonizer. What are you talking about? I'm not Arabic. I don't. I don't remember that happening in the movie. And if it did, that would be offensive. But um, yeah, there's a lot of crazy things to sort of think about with those lines. It's like Wakanda wasn't colonized, but it's like and they they kind of colonized their other tribes. Yeah, I said it. Wakandan doctor, evil colonizer. Me, you neglected the slave trade. Wakandan doctor, peaceful protest by burning down my city. 
Oh, I remember, yeah. That, that's another thing they sort of let happen and then blame everyone else for it happening when they had, like, the most advanced technology. It's interesting. It's interesting. Time to listen to both EFAP and TGBP. Woo. Oh, I believe that they only managed to stream for, like, a half hour or something because the, the chat wasn't working, so they just, like, were like, ah, oh, it's fucked. We stuck through for, like, an hour of no chat working. It was terrifying. Despite being 13% of the global population, Wakandans produce 50% of all scientific breakthroughs. I know that meme. Moller, a four-legged stool is mathematically more unstable in more positions than a three-legged stool. Get debunked, you massive. Yeah, but I was thinking more you take a four-legged one and you remove a leg, as opposed to placing the three legs in a, you know, statistically better environment. Because the triangle is one of the, like, strongest shapes or whatever, right? Isn't it one of the strongest, um objects or whatever, the, the, the way it comes together. I, 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 I used to know this. Yeah, yeah I think so, because uh, if you break, like if, if you make it not a triangle, then the whole structure just breaks, right? Like a square, you can reshape, and it will still have four corners, but if it's not a triangle, then it breaks. Either way, Which triangles are cool, solid. squares are not cool. It is. Yeah, it did this square in fifth square. grade. See, <laughs> Jay it. learned it in fifth grade, which means it has to be true. Ugh, you guys just don't get it. Black Panther is correct about everything because black people were enslaved by Jews. Oops, I mean white people, hee <laughs> hee. You controversial super chatter. Smartest. Shuri took a car made by Toyota and gave it armor and a remote control. Tony Stark built an AI capable of autonomous flight and superheroics. Yeah, but Shuri did more than just the car thing. She did a lot of things. Message to my fellow blacks, we've wasted far too many years on these broken white boys. It's time for us to return to Africa, to Wakanda. Let us go. I mean, it would be a pretty cool place to go, like, for a holiday if it actually existed. I'd want to ride on all of... Uh, I'd want to hang out in all the cool high-tech shit. That's, that's what I'd... I want to ride a rhino, dude. That's another With thing. With armor. This survey is literal cancer. Oh, we're finally to Monday Matt's survey. There we go. We're, we're almost past this stream, maybe, the, the, the previous one. This only goes to show Yahoo. how supremely inept Monday Matt is. I was only going to do a small super chat, but this massiveness is awful. I know. Hey guys, sorry I missed the last stream. My father was waiting for an organ donation, but the doctor had his hand broken and motorcycle stolen. Oh, I remember reading that out. The doctor's name was is that Don. True? No, it's a, it's or a is meme. that a meme? Jesus fucking Christ, it took half a fucking hour for that to work. Did all of you at least clap? Uh, yes. YouTube, get your shit together. Yeah, oh yeah, this is probably when the chat died. Things got exponentially ex exponentially bad after SN1. Fuck D&D. &D. Oh. Yeah, everything slowly got worse in Game of Thrones, pretty much. That's true. Season 6 was much better than Season 5, though. Using money as the only measurement is pathetic. Con artists make money, that doesn't make them good. Agreed. Voter lives matter. I haven't seen a single episode, even I know it's... Uh, shit. Oh, there you go. I pulled over the side of the road to vote. Oh. <laughs> so we did a vote on a straw poll. We were like, everyone needs to vote on it, because the idea was that Monday Matt had a survey to prove that people actually liked the last season of Game of Thrones. And uh, the survey <laughs> was... A grand total of 2,000 people were involved in the survey. And on the question of, did you, like, enjoy the show, 63% of people said yes, I believe. Yes or yes greatly, or something like that. But that particular question was only asked to 300 people out of that 2,000. <laughs> and um, a large <laughs> amount of them were also asked, are you a fan of the show? And they said no. So, it's probably the most useless survey ever, and we decided to do a straw poll and just get the number to above the amount of people that were asked in his survey, and then be like, see, more proof. And apparently this guy pulled over just to vote. That's, um, that, that, that's some commitment Commit. right there, Dimitri. Thank you. Don't worry about me not knowing a single thing about the issues at hand for the vote. It didn't stop me in 2016 elections. It's not going to stop me now. All right, then. I guess since the Transformers movie made money, they must be good. Yes, that is how that works. It's over, Matt. I have the middle ground. <laughs> man, man, bad. <laughs> Did you watch the Cornetto trilogy? Your thoughts? I adore the Cornetto trilogy. It's amazing. I actually recently watched Shaun of the Dead again. Because, uh... I think it was, like, on TV and it was just casually put on the background. I ended up watching a lot of it. It's good shit. Very, very good shit. 
Uh, when D&D &D further ruins Star Wars, blame George Lucas. Why would we ever do that? The only way to save Captain Marvel is to make her the overpowered hero that everyone is afraid of. Bree's a good actor when a man tells her what to do. Oh. Well. Wow, dude. I'm betting Captain wow. Marvel 2 is going to be amazing. And she's going to prove all of you misogynies wrong. Um, Have they revealed who's going to direct that? Oh, I, I imagine and they'll try it. and keep the same team as the previous one. I don't know. Yeah, because um, that was such a good film. Also, if D&D &D ru ruined Star Wars, surely that'd be Disney's fault for hiring them. Like, you know, thinking about it. Oh, unless, wait, that was probably a reference. Can you? That was a reference, I think. Can to... you ruin something that's already ruined? I would say yes, because Terminator has been ruined like four times now. <laughs> that Porsche series. But yeah, that was a reference to Monday Matt basically said if you didn't like Game of Thrones last season, you have to blame George, not D&D. &D. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's a very smart man. Poor George. Uh, girl I know asked me to buy her a bad dragon. Very well. I doubt Brown Table's positive CM video got striked. That's an interesting point. I wonder if it did. Because like everybody's coverage of the deleted scene got hit with a strike. And obviously the curious, interesting thing is, would a video that's covering it positively get struck and a wonder? Mm. Um, possibly, possibly. We'll never find out. Is there a way to find that out? Um, I guess we just have to check his Twitter, see if he talked about it ever, but I'm pretty sure it never went down, as far as I'm aware, but who knows. But doesn't it show up, like, at the like in the info section of the video, like, contains... Ba 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 from oh well. It is, it contains stuff if from. he didn't get hit with a strike, it wouldn't say anything, right? But if he did and he appealed it, it wouldn't say anything anyway. Oh okay. Um, why are we still talking about just in quotations? Two things. Ironically, Berserk proves what Rag said about sex being more entertaining when you care about the characters. Yeah, I agree with that. I've seen the first season. And Wolf, why is your first book out of print? I want to read it. Um, well, I'll put that in the questions for Wolf. We'll make sure that he reads it. Oh, fucking hell, this is how... Why is it... Being... Okay, fine. I can't even copy, okay. This is the other section. Why does it... It highlights the whole thing, stop. Okay, fine. That didn't... Fine, I'll just say why... Is your book out of print? I want to read it. That might be if that might be happening then, because two people have asked about that now. Whoa! I'd suck a fart out of Don's ass. That's 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 on you. But uh, fair enough. To me, it's uh, obvious. Donnie just needs some good hugs. And. Yeah, I, th I think we should be the ones to provide it if, if he's, you know, lawyers are trying to put him in prison. I think at this point we need to be the ones that help him out. Wait, 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 wait. Is he requesting a hug? Do you want to get beat up by Marvel? Yeah, that's a or... bit dodgy, actually. Yeah, you can't just go requesting, like, friendliness off of people. I would that's go as far as saying that's racist as well. Would, would you agree with that? I think you'd agree with that. I mean, it deserves an ass kicking, that's for sure. And then someone should probably go and steal your stuff as well, just you know, to to make the point even more clear. I agree. Like take your jacket, for example. For example, they could potentially just take your jacket and your bike if you have one. So, so I have passed over now to the super chats of the current stream, which is a oh. great landmark. Um. And the first one is, yeah. I can't believe I used to like you guys. <laughs> oh man. That's a molar feels right there. <laughs> it's like, we finally got it. Oh. Oh. Um. Wolf, we love you. I'm going to put that in Wolf's things. Wolf, we love you. Uh, first. Oh. The person followed up with, because now I love you. So they, they're saying, I used to like you, now I love you. It's great. I get it. Hello, wow. all my Sith Lords. 
Super excited to see this, guys. Yeah, a lot of people were really, really interested in seeing us cover the legal eagle thing. Have you have you seen that? Legal eagle. Yeah, the guy who basically says that um, Captain Marvel is legally within her rights to do what she did to Don in that deleted scene via self-defense because he technically assaulted her. I think I just got cancer from you saying that. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's how most people felt reasonably. But yeah, we covered it and it was a disaster. Um, and it was the season for this is a weird season finale for season three of EFAP. We don't even have Rags of Wolf here at the end of it. It's gonna be weird. Uh, Ban Mauler from England. Oh my goodness. Wow, I'm actually on time for an EFAP. That's excellent. Good job, sir. So don't worry, because most people kind of miss them regularly, because we come up whenever randomly decided to does is words fail me. My favorite threesome is on. I can recommend a series, Love, Death, and Robots, an 18-parter animated series, Blur Studios, who also who also makes Halo cinematics. Um, yeah, I heard that a couple of people in my uh, class have seen that, and they said that it was, like, really, like, weird, but okay. also really cool, and, like, it has a lot of different shit in it. Um, I've definitely heard it before. I think someone's recommended this on EFAP before, actually. I will mm. I will pop it in both Rags and Wolf's selection. Recommendation. Just so that they actually get to see it. Because again, like I take well, I say I take recommendations. I, I do my best, but there's a whole list that I want me to see. I usually go with that one first and I haven't watched anything yeah. new in a long time. I've been trying to watch some of the expanse and I'm think I'm I think I'm watching Chernobyl with, with, with Wolf soon, but I've just been working on the Game of Thrones stuff. It was EFAP season 8. Yeah, I've heard eight. a lot of good things about Chernobyl as well. I've only seen episode 1, and it's been pretty good. Uh, I'm very much interested in seeing the rest of it. Which is kind of cool, because it's already happened, and it's still something I'm like, oh man, I can't wait to see how the story ends. <laughs> Boom. It's like, will Earth die? <laughs> so is EFAP season 8 going to be worse than Game of Thrones? Well, yeah, see, so we're in the golden age of EFAP. We've got one more season that's apparently going to be good. Then season 5 is going to be catastrophic. Then six will be like a resurgence. We're kind of getting there again. Then season seven, fans are gonna be like, "Oh, guys, you're kind of doing the same thing you said you wouldn't do." And then season eight, everyone stops watching. And then yeah, we season eight is when I join, like on f for and, full. And then we make a time. prequel series that everyone kind of likes is, is okay with. It'll, it'll yeah. make sense, trust me. Uh, I'm definitely memeing the queen now. Oh yeah, you did do that, and I put it on the thingy. This is the wonderful relationship the EFAP has with its. A nice big circular, um, is it symbiotic relationship? When yes, I believe that's correct. I put pineapple I on a blind girl's pizza once. It was hilarious. Oh my god! <laughs> the fuck? Shit! Uh, shout out to the Don Foundation for curing tism. He did do that. Yeah, it was only t it didn't work forever though, because in order to maintain it, he needed both hands, and Marvel stole that from him. Rags, your new intro added several years to my lifespan. Here's money for EFAP. Um, I will get that message to him. His new intro is awesome. So. Uh, it was beautiful. Mmm, take my money, daddy. Take it so hard. Oh, that's... Oh, no. I make... It sounds like a nice person. Yes. I make my game reviews. My latest was on Bloodstained Curse of the Moon, and Rags is one of my primary influences. I also speak 300 times more like a human than Tonald, despite being actually part robot. That is, uh, as, uh Michael J. Fox has Parkinson's, which makes you do the tism moves. People taking Wolf out of context? Nonsense. Nobody does that. By the way, have you checked Robot Head's Don But Not Forgotten shirt? It's majestic. He has one of those? God. <laughs> Amazing. Wolf, it's been ages. Mola, take those coins. Hi, Rags. Friendly dude. Let's go. Ook, yes. Imagine watching John Wick, and when gunfights break out of the camera, focuses on the civilians running away instead of on the action. My brother on how they handled the fight scenes in King of the Monsters. There's a lot of that in King of the Monsters. It just randomly cuts to people running, going, Oh my god, is a Godzilla. I don't, I don't care. I don't... I'll eat them, please. 
Whoever said there isn't a good story in Godzilla is stupid. Both the OG and Shin Godzilla are examples of a good and decent story retrospectively. Respectively, sorry. And, uh, well, uh, that's the thing. I don't see why you wouldn't have it. Good story? Go for it. Who is more powerful? Crapton Marvel or Rem Lazar? Oh, it's Rem Lazar. That's not really a competition. Captain Marvel wants to be that powerful. Objectively, Jedi Fallen is disappointing so far. We did talk about it at the beginning of the stream. We weren't that impressed. Hoping it's going to be a bit more interesting as time moves on, I suppose. I mean, I, I only saw, I haven't seen the entire like gameplay thingy. I saw like the first five minutes of that video that's released. And it, it's kind of weird because I wish I would have seen the controller of the person playing because that combat could either be really like just boring and spammy, but it could potentially be kind of Sekiro ish because it looked like he was parrying and stuff. Like, you have to parry and then counterattack and stuff. So, like, I, f I think that the fighting system has some potential, depending on what the controls actually are. Yeah. Uh, but it could also be very, very shit. We will see. I, I That's pretty much my entire position on that one. Hoping it'll be great, yeah. though. Um, expected Captain Marvel commentary got porn discussion? Oh. Probably, um, probably us, yeah. I'm horribly irresponsible with my money, so here you go. Have a nice week. Why, thank you, Clayton. Uh, Godzilla was disappointing to me because the monster battles were really underwhelming to me. They kept cutting away to the humans when it was getting good. Did I watch a different movie to everyone else? I liked the monster fights, but I still accept that they cut away from the, the fighting a lot as well, yeah. Um, yeah, so this, this is going to be Super Chats all about Godzilla now. Monsters are the protagonists, humans are the supporting cast, like how Thanos was the hero of Infinity War. Take out Thanos and only follow Avengers, and movie sucks. I would still like the Avengers. <laughs> I like Iron Man and Capitan America. -na -na. Wolf, I know you're busy with EFAP and all, but I really need you to come over here and work these tits, you saucy bitch. I'm gonna do that. Make sure it gets to Wolf. Of course, he'll hear that, it's important. Like, I want to see how he could progress in his life without hearing that. It's very encouraging. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Three YouTube red books. Wow, thank you. The environmental part of the movie was the same as Samuel Jackson's in Kingsman. Oh, yeah. I remember that. An interesting um, idea. Mola, I don't understand why you think Soma is a horror game because my cat didn't feel scared once. Yeah, that's fair. Cats are pretty much the single identifier of um, whether or not a game is scary. I, I can't exactly deny. Rag is clearly I consoles can't. beat PC because I serve my corporate overlord. And Wolf, hello. I guess I'll copy that for Rag. What did you say, Fortier? I heard that shit. Oh, I was just saying, it, it depends on if the cat can spew out tentacles and shit from its mouth. Oh. That makes it a little bit scarier, but... I don't know. It's objective. Uh, Muller, what's your favorite game? I usually say Metroid Prime, and then I also often said Super Metroid as well, but there's a whole bunch of ones that score really high, like Resident Evil 4 is one of my favorites. Um, Dark Souls. Uh, Soma and Amnesia, they're both very much up there. There's a lot of games from a lot of genres. A tough question to answer, honestly. I'm invested in sweet, sugary love with Aunt Jemima. Alright. But Spider-Man's coming out, and it stars the Dawn. Oh my god, I'd love it if Dawn was in the new one. I have to disagree, Mola. Most Godzilla fans go to see these movies because they see it as monster- Oh wait, I did actually respond to that. Uh, did you do the last EFAB super chat somewhere? I just did them. Hopefully, Jay Gay Rick is able to- um, knows that. I, I hope so, anyway. Wolf, I was very sad to hear on your stream from last Wednesday that you'd lost your passion for making videos. I just want to tell you that although EFAP will never be the same without you, I support you 100% if you choose to quit. Um, he did um, sort of get comments like that in the stream, so hopefully you would have gotten a sort of answer from him if you wanted one, as opposed to just telling him that, but uh, I will make sure that message gets to him. Mr. Chip. I'm not sure if he actually acknowledged it during the stream. I remember someone mentioning Chipley, I think. 
Yeah, like I said, I'll make sure I send it across. Very appreciates it. The wolf is very much a wonderful part of Efap. Some say Efap would never be the same without Mr. Because, I mean, we'll yeah. never get... Zero. Like, how he bites people's heads off is actually quite quite fun. You should have seen him and Rags were losing their shit with the legal eagle guy. <laughs> Fuck, it counts as assault if you put your hand on somebody's map. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, Final Wars is still the best Godzilla movie. It's tarded, but awesomely tarded. Alright. I think that's fair. I'd have to see it. Since there seems to be a lot of debate on King of the Monsters, would it be possible to get D-Man 1954 or Mr. H reviews to discuss the movie on a future EFAP? They're big Godzilla movie fans and enjoyed the movie and had some criticisms. I mean, I don't think me, Wolf, or Rags really care that much about Godzilla. The only reason it keeps coming up is because people are very disappointed that we said that it was poorly written, and we you can tell we're a little bit confused by that. But I'd say that I think we're mostly clear on it. There's going to be a couple comments on this, this stream, I imagine, that are like, no, you're still not getting the point. And if there's something sort of new that I definitely have missed, we'll bring it up in the next EFAP, but um, I wouldn't expect much more Godzilla talk other than we're going to have an EFAP movies for the 98 Godzilla eventually. We've recorded four EFAP movies, by the way. I gotta edit all of them. I gotta edit another mini. I've gotta edit the, the, the bonus stream for Goliath memes. And I'm still working on the Game of Thrones stuff. And then I got TFA. Um, it's a nightmare, but we're getting through all of it eventually. It's gonna happen. Just like getting through these super chats. I am a huge fan of the Godzilla movies, but I'll at least admit that most of them are objectively terrible, despite my subjective love for them. That's kind of how I feel about a lot of big monster fight movies. I'm like, yeah, Godzilla blasted him with his atomic breath and his face fell off. And it's like, yeah, but what about, like, plot? And it's like, no one cares. Cool. Does I mean, God Godzilla have that in the older Godzillas? I believe so. I remember people being really disappointed that he didn't have, like, atomic breath in the 98 vision. In the 98 vision, he has straight-up fire breath. It's pretty cool that, in the 2014 one when he first did that. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why, but my memory of Godzilla is just, you know, big monster who just walks on top of things. <laughs> I, it reminded me of fucking that Hulk when he goes, big monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but I never remembered him as shooting stuff. So when I saw that in the, not this one that came out now, because I haven't seen that yet, but the first new rendition of Godzilla. Mm. And he did, like, the laser beam. I was like, wait, what the actual fuck did he just do? <laughs> when his tail, like, lights up all the way up to his head. Yeah. And does it, I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's mentioned look... this, but check out Shin Godzilla. The human parts in the movie are actually pretty decent. It's the American ones that have the dumb human stuff. I didn't like the human stuff that much in Shin Godzilla, but I thought it was better than the American one, for sure. Uh, help rags, I got caught in my own zipper again. Oh well, it's addressed to rags, so I better make sure... I can't, I can't be... I can't have rags going through his life without being told that uh, someone's trapped in their own zipper, you know? Hello again, just dropping by to say hello there to all. Glad to see the main crew back in action to tackle these idiots. I stand with Dawn. Absolutely. With everyone defending the film because of the monster fights, there were better fights than almost every other Godzilla film with any other monster in it. I don't understand how these fights are good. I liked them a lot. I liked everything with King Ghidorah, but maybe the spectacle overthrew my ability to uh, rationally pass it out. I don't know. On King of the Monsters, the story was good, but the writing slash dialogue was hit and miss. You'll see better writing in Godzilla when the villain is when Godzilla is the villain rather than the protagonist. Fair enough. What were you going to say there, Vortier? Will, will chat hate me if I if I ask what uh, what this Spider-Man meme is? So, when we covered the the first guy on the previous EFAP, his video mm -hmm. is talking about how he thinks it's dumb that people are arguing about Captain Marvel, and obviously the reason that's happening is that new deleted scene got released, and he sort of yeah. skirts around that and tries to make it about the fact that like people just won't leave. Captain Marvel alone, ugh. Um, and, like, one of his arguments is Spider-Man is coming out soon. <laughs> and we were all just okay, laughing, yeah. and now we're using that as a meme forever. <laughs> it's like, why are you talking about this? Spider-Man's coming out. <laughs> and it's gonna get even funnier once Spider-Man is released. We'll just keep saying it's coming out soon. 
Uh, Mola, please watch the older ones like Biolante and try to explain the human parts of that. The scientists take Godzilla's DNA and put it into a rose bush. Rose bush. Older movies get kind of nuts. That sounds fascinating. Like I said, though, I'm not too interested in Godzilla movies in general. Um, but I can definitely tell there's a lot of fans. Activation can go F itself for rebooting COD. Activation? Oh, that's supposed to be Activision. But yes, they are doing that and people are going to buy it. Let's see how it goes. It's going to be interesting. I don't know. There is a Godzilla movie that is close to nothing but fights called Final Wars. Yeah, I've seen a couple of recommendations for that now. Perhaps we shall check it out in future. Have you seen Star Wreck? Oh. In the Perkening. It was a budget 15k CGI made with regular PCs, so most frames in battle took over 10 hours to render. Oh. I have no idea what that is. Um, but interesting. Isn't 10 hours pretty fast? I don't know. For a single frame? Multiple computers? I don't know. Oh, single frame. Yeah, that's probably pretty much the... I thought it was the entire scene. The most frames in battle took over 10 hours to render, so I'm assuming he means each frame. I don't know. Uh, are we going to ignore Vera going full Thanos? <laughs> most people might. Pretty really temporarily goes full Thanos. You're not allowed to criticize Godzilla until you've watched each and every Godzilla movie, then everything makes sense. Ah. If story doesn't matter in a Godzilla movie, then I guess the first one doesn't matter, huh? And that's regarded as the holy grail for the franchise. I've not seen it, but perhaps that is true. The plot was fine, just like the plot of the Meg was fine. Generic, stereotypical, and genre-driven. <laughs> the plot of the Meg was dumb as well. <laughs> I see that one. It's a shake movie. Look at Brie Larson finally out of P.E. for a laugh. I don't know what that's referencing. I'm assuming it's like a parody video of some kind? Out of P.E. Or P. Uh, the Godzilla movies in the 80s to 90s had decent stories, and something like Final Wars in 2004 embraces its stupidity from beginning to end. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot of Godzilla fans in this uh, community. I think the, there are probably more fans than haters of Godzilla. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. Most things have more fans than haters. It's not yeah, Star true. Wars or Game of Thrones. <laughs> there are two easy references. <laughs> I wonder what the metric for that is right now, actually. If there were no monsters on screen or nearby the people, there was no reason to pay attention to the screen. Um, pretty much, actually, yeah, I agree with that. Remove the story, we only want monster fights. I'm happy with a story, just make it simple and consistent, we'll be fine then. Well, I can understand their point to a certain degree. One of my favorite movies is Pacific Rim, the first one, and there are definitely parts of it that require you to turn your logic processor off. Again, though, that's fine. Because I'm fine with that in, like, literally everything. If you gotta do that, do that. But, like, as long as we don't... Like, as long as everybody's on the same page, it's like, yeah, that is dumb. But fun. Speaking of good films, by the way, I, I watched a Whiplash today. I've never seen that before. Damn, I should have watched it. I have sworn I did watch that with Pretty you. Good. <laughs> it is no, I've, good. I haven't seen it before. Yeah, I liked it a lot. It was one thing that didn't make a lot of sense, but... Oh, yeah, what was that? It's fine. Uh, how it seemed like uh, the, the jazz teacher had planned out to embarrass him on stage. Yeah, he did. When he, yeah, but he just happened to to see him play at that thingy. They never would have met them. Oh unless well, he happened the, to run obviously into that place. he was just opportunistic. He had that gig anyway, and then he was like, "Ah, oh, I can fuck him up." Yeah, I don't know. Felt weird to me in, in the scene. I don't know. Um, the very original 1954 film is unironically one of the best films of all time, even according to these nasty critics. Half the chat says watch the 54 film. Watch it. Do I have to watch it, guy? What do, you, what do you think? Do I have to watch a film from 1954? No film was good in 1954. Everyone knows that. The Godzilla one? Yeah. Is that the one where they have, like, a doll as Godzilla? Like, rawr. <laughs> I, I mean, it's 1954, so... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, is that the um, black and white one? Like I said, it would be on a list, but the problem is that there's a lot of things on this list, and then eventually it would probably fall through, and it's not like I don't want to watch it. I'd be interested. I just... You know. 
<laughs> I tried to type Godzilla without looking at the keyboard, and it became Gizuka. <laughs> Gizuka. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> 1954. Let's have a look at. Like a guy in a suit, I think. Well, that probably is a doll. <laughs> hey, dude. He looks so cool. Look at your little Godzilla. Oh, there's a picture of him eating a train. How cute. That's offensive. I feel Shin Godzilla <laughs> isn't dull, mainly because of how much parody they do regarding the bureaucracy of the Japanese government's non-action during the 2011 tsunami and near nuclear meltdown. That's probably an element I missed when watching it. Maybe I didn't realize that was the... The Dilio. Hopefully no Super Chat issue this time. Nope. We're making it right the way through. I don't think The Last Stand is as bad as people say. It's not anything amazing, but it's not god-awful either. It seems history is repeating with DP. Um, maybe I need to re-watch The Last Stand, but I do maintain that Apocalypse and Origins are both terrible. Donzilla, real king of the monsters, is greater than God Shilla, king of the losers. I, I... So Thor is a transgression doctor? How did Thor come into that? <laughs> I don't remember now, because we've just moved on from the Godzilla talk to the Dark Phoenix talk. EFAP is to Godzilla's... Oh yeah, we did read that one out. Hey boys, been looking to catch you live for a bit now. Thanks for having Sitch on. I've been lobbying for that for a while. All hail the toxic brood. Oh, yeah. There we go, we did get him. Finally out of P is a song 16-year-old Bree sang. Oh. I think I've seen that, actually. I saw it on Twitter, and I remember being like, what the fuck? I read that ahead of time. I'm sorry he skipped the cue, everyone, but it, it was it was it was a relevant piece of information. I'm sorry. How dare you? Do you think that I'm gonna chat be rioted riot. now? There'll be chat riots. You, the there riots should at least be streets. chat riots. Chat, come on, do it. I will pull out my gun. Uh, <laughs> do you have I, the Mauler gun? I, have, you I do. <laughs> Rest and gun, there you go. <laughs> I like that Pat Crane just went re. <laughs> re. Re. I can pull the gun on you guys, don't you do it! <laughs> I also have the policeman mauler as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just, you just smack them with your baton <laughs> if they run. <laughs> I can just imagine a bunch of Mahler feels like oh, guys push talk. <laughs> um and yeah, if you want to use those emotes, the it's actually a pretty decent way to uh maintain support of channels now as well. It's just the join button thing. It's essentially the same thing as Twitch, but there's no tears, I don't think. And then you get to have goofy emotes. What more could you want? Beautiful. Uh did you guys see slash care about the new Pokemon game? I didn't, but for Tia might. What do you, what do you care about Pokemon? Uh, I really wish I did, because I was a huge fan for a lot of years, but I really don't anymore. And it makes me sad. I oh. wish I was a fan, but I'm not. Sometimes caring isn't sharing, you know? Yeah, for sure, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, Blue Jay! Oh! Blue Jay can now shoot people in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> what other emotes do I even have on here? I forget. So I got Mola Feels, Mola Rage, Mola Heart, Mola Yes, Mola Stressed, Mola Stop, Metal Leave Me Deep and Be, <laughs> Mola Smart, Mola Gun. The Metal Leave Me Be is the perfect emote for when anything bad happens. <laughs> I actually really like that emote. And a Happy Ghost. Because Happy Ghost is horrible. Oh wait, so is Happy Ghost the the thingy they get next to their name? I thought they were everyone was typing that emote <laughs> before everything oh, yeah, they the said. The badges. Um, I think the badges. I could have sworn the the ghost one was actually pretty high up. Let me let me check. memberships. <laughs> but then everyone's got a ghost one, so now I'm like, wait. <laughs> Oils yeah. and badges, there we go. So, 
Uh, oh, when you're a new member, you get the ghost. Okay. When you're a one month, you get a butterfly for the butterfly milk. Two months, you get a rhino for rhino milk. Six months, you get a milk. Great milk. One year, you get a rhino drinking the milk. And then two years, you just get a, a rhino oh. with milk on his lips. As you can see, they're very inventive. Also, look at this dude. How weird way, is they... this? Uh, 20 people are two months. Six people are one month. And then 30 people are new members. How did <laughs> <Wow>. that happen? <laughs> <laughs> I guess you advertise it when it was brand new and never again until just now. <laughs> Makes sense. Also, what did you say boo to? I... Oh, yeah. Isn't this like a like a direct ripoff from Twitch? Like, with loyalty badges, yes. <laughs> the join system, like, everything is, like, just taken directly off of it. It is a complete ripoff, and we should sue. Oh, they should oh, sue. Oh, this guy has the rhino. Four months. Woo! I don't, yeah, know, I don't even know how long we've actually had it going, but yeah. Interesting stuff. Welcome I have a to wrench. the meme you repository. Oh, the meme actually, I'm repository. Pretty sure we could probably get a new emote now, actually. Let me check. Custom perks. No, custom emojis. There we go. I don't have a rhino, but I have a wrench. Get fucked, guys. Oh, yeah, I can actually add a new emote. Okay, let's see what the options are quickly. Let's unlock a new emote for everyone. Oh. Da, 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 How da, da, quick da. is that? I, I don't know. Does I guess, what, be like, I guess we're about to find out. Um, I kind of want the Mola lull, because I can't have lull, and I really want lull. Oh, can we have the Varus Ech? <laughs> Varus Ech is funny. <laughs> I'm going to try it, see if it works. Mola Varus. Holy crap, there's a lot of people coming in now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Bewin? Or Be Oh, Bewin, sorry. <laughs> the dragon. Bewin. Nighthawk. Eric Stewart. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. And, oh yeah, Beowin is a, a momber. Oh, well, you have to keep reading the super chats. Just one second, I just wanted to see if... Oh yeah, it's Varus Ech. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, fucking hell, wow. Maybe you should brighten up that email a little bit. Should what? It's a little bit dark. Brighten, oh, brighten that email up. up. I mean, it probably looks pretty good on phones. It's a little, little dark. Know. Yeah, Hard maybe. to make out, can't really see. <laughs> you have loads of them, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> you do like stressed gun virus, eh? Uh, anyway, yeah, I should, uh, I'll continue to read. How far into them are you now? How far into the this stream uh, donation, sorry? Let's have a look, see. Do many Christmas? I haven't refreshed this page yet as well, so. There's only a guesstimation, but a quarter of the way through today's ones. Woo! And the time limit is eight hours, and we're at six hours, 16 minutes, so we should be able to make it, I think. I reckon. <laughs> the amount of virus. Nope. <laughs> um, okay. Hey, Granddaddy Mauler, Daddy Rags, and Wolf Onichan. Do you guys have any favorite movies where the focus was the visuals or music like Space Odyssey or Fantasia? Favorites that are focused on visual. I um. Well, I mean, the question was directed at me, but I, I like the one. Uh, I don't <laughs> remember the name now, just because of it. But uh, the the one that where everything is tied to the music. Oh, Baby Driver. Yeah, that's one. Even um, though the plot is really yeah, wonky, I had trouble enjoying I it. Still, for that reason. Um, but everyone's different with that sort of shit, because I was going to say 300 is a film I actually really enjoyed for the style, the music, and the visuals, even though I'm, re I'm pretty sure that film's pretty tis me. Everyone is forever green. Yeah, th thanks, everybody, for becoming members. That's actually very very helpful for the, for the channel in general. You all get to have Tismi emotes. Look, Mark just made use of all of them, except Varus Ech. Why would you, why would you do this? Someone ban Mark, please. Jenna. <laughs> Jenna. Uh, what do you think of me? Alex! Why did you scare Sorry. me so hard? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Alex Castle. Uh, what do you think of the new Godzilla? Um, 
I guess that's all at the beginning of the stream. So if you're hearing this now, person, uh, it'll be on the Moolah. It'll be right there. Uh, gonna watch later. Bless you, boys, bus. Thank you very much. Rakita Law is greater than Legal Eagle. Uh, a few people mentioned Rakita Law. Apparently they're responding to Legal Eagle as well, so... Hopefully I can check that out, it'll be interesting. Entertainment writing has gotten worse since Legend of Korra, and in some cases better. Gaming has gotten better somewhat, but I have more fun replaying Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Cheers, Wolf. I don't know which part of that was directed at Wolf. I guess that's just sort of... Cheers to Wolf in general, but... Sean Bush, thanks for becoming a member. That's clearly Bush. What is the difference between B U S C H and B U S H? Uh, there's a C. Is there any? Oh, that makes sense. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, because when you. Oh, yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. And it's actually Sean Bus. <laughs> That's how you pronounce it. Thank officially. you, Sean Bus. <laughs> For the membership. Your nice bid should it's been uh, would you guys excite would you guys excited for a new pink fur female Wookiee? She's a self independent Wookiee who don't need no Han. Yes. I would she would be my favorite character. Assuming she kills Kylo. Shoot him in the back. It'll be great. I was gonna watch E three, but you guys are way more entertaining. What the hey, how about that? How about that? That's a seal of approval right there. Someone needs to make art of the three of them as Scarecrow slash Tin Man slash Lion from Wizard of Oz with Fringy as Dorothy or something. I mean, one might just from me reading that out. I request Sitch be a regular member. Four is a good number. Gotta get guests in, though. Gotta rotate them all. If we were to take on someone new, we'd, we'd probably just prefer to have a, you know, a giant you know, fight to the death for all these people. We'd just throw them in a big pit. I think Sitch would stand a good chance, though. He seems like he has the kind of teeth that could really just bite someone's head off with that avatar, so I think he'd be fine. Hello, my favorite massives. Hello. Nick is entertaining. Legal Eagle is informative. I don't know if we could say he was informative at the last one. Lee Champion and Dong Lee. <laughs> Thank you for the memberships. Thank you both very much. Enjoy shooting people. <laughs> Wait, I probably shouldn't say that. I'll probably get bad. Spyro, thank you. Oh. A lot of members. Beetle. Beetle! I feel bad as well because anyone who's watching this on, like, a, a VOD will just be like, how do I become a member? Because he'll be on the Moolah channel. So he's like, oh yeah, you can't. You have to go to the <laughs> other one. Mr. Mr. Man, Man, dude. Man toots. Good, Mr. Man toots. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much as well. Uh, she'd have an issue with excessive force. Yeah, that seems to be a lot of people. Nick Rikita is best waifu. Bring Nick, Nick Rikita on, you non-law figs. I mean, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. If he, if he wants to come on EFAB, it could be cool to have a, a lawyer about it. Y'all under arrest. We got loads of police moolers in the, in the chat at this point. <laughs> <laughs> How is he holding a baton and a gun? <laughs> in Man, the he, same has, he has two hands. One of his hands <laughs> is bigger than the other like by far. Only... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Legal Man, Eagle Moller is a God. blasphemer. The Dawn is wonderful. Yeah, a lot of people aren't aware of the, the beauty of the Dawn, so sometimes you have to forgive these uh, non believers, I guess. It's okay. <laughs> Carlos. The chicken is... flipper just told the story. He did? Yeah. Oh. More stop shot, shot, more stressed into coughing and then crying. Yeah, because he gets shot, then he lies on the ground, he's dead. <laughs> and then Christ. And then middle Christ. <laughs> Christopher Grove. Christopher. Doki. Carlos is a massive fig. Is that a reference to the Steven Crowder stuff? I think it is. Carlos Mazza, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Nick just doesn't really like Legal Eagle. I mean, I could see if he, he would have reason if, after this one. Oh, Ahsoka Tano, she's in here? Dude. Ahsoka Tano watches EFAP, that's awesome. She's a Star Wars. 
I can't find the emotes. It's been a member for three months. Why can't I use them? Um, so in the next to the chat box, there should be a picture of an emote. You hit that, and it should give you the access as well as the normal ones. If it's not working, I have no idea why not. And I think you uh, like when you click that thing, the faces are the first emotes to show up. But if you click the thing that is left to the faces in like tabs above the emotes, I think it shows uh, Muller's emotes. I think that's what you're gonna post to do. loads of happy ghosts. Cause... Can you type it out though? Like, do you have to click the emote, or can you type it out? Like, if you type out Mauler Ghost. You can, I think you can type them out and then complete them, or auto-complete them. Um, yeah. I don't think you can do it on mobile. Um, all I, of the ones I've been doing are on mobile, so... Definitely do it on mobile. My god, there's a lot of green names in chat. Uh, any internet lawyer who isn't Nick Rakita is a massive. Get him on EFAP if you cover legal stuff and things. Have we had enough? Only have 20 minutes before work. Make it good. <laughs> I hope it was good. I saw a woman <laughs> criticize Captain Marvel and she literally grew a wiener and started balding. True story. You become a guy if you criticize Captain Marvel if you're not already one. How about that? That's uh, pretty cool. I love being told I didn't like it because I'm a man when I've been unironically been petitioning for a Scarlet Witch movie. I'd be on board with that too. And a Black Widow one, even though a lot of people are against that. Obviously, if it turns out to be terrible when they make it, I, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted a good one. You just hate Godzilla. I'd rather because... have a Scarlet, or sorry, I would rather have a uh, Black Widow than a Scarlet Witch. Um, at this point, I'd probably reverse, prefer the reverse, just because there's more story you can tell with Scarlet Witch right now. Because Scarlet Johansson's story is just going to be a prequel, but I want to see both of them. Yeah, but I <laughs> think I'm more interested in the prequel. The, the thing that the Russos set up. That shit is interesting. I'm concerned. Like, what the fuck is Budapest, well man? They say Budapest. I want to know what happened in Budapest. Elizabeth Olsen is hot. Budapest. Fight me. Why would anyone fight you on Elizabeth Olsen is hot? Why would anyone? <laughs> Nobody you, would you can't make an truth. obvious statement and, and fight that. If anything, I'm offended that you want someone to fight you on that. Be like... Hey guys, check out some truth. And then we go, oh cool. Truth. Uh, you just hate Godzilla because Mothra is a woman. Well, I mean, wouldn't that mean that I like the movie then, considering what happens to Mothra? I think that I would. You've only said these things to upset the masses. MacMordian. No, sorry. MacMordane. Man, I'm terrible at names. MacMordane. I'm sorry. You are, kind of, you are kind of awful. But the good thing is you know that, so it's all good. Yep. Nick Rakita wants on. Check your email. Uh, I Well, I mean, if he, like I said, if he wants on, we'll, we'll try and sort something out in the future. So far, every comment you've made are the same ones that he does right after you pause it, and he made it clear that he wasn't following the situation around Captain Marvel. Um... I mean, not really. <laughs> we disagreed with a lot of the stuff that uh, Mr. Legal Eagle said. And uh, he didn't even really talk about... Like, if he was being completely honest, he'd be like, yeah, she's going to jail. There's no way. It would, it would be a good result, let's be honest. Apart from when she saves the, the world. The Greenmen are taking over. They re really are. The Greenman cometh. Hey guys, just dropping in before Wick. I'll have to watch the rest when I get home. Love you all. Keep up the awesome Wick. That's, I think, motorbike milk, which I think that makes sense. There's a lot of, a lot of animosity people Do have towards motorbike milk. But I think. Do you think that guy is going to watch us say the things we're saying right now, and he's going to hear us talking about him when he's watching it in the future? Yes, to all of your questions. I think he would be happy with Holy all these green people, that's true. Hey guys, just drop in. Oh wait, I read that. I recently went through hernia surgery and it was very painful. I was depressed and overwhelmed with how long it took to heal. This podcast helped me get through the tisms. Thanks for cheering me up. Awesome to hear, Alec, and I hope that uh, that it's all healed up and you're back to full strength. Cause hernias are lame. Remember when I, I found out the first thing at the time I found out about hernias was uh, Simpsons episode 
with the fighting hellfish, I think it is, or that's yeah, like a group of people that Grandpa Simpson's a part of, and they all find this like treasure trove in some German part of a German country, I think, a uh, German town, sorry, like a mansion, and they agree that the last person living gets to have all of it, and Mr. Burns and him are the only ones left because one of their team members died of a hernia. I remember being like, what's a hernia? And my dad was like, it's a good thing. He explained it very well. <laughs> um, real lawyer does not equal good lawyer. That is true. Legal Eagles, she's guilty, but I'm a get her off. He'd try. I don't think he'd win. Marooned on a barren island, I laid down to die, but a man in a leather jacket descended down and told me everything was going to be okay. I suckled on his nipple, and he lifted me in his arms. Next thing I knew, I was waking up in my bed, safe and secure. That's the dawn for you, man. He takes care of people. To be fair, he is a lawyer, so his moral compass... Oh yeah, I did, I did read that out. Uh, thank you so much for covering this cuck who willfully misrepresents the law to pr uh, protect his client because she's a woman. Like I said, I feel like from the other stuff that I'd seen of him, he wouldn't have done that that way if, if she was a guy. He would have been like, yep, he's going to jail. Ben Shapiro is a better lawyer than Kegel Eagle. Yeah, he had a he he said the word mansplain at one point in the video. Nice. Uh, it's very um interesting. You guys should have Rakita Is Law on one... EFAP. Also, Dick Masterson's a fan of your content more, and now I must strangle your dang my dang. I'd love to see a clip of Dick Masterson mentioning that he watches my stuff. That's uh, that seems like a weird clashing of worlds. Would be cool. <laughs> what were you going to say, Mister Fortier? So, is when he says mansplaining, is that where we go white knight? Um, yeah. I think a lot of people actually have. They've been like, he's, this whole video is just a giant white knight. But the thing is, I, I don't think he's supposed to get that criticism. Like, I, what I understood, his channel's supposed to be like, I don't know, really, I hate to, I hate to use the word objective, but I'm pretty sure that was the point. And I guess there's an argument to be made that he was, but, uh, well, not certainly not the fucking opening commentary a lot of his random points, like, being very, like, whoa, alright. Oh yeah, the, um, the join thing is four ninety nine a month, I believe, and as much as they have copied Twitch, they don't have tiers, so Twitch is the uh, head of the game. Of course. Add Wait, Nick what? Rikita versus Virgin Legal Eagle. Legal morality is different to philosophical morality, which gets exp I think I did ask about that, but uh, I'd probably Google it to try and get a quick answer. It's like, well, someone probably did provide a quick answer, it's just hard to focus, you know. Uh, people who disagree with me are conservative. Oh yeah, he did say, he specifically mentioned conservatives had a problem with it, or whatever, and it was like, how, how is it that you need to be a conservative to have a problem with what she did to the Don? <laughs> how? <laughs> I saw Dennis Miller live last night. This is putting me back into balance. Excellent. Rose Tigo writhing in ecstasy. Long man good. Oh my goodness. Please no. Legal Eagle is being paid under the table by Disney to defend their client, I've heard, allegedly. Uh-huh. Man, desync severity though. Hope I'll finish my Rhino player by start of next season. It'll help you with better pause experience. Desync severity though. Alright. Rhino player. I mean, there are a couple of other services compared to Watch Together, but Watch Together works well enough that I think that we happy with it sort of thing. But um, there are a lot of other ones. A lot of people suggest um, Rabbit, but Rabbit's a different thing. It's not quite... Yeah, it's not the same. I don't like Rabbit that much. I, I mean, after cool. having tried both for this kind of stuff, I way prefer Watch Together. Yeah. We need Nick to defend the Dawn against slander. I I agree. Rags is thirsty as hell. That, that I mean, it would be weird if he w was dry. You know, you know what I mean. Rags, my man. Everything right to Western progressives is collectively conservative alt Nazi right. Don't bother looking for present definitions on Googs. Read old books on them. Very well. I guess I'll I'll copy that for Rags. I'm not a hundred percent sure of the. Uh, the context of Reno, but hopefully he may or may not remember. Got a decent chunk of things to send to both of them now. Harvey Dent to defend the Dawn. The movie I'd watch. 
Women compliment my hair all the time. You have no idea how many arms I've had to break and how many cars I've had to steal and I still get harassed. Dude. I'm sorry you put up with that. Like, that is horrible. Uh, someone else said this in chat before me, but remember, lawyers have defended guilty villains, so press X to doubt on Carol's innocence. It would be funny if he ended his video with that. He was like, if you were to commit to any of uh, what I've been talking about, you would essentially be trying to get a criminal off. <gasps> he tricked us. <laughs> Godzilla 14 had great writing for the first act. You really cared for Brian Cranston's character. Proof you can make it have interesting human characters. Also, have you guys watched Reign of Fire yet? Yes, we did. I watched it with Wolf. We liked Reign of Fire. We wish it was better. We're not a huge fan of a lot of the writing in that. There's a couple tisms, but damn, is it a cool movie. I don't want to see it. That would be a good movie to remake, I reckon. Um, and Godzilla 14, yeah, I did like the writing in the first act, even though you don't get monsters at all for a while in that movie so there's a couple of tweaks i'd make but yeah i think you can get characters that you could really care about sort of don loke is my favorite gaming youtuber i think he's everybody's a... even if self-defense on the part of captain marvel it has to be a reasonable and proportional response we, we were talking about how if it was led into court that she was an alien god it wouldn't really help her case to say that she was doing it in self-defense it'd be like this won't hurt you Possible. <laughs> like, yeah, well, he looked at me funny. Even Thanos with Infinity Gauntlet can hurt her, apparently. Well, I've got like an hour left. Pretty sure I can make it. We're, um. What watch. happens in an hour? It's, we get close to the deadline for stream archives. It's like they can only go to eight hours on YouTube. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, I don't know why that's the case, and I hope they fix it one day. Can you, like, end the stream and then start it up five minutes later? Yeah, you can, but I'd like it to be one episode instead of one episode and five minutes extra on episode two. Yeah. Sort of thing, you'd be like, ugh. <laughs> um, he was just trying to help the poor lost special lady in the scuba suit. Oh. Dawn is misunderstood by many women, apparently. Except the ones that fall in love with him. Sexual harmapment. <laughs> he actually argues that, like... If you were to knock a phone out of someone's hand and it hits their hand, they can make like a case that you abuse them, sort of thing. And then he's like, this applies to anything you're holding. And it's like, even a map. And you're like, oh. <laughs> Crunch the map. It's like, sake. this is what I mean. It's like, semantically, yes. But legally, like, in a courtroom, it wouldn't fly at all. And he knows that. Like, a jury would never take it seriously. <laughs> it's, it's really annoying to watch it. The map was asking for it. <laughs> Does he not realize how far he's having to stretch? <laughs> like, it shouldn't be that hard to fucking <laughs> defend something. Well, that's the weird part, is he does these weird defenses, and then he's like, and people just hate it, but he says one of the two reasons people hate the movie is because uh, it's a female protagonist. He was like, ugh. Old <laughs> female hero. And it's just like, why do they think we hate the weapons? Like, we make jokes about it, but Jesus Christ, I actually like the female whammons. You know, male whammons are just a completely different thing. I don't even, I'm not even sure what a male whammons would be. But what about a male whammen? Yeah. At, at that I mean, point, just... a gender sandwich. But what, what race are females? Because, like, human, you know, human, mm -hmm. man? Yeah. You There's no you women. There is. That's what yeah, that is. Doesn't, doesn't exist. The court ruled yesterday to have it. Oh, fuck. I missed the meeting. Yeah, everyone, everyone misses that meeting. On purpose, probably, because it's an annoying meeting. But, you know. Can it yeah. legally be a threat when she's so much more powerful? If a young child says something threatening, is it legally a threat? Like, I think even he references how, like... It's all very circumstantial. You need to know exactly what the circumstances are. <laughs> I think I used circumstantial yeah. wrong there, but yes. It's human. A seven year old with a knife. Saturation woman. That's a clever joke, Jay, but that might go over people's heads if you were to read it out. They'd need time. They'd be like, human saturation. But I appreciate and thumb up the joke. I'm going to evilly donate to the children's hospital. Oh my goodness, you villain. Don's so humble, he didn't say he does Tom Cruise stunts. Yeah, he didn't even bring up Tom Cruise. He does, though. 
does. Eve, well, I think actually Chris Hemsworth did, but she still does if he if she doesn't get prompted. God, I I fucking hate that interview. <laughs> you know, can see how does. uncomfortable both of those guys are. Like, you're just like, ah, oh, we don't really want to do this with her. <laughs> Kind of weird and annoying, but okay. <laughs> He's invaded <laughs> Captain Marvel's space. Okay, next time I take the subway, can I use that excuse to beat the fuck out everybody on the subway? Somehow I doubt it. He touched him map, dude. He touched him map. Fucked. Yeah, you don't touch someone's map. That's like touching them on the wing wang. I already told Wolf this one, but what do you call a Muslim mermaid? A torpedo? I actually saw that part of his stream because I was on my phone partially asleep. I, I thought it was funny. But um, YouTube have declared war on offensive jokes, so thanks for killing both of my channels with that joke. That's what that's gonna do. YouTube's gonna come directly after. Oh yeah, some people were curious. I haven't been demonetized yet. Nice. But um, it's only a matter of time for EFAP, certainly. Because the little compilation they made of Steven Crowder, I feel like you can do that for EFAP. Um, and as soon as someone does and reports this to YouTube, we're donezo. Probably. Da, 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 done. But we had fun while it lasted. This guy would probably justify people throwing milkshakes at political figures. Yeah, he probably would actually. Or he'd be like, it does not count as salt and battery because they're, they were attempting to feed the person and slipped. So it's completely friendly. Uh, Captain Marvel is legally not a villain. Lawyer Baggins. <laughs> Here's some legalese for you. Assault with a deadly weapon, because that's what her powers are. Yeah, especially with the threat to murder him as well. And, like I said, you expand that from taking his hand slash arm off. Uh, legal Kegel hasn't actually seen Captain Marvel because he's a man and this can't stand strong female protagonist. I thought it was weird that he said he hadn't seen it. You'd think that he would do that if he's going to cover it? I don't know. Uh, hi, what's your thoughts on Baby Driver? Um, I appreciate all of the amazing filmmaking elements, but I hated the plot and the characters. I thought they were lame as fuck. That's funny that someone asked that after we just talked about it. That's true. Or four. Yeah, because this is still when we were talking about the legal legal video, so we're miles behind the end of the stream still. Oh, jeez. How does Captain Marvel know what a motorcycle is? He downloaded Earth stuff. Okay. They do imply in the movie that because she's a really good pilot that she can just use everything that has controls. It's like, I don't know if that's okay. <laughs> Didn't even remember that part of her life, but okay. Now, the law has nothing to do Muscle with reason, memory, logic, right. morality, or consistency. This is why lawyers and judges are desire despised by decent and moral people. Yeah, but he did make he made the moral argument too in that video. He said that not only is she not a bad guy lawfully, but also morally. And we were like, what? Wolf and Rags were very unhappy about that. Unlawful is the modifier here. King of the Monsters was better than Captain Marvel. Kaiju fans don't mind bad writing if we get good action. We prefer good writing, but not a deal breaker. I mean, I actually think that the writing was stronger in King of Monsters than Captain Marvel, but that's only because Captain Marvel's like a 1 out of 10 or something ridiculous, because there's like nothing right with that movie. <laughs> John didn't pet Ghost for fear of assault and battery. Yep. I mean, there's no point in skirting around it, it's just the truth. <coughs> uh, would Rags be able That's to shoot sick. someone beating him considering he is his own dog? Ah. Now, that is a question I will put into Rags' selection. Yeah, Rags is saying that apparently if someone's beating your dog, even to, like, the point of death, you can't pull a gun on them and shoot them because... Like the law in his state, where um, it would be a use of lethal force in defense of property, which is not allowed. The the legalese for it ish. Yeah, I think I've actually heard that before. That that sounds like a truth. Um, where does this scene take place? Uh, it is a deleted scene. Assuming we're talking about the scene that was in the legal legal video, and it's in the first third of the movie. Like, right at the end of the first third, I guess. Replace Brie with Brock Lesnar and the Dawn with Liana Mormont and play the scene exactly the same. Yeah, people wouldn't like it that way, I don't think. You might have different takes on it. 
Love my state. Has both Stand Your Ground and Castle Doctrine. Just need Constitutional Carry to be completed. To be completed. Fair enough. Uh, Bethesda's E3 conference tonight, my fellow EFAPers. Who's ready for more of Todd's sweet little lies? I, I don't even know. Did, was there anything to do with Fallout in today's E3? Uh, well, I shouldn't just say Fallout. Might Bethesda. Be later. Oh, is yeah, the Bethesda, Bethesda is, okay. ha have their thing in one hour? Ooh, are you staying up for that? Uh, probably not. I have some stuff I need to do tomorrow. Yeah, that wasn't me implying I'm going to watch it. I'm going to sleep after this, but I was just curious. Um, I meant what state the scene takes place, Dumby. Uh, I do not know. Do they mention what the state is in Captain Marvel? Um, I don't know. They Anyone in chat they do? Do they? Men I don't remember them mentioning it ever, and that's an interesting point because you'd think you'd be able to tell at some point with some kind of landmarks. But yeah, no, I don't know. Um, I generally like this guy's videos, but this video was awful. I agree, Taylor. For an artistic person in avoiding law major and law major and going for education because of this shat, everyone's saying I'm stupid because no money in education. I read that again. For an artistic person in avoiding law, law major, for an artistic person in avoiding law major and going for education because of this shat, everyone's saying I'm stupid because no money in education. I think I follow. I'm just very tired. That's all it is, I swear. Uh, why do you think the same critics who love TLJ hate Game of Thrones Season 8 like the rest of us, when both were equally bad, just as, just, such as Just Right? Because they think that the choices for the characters made sense in TLJ, and... I mean, genuinely, I think they... I need to see Just Right's video from start to finish. I need to see if he, um, he points out things that are absolutely reflective of TLJ, or just tangentially related. But I'm certain he's a hypocrite, because he describes a quote-unquote good story in, like, the first two minutes of his video, and I immediately was like, a good story? What does that mean? What does it mean, Mason? Welcome, E.C. E. Morgan. E.C. Morgan. I already did it before. You. <laughs> no, you. Neither of us said 69, though, so we kind of both fucked it up. Fuck, dude. I'm sorry, E.C. Morgan. I'm sorry. I apologize, Mr. 69. God, I'm apparently six away from 75. They start, the trade-off starts to get really bad. The last emoji was unlocked at f like 50 members, I guess, and the next one's 75, and the one after that's 100. It's like, Jesus. What's the... What, that's a lot. How many emojis does, like, Dan's Gaming have? Or Lyric or whatever? I think uh, all of the bigger streamers have reached the cap. They have, like... 10,000 subs is the max. <laughs> I was going to say 10,000 emojis. Have. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, like 10,000 subs unlocks 40 emote slots, I think. And that's like the max you can have. Okay. So, no matter how much above that you go, you, you all, always have the 40. Clown world, honk, honk. Uh, in criminal justice, the term force continuum was used for cops. Basically, if you punch a cop, he's allowed to pull out the baton and so on. Oh my goodness. Legal Eagle, cuck for hire. I mean, he's probably made some good cases in other videos. I don't know, like I said, I don't really know the motivation behind this one other than it seemed kind of political. Just a little bit. Um, with great power comes an even greater responsibility. Someone kill her effing uncle so she learns that. <laughs> That's pretty harsh, but I mean, if, if it's got to be done to learn, you know? Wolf, daddy's finally home from going out to get a pack of cigarettes. He would laugh at that. Certainly. I'm actually going to put it in the selection of messages I'll send him. Just to make him giggle. It'll go after Wolf, we love you. Uh, the Dawn has a smile fetish. Sexual harassment. Flicks bug off shoulder. Is this assault? I mean, yeah, you'd go to jail, dude. Ryan J. Smith. Thank Congratulations you and welcome to the That's racist. I'm gonna post um, a Mola heart emote to symbolize <laughs> my appreciation, even though I ate a and part stress. of the heart. Stressed to symbolize that the hard times are not over and we must continue. 
Yeah, <laughs> someone's got a gun out while reading a book. What are the implications of that? <laughs> like, am I allowed to kill you by law? Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> The Dawn, slightly folds map, attempts to help Captain Marvel, is flirty. Carol, hurts his hand, threatens to further harm, steals lawyer. She is the victim. Yeah, it seems... Seems, seems a bit off, doesn't it? Legal Eagle, platinum medal in mental gymnastics. But we're still on the Legal Eagle video. This is... Air is touching you, and they touch your air. Punch everyone. Right, yeah, so if you were to punch the air for Tia and the air is connected to everybody, then ultimately you've just punched everybody, have you not? I mean, haven't everyone? No, just you, so I can sue you. Not the the females. I believe it's pronounced female, but... Are you saying that you're okay with Family. punching the male? Yes, in the wing-wang. That is very disespostibiliating. Tell. Do you not know That's these? your opinion. Yeah, it's a pretty good opinion, though. You have to agree. Yawn. 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 I think you just yawned. I'm going to confirm this with my science team. Mm -hmm. uh, Superman. Man of Steel. Legal Eagle justifies Superman's destruction of Jagov's big rig truck after getting beer poured on his head. I have not seen that, and I've completely completely forgotten what's in Man of Steel outside of a couple details, so... But, um, judging from that super chat, it wasn't something that this person approved of. Rikita Law said that in civil cases, who takes the initial instigating action is important. Yeah, I'd agree with that, but I don't know what would be counted as an initial action with, uh... You know, that scenario. I would imagine a jury wouldn't see him pulling the map down as a big... starter, but... Yeah. I've been wrong before. He is not a person, Wolf. He is a lawyer. Oof. Don't you think it's unfair that people don't consider lawyers human? Um. No, I think it's fair too. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a dollar for every brain cell in this person's head. Plus an extra four dollars. Oh, and he gave me five, so he's saying there's one brain cell. That's still kind of you to say that there's one brain cell. All right. Uh, not gonna be able to keep up for a while. By the time I'm back, it'll have been one year of EFAB. Stay awesome, you three. Love from France. Um, one year of EFAB will be August, early August, I believe, so we're almost there. Not quite there, but we're almost there. He escalated the hell out of this situation. Agreed. This lawyer looks like a discount Jim Halpert. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna have a look at Jim Halpert on, on Google. Good. Oh, it's the guy from um, The Office. Yeah, it's like an older discount version. I could agree with that. Molly keeps saying no jury would agree with this massive, but California exists. I mean, I'm being hyperbolic. There are people who would agree because he is a person that apparently agrees with it and he could be in the jury at some point, but holy shit, like... Holy shit, you know? In a Marlon Brando voice... Do not disrespect the Don. Disrespect the Don, you disrespect the family. Moving too long, so the impression's gonna be terrible, but I agree with the sentiment. She literally and obviously needed a ride. Um, I agree, and it would have been cool to see them team up Dawn and Captain America Marvel versus the, the world. I would have watched it, watched the sequels, it would have been great. The Dawn is a side. The Dawn is the main protagonist. Oh, you would have to be. I, I, how could you not have that? The Dawn as a sidekick would be a great movie. I, I would, I would, again, you'd have to be the protagonist. Fuck this piece of shit. <laughs> Imagine being the actor who plays the Dawn and having gotten so much attention <laughs> on the internet for some reason. They give him his own movie and he's like, why though? <laughs> why? I was a fucking stand-in. <laughs> Dawn came to my birthday party last week when no one else would. Also, what does Legal Eagle's wife's BF think of this crap? We don't know, Zach. Something to discover one day. Ex Don, give it to you. Beautiful. Dawn of Justice. The memes are all the best. I'm all about that legal life, but not like this. <laughs> yeah, that, that quote will never age well. Wow, he really said it. He did. He said several of the things that I am assuming you're referencing there. 
Uh, he sounds like a dishonest male feminist catching... catching for virtue points for the girls he wants to bone. He does take a lot of weird positions that could be explained by holding certain politics, but uh, I just... I'm curious what his response would be to, like, a lot of the criticisms he's getting. Perhaps he'll put out a follow-up video. Uh, feeling pretty mansplained to Quagal Eagle, not gonna lie. Exactly. We have female people in the audience that he was uh, mansplaining to, and so he's, uh, he's now victimized people with the same thing that he accused other people of. What do you have to say for yourself, Wazir? Uh, I did not touch that woman. In fact, I'll just believe that, dude. I mean, have I ever told a lie except for the times that I told a lie? No. Exactly. Yeah, you can right. trust me, man. Wink, wink. You can totally trust me. Wink, wink. He's lying. The robot you mentioned to just write is evil. That is true. As evil as a Terminator. A Terminator is the moral compass. The Terminator has better morals than Captain Marvel. We can at least agree on that. If nothing else, this vid has made me want to watch T2 again. Been way too long. That is a full good choice to do. Everyone should rewatch T2 because it's it's awesome. No denying. The Don is Sarah Connor's cousin. That could be possible in timeline. In fact, I choose to believe it. <laughs> I feel like the original point of the scene was to imply that Plank was a programmed robot soldier of the Kree, but they gave up on that idea. Yeah, they certainly didn't develop that, because a lot of people have used that excuse. It's like, she was the bad guy, guys. And it's like, she never, ever thinks about that again, or ever develop what? Oh. Just no. Oh, did you see Dark Phoenix, by the way? Nope. You plan to? Uh, not in the theaters, no. Was it horrible? It, it, it was okay. Or was it okay? A lot of people are saying it was horrible. Wow. I thought it was okay. Yeah, from what I've heard on the interwebs, like I would say, uh, are like oh my God. a word between bad and okay. If you find one, meh, I guess. Hmm. But not Fair. like an unbridled meh, just a meh. I see. Interesting. I thought it would be horrible. I was willing to chalk this down to him just making a bad video, which everybody makes sometimes and can forgive. But him using mansplain unironically just lost all goodwill from me. Yeah, it's because <laughs> apparently he's never done that before. So it's like, it, he gets weirdly political at the video. I think, at least I f assume his fans would feel that way. I don't know. Well, what's yeah. the context of that anyway? Um, I th think it was him saying that a lot of men have tried to mansplain the scene to other people. Oh my god, dude. Someone in chat might remember what the exact quote was, but it was a little bit dismal. Uh, Captain Marvel's a woman, so that means a lawyer can justify her assault. It's okay because they felt guilty slash were abused and the legal system supports it. Yeah. To be fair, comparing Captain Marvel to a robot seems accurate. Yeah. I, th I think most people feel that way. I volunteer for the hate fucking. <laughs> that was... I'm gonna put that in, in Rags' messages. He, he said he was getting that set up and I, I don't blame him. You, you need it done. You need it gets rid of the, the... It gets the juices flowing. There you go. What's the problem of comparing this woman to a robot? It is Brie Larson's acting. Oh! This man really makes being a lawyer that much harder. Really hate this, well, you only have a problem because it's a woman. BS. Now I'll have to deal with people lumping all lawyers in with this douchebag. Hashtag not all lawyers. Don't worry. I think a lot of lawyers will be making responses to him, because it's we we know it's not all lawyers. Uh, Don Lives Matter? Agreed. Angry Rags is almost as great as Drunk Rags. Yeah, he was he was definitely pissed off by the video today. I don't blame him. Poor guy, he has such a great selection of videos to respond to at this point, because I still think he's planning on doing a response to the, um, the Tismy dude who, like, we covered on EFAP, uh... Is it the one? It was the previous one, I think. Uh, I'm not sure if... I meant to ask if he was doing that still. Uh, the Don doesn't wheel my handicapped mother to physical therapy every morning at 5am to put up with this horse shit. I know, but... A lot of people just aren't aware of it, so... You know, poor guy. He's, he's lucky he's got people like us to actually let other people know. Just too humble. 
Don't go to his channel, he wants attention. Hashtag disbar. I mean, the video isn't doing very well compared to his other ones, so... I'm not sure the attention is going to be that great for him. If your moral argument is external, it's objective. Um, yeah, uh, like if you're not talking about how you felt about the particular thing. But he did say, um... Uh, it was like a moral argument at one point. He didn't really develop much of it, though. Wait, the moral... If the moral argument is external... So, like, the... The, the, the other commenter was talking about the, um... The moral... Sort of thing in relation to law. I'd have to look into it again, because I was confused um, about that. You'd think you would have said that specifically, though, right? I thought he was just making a moral judgement, like, on a personal level. You answered the episode 9 question, didn't you, Fortier? Uh... I don't think so. Don't you lie to me. What's the question? Well, apparently you didn't, and you were a guest, so I definitely should sort that out. Fine. Who do you think will be the most inconsistent character of Episode 9? Most inconsistent? Hold on, let me just think of the characters. Yeah, and you can't vote uh... for Kylo, Lando, or Palpatine. Uh, I guess, uh, Leia, since she's just randomly going to disappear. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go I for Leia, know. you can. Uh, the most, who can I not vote for? I'll vote for Kylo, because he's nothing consistent about Kylo. I'll vote for Lando, because <laughs> of course they'll ruin him. And then you can't vote for Palpatine, because fuck, we didn't even know that he was going to be in the movie, but apparently he is. <laughs> Uh, mm. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I'll just go with Leia. That's the easy answer. <laughs> Very well. Dun, 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 dun. And yeah, someone said that you're, you're not an for? official guest. Well, Tier has guested on an episode before. You're on episode, I want to say two. They just don't know. You're on a, you're early memes, you are. Early memes. And uh, what was your question, sorry? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, what's this uh, questioning for? Are you making a spreadsheet or some shit? Well, it's just like sort of, I call it a bet, but nothing's at stake. And everyone's just voting for who they think will be the number one failed character. The most common votes have gone to Finn and Luke, funnily enough. With Poe being the the next most voted for, I think anyway. Unless my thing is outdated, I know that the subreddit keeps track of it. So we shall see. He's not official today. That's fine. That's fine. Um, also, Mola, please write down brown tables. Not many people came to game night. Quote in Gadel is fucking gold. Okay, actually, not many people wow. came. To yeah, at the end of it, he gets a lot of love from chat. Thanks, chat. You're being very nice to Mr. Fortier. I appreciate that. He's a nice man. He. Uh, at the end of the Brown Table Guys video, he says he's going to run another game night and that last one's was disappointing because nobody really showed up. Thought it was very funny. <laughs> if you ran a game night, Fortier, everyone would show up. So, what does that say? Uh, that I, I'm a good person and I'm, I, I do good things for people and, uh, they, I, I do things that are good for people, not like I tell them what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. And it makes people hate me, but it makes me a good person. As they well. hate you because they ain't you. Yeah. I disagree with that. Ain't is not a word in the Englando language. It's only in the Americano language. Can you language. prove that, though? Let me just hit up bing.com. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> Thank you for helping me not waste my time on Legal Eagle's channel. I'm always always great to see you there. I hope you all have a great week. Justice for Dawn. Well, um, I mean, he might have some good stuff in general. It's just that video certainly wasn't. If we cover him again... And then again, then it'll probably get to the point where we're like, oh, oh no.
Hey, you massives. Oh, no. Why are you doing an EFAP? Spider-Man is about to come out. It's not out yet, though. God. I appreciate that, though. It's a, it's a fair comment. It's very accurate. We shouldn't be talking about anything but Spider-Man. Hey, Fordy, looking forward to Spider-Man? Yeah, it's funny, because Spider-Man comes out soon. Why are you talking about that when Spider-Man's coming out, dude? Oh, God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, I've got 57 minutes before the time runs out. We still have enough time. It said unlawful physical contact. Brushing up against someone is not illegal. Um, yeah, just pull a mini-me, dude. Just start humping their legs. Didn't it also say if it was considered offensive in there at some point? Could you possibly argue that? I think that's what his argument was. I can't remember. Popular equals good, obviously. Mm-hmm. Gay nerd crew. Oh my god, we're finally on to the, the stupid chats about that video from Collider, I think. We're making progress. Poor Crickin. He doesn't want to join in with Bruce. Oh, I don't know the names of the guys, but yes. You can tell it's a white guy. Wow, that's racist. Yeah, that was... That, did, that just backfired completely, though. I thought that was really funny. The, the, the co-host just sort of made the joke again. People are still salty over Wolf's insult towards Rose, lol. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That will be a forever thing. Rich Evans's laugh is the reason I'm still alive. It is a very unique laugh. Nobody would deny that. Uh, um, seeing as the three of you are PC gamers, I assume, what games would you recommend for someone who's relatively new to the platform? Any must-have exclusives or multi-plats? Um... That's impossible to answer, because there's a shit ton of things that you probably should play if you're brand new. Like... Brand new to what now? Uh, PC gaming. Oh. Like, there's... Yeah, I there's mean, the whole, there's more to play on PC than there is on console. There's too. decades there's, to catch there's up There's no with. way. Yeah. But, um, I don't know, like, just sort of look at, like, top 100 PC gaming lists, and you'll probably find all the best stuff. Uh, the orange box is probably one of the best value things you could get as a brand new PC gaming person. Um, uh, depends how much money you've got to spend as well, I guess. There's there's lots. There's lots of things. Uh, Reformed Fairy, Evergreen Guest, and Saint Longman. Yes. Yes, please, take down Legal Eagle. As a lawyer myself, I think he's the absolute worst. His videos are all patronizing, lowest common denominator crap. Huh, duh. Allow me to explain, dear viewer, what the term plaintiff means. Well. Sounds like you should make a video, dude. I'd love to see that. Lawyer breaking down a lawyer? Why not, eh? Because Fortier was gonna do it, but Fortier's not a lawyer. So. Yeah, I forgot that part. Like, I, th I thought I was, but then I was like, oh, fuck, yeah, I'm not. And I was like, wow, idiot. Well, now I can finish the first Ori game by the se the time the second one comes out. Yes! I I'm definitely going to be playing the second first one again before the second one comes out, because fuck. Need a refresh at the very least. As the resident EFAP lawyer, let me know if y'all need anything legal explained. Yeah, we mainly just went in with a layman's perspective on the video, because I'm pretty sure we're going to get a lot of good videos that are responding to him from, like, lawyer people. I think someone's already linked me to one from somebody, so um, it'll be interesting to check out. Mola has a flumple dingus. That is a reference to Metal Stream. <laughs> <laughs> EFAP crew, this sounds odd, but I was wondering how y'all divide divvied up the super chats and how y'all take care of YouTube money, RE taxes. Mostly just curious. Uh different for all of us. Wolf has ads since I can't remember if he said it has the off or on or what what he's actually doing right now. I know that Rags uh has things set up tax wise all sorted I'm um I actually funnily enough got help from I hit everything sorting out who I was supposed to contact for that stuff because it gets very weird and complicated but all separately done um as for divvying up super chats that they I I basically take all of them unless they specifically uh want to go to rags or wolf like they said to I'll pass it along sort of thing because like the idea was that I don't really do streams on my channel anymore um, because EFAB is, uh, sort of the main content for streams. Every once in a while I'll do one. And the, you know, Wolf and Rags can continue to do this, and I would happily do any guesting for either of them, but, um, I'm not sure what will happen down the line, because, again, I'm still kind of concerned EFAB could get knocked off YouTube at any moment. Um, 
But if we are able to like grow and expand and whatever else, we could probably set something up. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, like I said, if anybody was uh, wanted money to go to either one of them specifically, just let me know. Because like I do the all the production side of things with EFAB. Not that it's like incredibly heavily complicated. It's just that uh, Wolf and Rags don't have to worry about any of it. Um, and even the thumbnails, uh, Rags was actually going to do them, but then uh, we had a random person be a hero and make some very snazzy ones. Have you seen them, for you? I think I sent them to you. Uh, uh, have you? I don't know. Yeah, Moolah's got sexy new thumbnails. Not Moolah now, Moolah. I saw the, uh, the like, caric caricatures of you. Like the, the icon thingy. The thumbnails, what? Yeah, the I've seen thumbnails. thumbnails. Just go on the Moolah channel. I don't think channel. I've seen those. And have a look at the videos. Do, 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 do. They are beautiful. Moolah. EFAP crew, this sounds... Oh, wait, sorry, that's the same. Uh, hey, thanks a bundle for all the entertaining content you create and inspiring me to think more about content I watch. Slice and dice. Why, thank you, sir, for, for sharing such things. I think if oh, yeah, Wolf and Rags cool. were here, they'd be very happy to know that anybody gets a sort of boost of critical thinking thanks to watching EFAP. We all very much have fun here, so it's um definitely one of those things. That, oh, I just realized, by the way, if I get this tired after like a seven-hour stream, and I'm planning on trying to do a 24-hour one for EFAP at some point, I might have to be like streaming the second I wake up and force myself to have like a long sleep have monster drinks. I did do a 24-hour stream on Twitch that one time, didn't I? I played Last of Us from start to finish, basically. Uh, among other things. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll be interesting to set up. Get, like, a whole bunch of videos prepared. Um, rotate guests. It'll be great. It'd be great. Well, maybe I'll even try and push it past 24 just to be that cool. And try and avoid the wow. meme of it being 19 hours that I had on my Twitch for so many years. Wasn't but how do you do a 24-hour stream on YouTube? Oh, you, you do. You break you it just... up into 6666, six, 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 I imagine. No. Because 7, 7, 7 and a half to do would be 15, 22 and a half, and then the last one. Yeah, maybe maybe 7 and a half. So I don't know. We shall see. Uh, wasn't Mystique the one who came up with the name X-Men in this universe anyway? I'd have to check first class, but that might be true. I can't remember. Oh, crap. I got here after the legal legal video. Now I'm sad. Don't worry, Samael. It shall be available in the future. But like, seriously, like, if you have some really good ways to deconstruct him, you should uh, use it as a you know, opportunity to make your own video. In the next April Fool's video, have a dedication to the death of Tonalt. I definitely could make a comment about how he's looking for work outside of YouTube because it failed to it failed to correctly pay him. It shall be considered. Uh, watch Ori be an epic store exclusive where Wolf would likely explode. Oh, he did mention that one. Uh, I figure I've EFAP more last month than I usually do, so here's money. This is longer and better quality than most movies, so I'll buy a subscription. Also, chat, does anyone know any professional memers? I have an idea, but no skill in the field. Oh, yeah, geez, thanks for the $50, Charles. It's very kind of you, and I'm glad that, um, I'm glad that everyone is healthily efapping. That's, um, that's very good. Uh, but yeah, have you efapped recently? Have you been able to healthily get yourself some efapping uh, done? I believe I efap using a controller. Hmm. <clears throat> <clears throat> Tonal so, yeah. is the new the Shakespeare answer, yes. that you don't understand. Tonal will be looked back on years to come. It's something to study. It'll be the kind of thing where you put all of his videos out of order, and then you attach all the different words to different things, and it'll spell out like the key to the universe, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, I'll be excited to see that finally get done. I already know this from Wolf, as he tends to talk about the subject more often, but what would be Rags and Mauler's favorite books, if any? Um... Game of Thrones is probably my favorite f f from lack of reading enough books. I like the Lemony Snicket books, and I really like what I've read of Lovecraft's books. Um, but I will send that over to Rags as well. 
So I guess all that needs to happen is that Rags and Wolf can separately do streams and then they can uh, answer these. Or they can answer them at the beginning of the next EFAB. It's completely up to them. I don't mind. I'm technically part of the Jewish 1%, so I could afford to donate to Ronaldo some shekels. Go for it. I don't know if he streams, though. Or if he has links. I guess you could go for the Patreon. That makes sense. Hey, Rags, is it a coincidence that the whitest male of Apex Legends character uses gas? Oh, yeah, it's gonna have to be a... Rags has a lot to answer for with that, because Apex Legends is the game that he created. I know this, because I read it in a book. Moller, I legit saw someone have your old black and white PFP as a bumper sticker. Yes, uh, I've seen it a couple times as well. I guess it's just a cool sort of graphic that a couple people use. The video is the fatality. I get it. Ronald's video. Ronald himself has been an ongoing discovery. Agreed. The water is fascinating. I need this in my video. Um, you saying that's what Ronald said when he was setting it up? Because that's probably very true. Ronald is like a baby turtle struggling to reach the sea. Oh, that is that is him as a YouTuber, I imagine. <laughs> Uh, as Tonald would say, if we look through the hypothetical spyglass of the passage of time into the future, time goes on. He's moving on to better things. That's the thing. You know, you can laugh at his quotes. You can do that. But if you think about them, for a few years, you might discover something. Just saying. Uh, hurrah, you guys covered the Tizmy Funhouse podcast. I clapped. Also, it was James Willems who had the C KCD argument. Also, also, Alana is Khaleesi. Um, yeah, it was it was quite interesting, like, um, just seeing some of them quotes. And they apparently really disappointed their audience with that one, so... Interesting how that works. I watched one Rags video, and the next day my recommended was filled with every massive on YouTube. Does that mean YouTube is homophobic? Um, I'm gonna say 115% Yoss. And I guess I'll put that in Rags' selection of questions as well. Oh, he's got a lot of tisms for both him and Wolf. Hello there, Mola. TFA part 4 was great. Oh, wait, I did actually read that. Uh, can I get some more Welsh representation? Am I not enough? I thought I was long and massive. That is that not enough? Is it not? Hello, Mola. Love your work. It's fantastic. You've helped me become a better writer. Any chance you could give my Perion Chronicles books a shout-out? I mean, sure. Uh... Perion, P-E-R-I-O-N, Chronicles. Apparently they're books. Check them out if you're interested. Um, and I appreciate you saying that I've helped you become a better writer. That's uh, very kind. Um, yes, from Malachi Dunn. I'm not sure if they're findable through the old Google machine, but um, you can always give it a shot. Uh, hey, Muller, you guys are fantastic. Uh, have you seen Just Rise video on Game of Thrones? Seems to contradict his everything is good argument, or everything is subjective, right? Also, I hope you can get Critical Drinker on. It's potentially in the works, and yeah, uh, all I've heard about Just Rise video is it seems extremely hypocritical. It's like, yeah, he kind of lost the credibility on the idea that he has standards, so it's kind of confusing to listen to and be like, this bad, and you're like, but how? How? That's a racialism. That's a true. So apparently Metro Exodus is available on the Microsoft Store. Really? I thought it was just a timed exclusive with Epic anyway, but I figure that it's a long time still to wait. On Microsoft Store 2, that's interesting. E3 reminds me of how much of a blight on humanity San Francisco and the tech industry are. I hope the Black Plague breaks out and infects the soylent supply in that shithole during my lifetime. I mean, what if soy is immune to Black Plague? What are you gonna do then? Hmm? Uh, data reminder, kids Mali equals Israel. Oh, you got the okay sign, that's a racism. Wake up, Eldia. Not know these references. I love Wolf, Frodo and Jay, Sam. What? I love Wolf, Frodo and Jay, Oh, wait, that's from the meme video, yeah. It was quite amusing, that video. We had some top-tier meme videos today. I hope everybody enjoyed the coverage. I always quite feel bad if they're like ones that had extreme amounts of work done on them. It's like, should we recover them? Is there more things to say? It's like, obviously I hope you guys just realize we appreciate them to hell and back. They're like so much fun for us to look back on. The tismy things we get up to, get in animations and shit applied to them. It's wonderful. 
Uh, Jay and Wolf, number one on the top ten anime romances list. Oh yeah, I think it's all but confirmed that they're actually in a relationship now. I think that that's pretty obvious. And I think that if people memed about it, um, Wolf and Jay would just, you know, eventually just say, yeah, it's true. So, you know, matter of time, I'm sure. When stupid internet memes are better than 98% of Hollywood movies. Oh my god, that was not that long ago that I read that out from the main chat, so... It was when Rags was still here, so we're getting there. Praise be to the Cosmic Chicken. I want to work with a group of people to make an EFAP movie, unironically. I will do whatever it takes. <laughs> well, wait for Wolf to write the EFAP book, and then we will, um... We will get you to adapt it into a full-fledged movie, I'm sure. Goliath is insane bloodthirsty. I couldn't control him. Not many people can, but if Fred the Cosmic Chicken can't... Not a good sign, let's just say that. Uh, the Shadow of Loaf knows 20 pounds to Wolf to make an EFAP book. It's roughly the price of a hardback here in the UK. Do it. I, uh, can send that along. Uh, the message and, I think, you can just PayPal him that. But, um, I hope Wolf makes it, to be honest. It'll be, uh, it'll be fun. You can read it on EFAP, then. He's gotta, like, make it an epic and be it very serious. It'll be great. Uh, daily reminder that Guillermo del Toro is a fat weeb who tried to grape Mira Sovino while making Mimic. Um, I don't, I, I thought it was good stuff. I can't remember what people think about Guillermo del Toro as a whole, but I don't remember being good things. Hollywood is full of soulless degenerate demons and should be nuked like the kaijus in that film. Well, if you have that much against everyone in Hollywood... Uh, I didn't think he got enough credit, so shout out to Rags for that hilarious burn on Jennifer Lawrence saying she sounded more like the, an ex-wife. Yeah, in reference to ex-men, he said she sounds like an ex-wife. Very clever, actually. I shall pass that one along as well. Uh, have you heard the observation that just looking at a picture of Brie Larson makes some men feel as though they are behind in their alimony payments? I hadn't heard that, but it's like, you'd say that's believable, right, Fortier? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the creators of Ori clearly watched EFAP. Oh yeah, definitely. I think it's safe to assume everybody on the planet watches EFAP at this point. Like, mainly everybody. Um... Masterchief.exe fully operational, uploading NPC talking points. Yeah, uh, I don't know what happened with the Halo trailer, um, but, I mean, Wolf watched it, so... Probably should have asked more. I was busy being confused, tired, and, 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 and all stressed at the idea that I had to make sure I get this done. We got 40 minutes left. I'm pretty sure I'm getting close-ish. I think. Um, if you finish these, you, you could always watch the trailers. The most interesting trailers, anyway. Oh, uh, we did end. actually watch the, the Ori one. And we watched the... No, no, we didn't watch the Jedi Fallen Order one on stream. We watched it together, though. Uh, yeah, and I don't really care about the other ones off the top of my head. Like, Halo, I don't, I don't, I don't know nothing about it. Um, but yeah, I do know that so. Wolf would probably care about it, so... We shall see. Cyberpunk is pretty cool. You might get a yeah, record the for the longest EFAP to date. I believe the longest EFAP is still 11 hours, right? Unless you mean longest singular EFAP, which that could happen. That could happen. Excellent episode today. Glad you enjoyed my meme vid. For your information, vast majority of wolf clips came from just the Game of Thrones rant and the EFAP after episode 5. Keep doing what y'all do. That's uh, good work. Mr. DJM Voices, thank you very much, and uh, I'm sure uh, w w we were all very happy with it, it was very amusing. Mauler and Wolf, what your problems with the season 4 finale of Game of Thrones? Just finished it and it felt off. Oh, I got a couple of problems. Jojen Reed's death is really stupid. Uh, Tyrion's Taisha plot is removed and replaced with nothing, so his actions don't make any sense. The dialogue between Brienne and the Hound is really dumb. And it serves to only make them fight. But specifically, he's like, Hey, is that Lannister steel? And her response is something like, Jamie Lannister gave me this, yes? And it's like, why don't you tell him the context as to why she, he gave it to you instead of just letting it remain vague? It would be like, are you going to kill me with that gun? And then I go, I'm holding a gun, yes? 
<laughs> so you'll sit there like, okay, 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 so you are? <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a couple things I didn't like about it, but hey. Uh, forward your garbage games, your ux, ux soy boy faces, and your lifetime supply of Soylent, you ugly, diverse, childless western devs. Jay, give me the Elden Ring. I imagine that you have to change a lot of the words so you can get past the censors of YouTube at this point. Mr. Ra. Great stream, guys. Welcome back. Wolf, you need to invite Internet Historian onto EFAB, lol. I mean, I'd be on board. Is that Internet Historian is the one with the funny face dude for the cringy thing, right? Or is that somebody else? Um, I have no idea. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure I've seen Internet Historian around. We're okay with most guests pretty much here. Um, can we get Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah on EFAB movies? Lots of mean and rage potential, especially from the dub. Also, thoughts on EDF for EFAB gaming. What's EDF stand for, for you? Extra terrestrial fuckers. Apparently it's a game. EDF. Elder, elder rule farming. Electric dinosaur fences. Eldritch dinosaur. It's gotta be dinosaur, I know that much. Earth Defense Force, apparently. Oh, oh I saw... Metal playing that with Alex, actually. Um, yeah, it's quite possible. Quite possible. Um, also, King Gad we'll probably do the Godzilla 98 movie and the 2019 movie. They're the two we probably want to do on EFAP movies. We've got a lot of movies for EFAP movies to watch. Godzilla Final Wars, goofy as hell. Great EFAP movies material. There's even a Japanese dude with dreadlocks, only for a moment, though. There's a... There's a dreadlocks man in, in Dark Phoenix, and he was very strange that his power was gangly, weird dreadlocks that attack people. I, I don't know. That was a weird one. Um, can I get a shout out? My animations get like 300 views a piece. Uh, Cine Animations is a channel that does animations, apparently. Uh, if anyone in chat wants to check out some animations. I Actually, I think I recognize that name. That's one of the people who did one of the memes. Uh, yeah, this one. Oh, it was the one with the um, guy who said he was a masterpiece three times in the window. I will post it in chat. A link to that video and then subscribe to the channel or at least check out the other videos if you're interested. Cine animations. Uh, they've censored the hell out of Super Chats. You need a code word for curse words like Ryan Dawson. I don't know what that would be a reference to, Mr. Clown World poster. Vector is a bland one. Wasted Christoph Waltz. That's part of the reason why I didn't want to see it, because I was like, everyone kept saying they wasted Christoph Waltz, and I was like, oh. Well, I really like Christoph Waltz, so now I don't want to see it. Oh, it works. You're not supposed to waste Christoph Waltz, that's the rules. Uh, can you watch the cyberpunk trailer on stream? Uh, if if Wolf and Rags were still here, I'd probably do it. But, like, I'm not too bothered by it as a whole, so it's probably not worth it. I'll just sort of sit there watching it and then be like, well, that was that. And I shan't like to provide you guys no kind of interesting commentary. But if you really are interested, we could probably do it at the beginning of the next EFAP, maybe? I don't know. Casino Royale is the best of the recent Bonds, but pretty much anything pre-Tomorrow Never Dies is better than the new ones, in my subjective opinion. I've not done a rewatch of James Bond movies in a long time, but... I liked... Goldeneye, Goldfinger... A couple of other ones are my favorites. And yeah, Casino Royale is a big favorite from a lot of people. <laughs> Jesus Molly is still going. I've got 33 minutes to get the rest of these done. How many have I got? Oh my god. I gotta, I gotta get moving faster. Capitalism ho! Mola, what's the gayest thing you've ever done? As a straight man myself, the gayest thing I've ever done is take two black men in my ass. Um, I don't think I've done any any of the big gay. I don't think I've done many of the small gay. In a little bit. I killed man once. So that would be a small gay, right? Uh... <laughs> Guess how much smaller than K than that can you get? Like a tickle? <laughs> he tickled a peen. 
Apparently Bethesda said they're bringing in human NPCs into Fallout 60... Fallout 67, I'm guessing you mean 60... 76. And the crowd uh, applauded for it. That's what Wolf just sent me on. On Dick Cord. <laughs> it's actually Discord and I said Dick Cord. <laughs> That's funny. I knew it was funny. You didn't laugh very fast though. I'm starting to think you didn't find it funny at all. Would you rather slide down a flagpole covered in razor blades... Would you rather slide down a flagpole covered in razor blades or make love to an inside-out porcupine? Sincerely, Mr. Massive. So basically, would I rather cut the shit out of my hands, to the point where they might even fall off, or make love to an inside-out porcupine? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Losing your hands or your peen ween? What would you choose? Yeah. Uh, the one that hurts the least. I'd probably have to lose the peen ween because hands are super useful. I know the Peenween is super useful too, but, like, oh, that's tough. Maybe if it's just in the future we can get a replacement Peenween. Or hands. Either way. I just watched the Legal Legal video. I can explain why the guy is 100% in the wrong. Do it. Put it in a video. I, I, I implore, I implore any and all lawyers to have fun with it. I mean, fuck, you'll probably make a successful channel responding to his takes on things, right? Anybody here know of any channels who are successful from responding to one channel specifically at first? Like perhaps channels that cover film criticism? Like perhaps channels like Cinema Sins being covered? Does anyone know of anyone who ever did that? I reckon I know a guy. Not here though. So. I'm, I'm sure I'm mixing someone up. It's, it's probably not a thing. Pyrion Chronicles is on Kindle for $10. It is the story of General Volker Pyrion and his return to his empire hundreds of years after vanishing. From Malachi Dunn, uh, like I said, findable on Kindle for $10. There you are, folks. Mola did a series covering H. Bomber guy. That's true. The Mola guy did do that. Did you see my Dominator edit on Twitter? Uh, it should have been right under the word of Wolf Street picture. I may have missed it. If you want to send, resend it, I'll try and pop it into the next uh, rotation. Rags, you need to chill with a thirst, bro. Rags needs a thirst quencher. Where did you think that he would have gone? <laughs> yes. Not wearing costumes is normal in Disney, except for special events, so children don't confuse guests for cast members. That could get dangerous. I was going to say, if this is something they do for most of their, um, things... I wouldn't really be bothered. Um, but if it's something new that they're doing, I would be like, why is it taking you so long to implement this? Sounds like it would be a problem regularly, but... What would I know? A bit behind, but just so you know, in Alabama, stand your ground means you... Do you feel threatened on your property, so? Um, yeah, I imagine Alabama is more... Uh, you're allowed to shoot more, in general, with things, from my very limited understanding. Um... But it's interesting how it changes between states. The cocks of Mauler's heart are quite warm indeed. Oh my goodness, that's definitely a recent thing that I said, so we're getting there. Still got, I still got like 20 minutes at least. Hey guys, thanks for the wonderful stream, help me at work today. Also really glad to hear Rags listens to Doomcock. Keep up the great work and thanks. He did come on the stream for EFAP number... Number 7? Or 8? It was the Major Lee one when we covered his video, so... Yeah, um, I assume Rags may have watched him from there, or he's seen him in Recommended. Either way. Doomcock is a wonderful creator. A scary creator. Do you think there's a Rose Tico at a park? At the park. The park? Which park? Also, yes. Whichever park you're referring to. Sorry, my brain is pretty melted right now. I was up since 4am, and we're nearly at 2am, so... I'm coming full circle. Uh, you throw a milkshake, you're thrown out of the helicopter while flying, naturally. I mean, is that an equal excessive force? That probably seems like a bit much. I don't, I don't know, throw him out of a helicopter for throwing a milkshake? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, man. You gotta, you gotta be fair. And then again, the lawyer will defend you in any case, so you'll be fine. Yes, Mola, I am indeed an Egyptian god. Now, could you Westoids cut out the BS and stop acting like the rulers of my lands were black when the Sahara separated us from them for ages when we made pyramids and they made huts? I mean, hey. Huts are pretty good. They can provide a lot of heat. Pyramids are good for, like, 
you know, burying ancient rulers. Like, who wants that? Just ancient rulers, really. Press F for Mola. Yeah, fair enough. We, 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 we're almost dead, but I might be able to make it. Y'all's content made me a better writer. After watching you rip on bad writing, I ended up rethinking key plot points of the novel I wrote. It's much better now. I'll at you if I ever publish it. Well, again, really, really like to hear that sort of thing. So thank you, uh, Dan, and I hope that it really has helped that uh, you find success. Uh, hey, Rags, Carcano or Lienfield rifle? I will copy and paste it. Oh my god, guys, it's Le John Wick in Le Zyber Bunk. I need to order Le Galactus Edition with a lifetime supply of Soylent. I mean, yeah, it does seem like a selling point, but, you know, it could be really good. And who doesn't love Keanu Reeves at this point? He's probably one of the most beloved celebrities there are. Didn't mean to promote twice in one episode. It's all right, Mark. No problemo. Female anger Keanu is... Keanu Reeves is breathtaking. He's been killing people? He's breathtaking. He's been literally strangling people? He's been stealing their breath? Yeah. Jesus. We should probably people get somebody on this. People who E3 will know that meme. I will know your meme. Female anger is the weather vane of truth. That's from Dick Masterson, apparently. Interesting. Love your work, bro. EFAP solo is gold. I mean, I hope people have been entertained by this. How long have I been doing? Oh my goodness. This has been like fucking three hours of super chats. <laughs> it's like it's longer than most podcasts. Uh, the unbridled rage should be reduced to a book. Reduced to a book. I don't think it's long enough to be a book as it is. Uh, never thought I'd hear you turn down money. Laugh my ass off. Um, you know, money money isn't everything. Um, I can't buy a Fortier with money. I can only get one through, like, putting M&Ms on a fishing rod and leading them into my house. Yeah. yeah That's seems... actually how we first uh, got in touch with each other. Yeah, I don't lie. I do not. Length is underrated when compared to depth. Therefore, I shall donate to artificially lengthen this stream. Wahahahaha. We're getting, we're getting close now, I think. How many? How many? That's your opinion. Know? Still not really countable in an easy way. We're definitely getting there. In a way. Uh, why is Fortier excited for Spider-Man? Doesn't he know Spider-Man's coming out? Fortier? I get it. What do you have to say for yourself? It. Uh, I get it. That's that's what what I thought. That is what I. I am the last super chat at the time of me sending this. That was true. That was true. Reaction to Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven trailer. I mean, not on this stream, but possibly in the future. Um, Muller, I went out drinking at seven p.m. BST, and now I'm home, and you're still going. That's cool, bro. Um. Yeah, we've we, we, it's it's seven and a half hours stream. I watched Lord of the Rings: Return of the King today. I've not done anything to do with human life today, other than eyes staring at a screen. It's bad for you, but it's ultimately good for you because um, I've have you heard about this? If you like, if you watch a screen for hours on end without any breaks, it'll improve your eyesight and intelligence by ten. I heard it. T turns your uh, face square. <laughs> My parents actually used to tell me that when I was a kid. And I was so fucking terrified. Yeah, mine actually did the same. <laughs> uh, try bringing Thor Skywalker on EFAP soon, please. I have heard of his channel. We're not against that. We'll uh, maybe look into that too. A for tier. Is it considered necrophilia if your partner is alive when you start? Um... If you divide the the constant by six, then yes, I believe it is, yeah. Did you carry the one? Sorry? Did you carry the one? Uh no, I think that is nullified by Also, the I'm pretty sure it's binary. The second that the... they're dead, it counts as that. Everyone knows this. This what you just said was some kind of math thing that no one believes in. Your crazy yes. religion. You look at that, you've even freaked out chat. Do you know how long it takes to do that? This chat is very resilient to these sorts of things. Finally, out of P is a song. Oh, wait, I read I'm that. sorry, chat. I don't think it was Please you. Forget. I think it was the super chat. 
Mr. Moller, are there any movies you consider objectively good but dislike? There, there are. I've forgotten what they are because I've answered this question before a while ago. Um, Isn't damn. Inception one of them? Uh, or is it the missed opportunity of Inception? Oh, I mean, I guess I could count Dunkirk. I think that's a good film, but I don't really care about. It. Then again, I would criticize its characters. I don't know. That's complicated. Uh, that's complicated. I'd have to really have a good look around because the problem is. I tend to forget movies that don't interest or, or stimulate me, as, as most people would probably feel. Um, the ones I love and hate will often stay in memory for much longer. Um, yes, hopefully that question is answered over the coming EFAPs as we discover and talk about more movies and stuff. Um, oh yeah, Chip Chipley, did the, did the emotes end up working for you? Don't know, I didn't check if they, uh, if they had. We need a skull on wheels emote. Um, I could probably sort that out, actually. I will make a note. I don't know how well it would work, though. Because it would be so small, but we'll look into it, see what happens. Oh, you can put them in super chats as well. That's neat. Um, Arist Fanes in 391 BC. Don't give women control, they'll destroy the world. A bunch of chosen women in the 20th century. That's a sexism's give us power. Curb your enthusiasm, theme starts playing. I mean, I don't think it's as simple as that, God of the Sun. How could you say such things? A jury would never take that seriously. Hello, Mao's China Department. Well, like I said, uh, there, there are juries that would, I guess. This channel is satire. Uh, uh, do not... Mossad, do not show us? We actually like The Last Jedi. We're mocking white supremacist Susan. We promise to call off the, call off the snipers. Oh, I understand. Um, I meant what state the sea- oh yeah, I read that out. Portia, why has God blessed me with three nipples? Uh, because he obviously loves you more than everyone else. And there's the truth. The amount of nipples is equivalent to, uh, God's love for you. Oh, wow. Is that rags? When did you Hello. join? <laughs> oh, 20 minutes ago. Hi. <laughs> We've actually got <laughs> literally like 10 minutes left before we're capped out on the stream, and I've only got a couple left. I can Hooray. do this. Yeah. Um, uh, what's going on? Hey, just saw you started six hours ago. Nice job. Kisses. It's actually seven hours and 40 minutes, according to OBS. Yes, mm. suggestions. Critical thinker. Drunk 3PO. Both good content creators and good dudes. Also, have you ever had any desire to get back into animation, like the Game Grumps potential? I always liked animation, but... um. I was never good enough at it, uh, for, from my own perspective, for how much time I was trying to spend into it, and I was just like, it's, it's something I find really fun and charming, but I don't think I have the time. But I, I would like to get good at it and then create animations. Animations are cool. And yes, Critical Drinker and, uh, I don't, I don't think I know who Drunk 3PO is, but again, both of them would probably be, uh, good guests, from, from what I understand. Um, I'm doing this to put the stream to the eight hour mark. Wow. How dare you, artistique. Uh, hi, Rag, from Blue Jay. Hi. Uh, Mola, please make a series ripping into Neo. It's making me hate gaming itself. Uh, I didn't really care about Neo that much. I'm not really the guy to, uh, to do it, you know? Elden Ring release when Miyazaki make more games, damn it. Give him time. Oh god, Bethesda Presser is on, and it's pure tism right now. Want us to think they're all about the fans. They aren't. Want us to believe how bad they feel about the sorry state of Fallout 76. We won't. God, we're gonna get, like, a super chat about the Bethesda fucking E3. So close to the end. Do this. Mola, you could just do a Grey Wim tism and make love to a porcupine with your fingers? Or are you assuming you need a peep to make love? Hello, sextism and transphobia pill department. I assumed that was in the rules. I just, I assumed. That's my bad. I didn't think you'd let me do a finger alone. That's, uh, you know. Chat, I can't believe you turned down money. Laugh my ass off, Mola. It's not about the money, it's about sending a message. Or a massage. Both would work. Oh, he corrected it to message. And then another one that says, Hi, Rags. Hi. And then another one that says, Hi, Rags. <gasps> he didn't say hi back. I'm he sorry, Eric. Back. Yes, I did. No, I said, I said there was two of them. Oh, there were? Oh, what? What? Who was the second? Uh, the first was Ryan, the second was Eric. 
Ryan and Eric, mm-hmm. are they brothers? Uh, definitely. All right, then. Corey, thank you for the new membership. Why, thank you, Corey. Oh, I don't want to have to pronounce that surname. Siapulia. Me neither. <laughs> That's why I just said Corey. <laughs> You guys are still going? Can't wait to watch later. Yeah, nearly finished. Rags, I got Void Bastards. Bloody hell is it fun. Another fun game. Oh, I'm glad you're really liking it. I dig it too. I think it's a great game. Hmm. Uh, wish you guys had streamed with Boogie. Such a shame. I mean, <laughs> maybe one day he'll guest on EFAP. Who knows? It's funny. Maybe. I, it's funny. I liked Mauler, but as I watched EFAP, I've come to love Rags. Enjoy listening to you, lol. There you oh, go, right? wow. See? His... His curiosity has bloomed into amorous love and admiration. He came for the Mola, but stayed for the rags. Story, the story of life itself. Um, then you got Hello Rago from Taylor. No response to that? Never mind. Uh, Rago? Hey, to <laughs> Rago. Why, yeah. It's Perhaps like, he's uh, referring to Ragu, which is a kind of like a, like, like a sauce. Oh. And I can tell you all about the sauce if you need me to. I think I think good, yeah. It um, goes good on the tortellini. I got Killing Floor 2 so I can shoot you in the back later. Oh, that's wonderful, Bayo. Oh. That's wonderful. You can you can actually make the art a reality. Wait, there's no friendly fire on Killing Floor, is there? Killing Floor 2? No. Maybe not. You I'm can't not stream with him, Muller. No. It's too late. I, I'm pretty sure Boogie... Would, you know, be able to do a different day if he wanted to. Um, and yeah, and then I've got... There's a selection of things for you, Rags, that I've got in this notepad. We've only got like 10 minutes, so this, maybe I can get through them quickly with you. The first one is Hi, Rags. Hi! I think a lot of people like saying that to you. I'm starting to notice this as a pattern now. Um, oh, well, give the people what they want. Um, the next one was, Oh Ragsum, you beautiful doggo, I love you so. Oh, really? Well, <laughs> we haven't met yet, but I'm sure that our, um, I'm sure that your love will turn into, well, love is a two-way street. Uh, recommendation for, for all three of us, uh, it was Love, Death, and Robots. Love, Death, and robot. I think it has popped up on, on the stream, uh, on the show before, but, uh, you know. uh, Rags, your new intro added several years to my lifespan. Ooh, were they human years or dog years? Yeah, I guess it would be better if it was human years, but, you know, either way. I imagine it probably was. It's that high quality. Rags is, is clearly consoles beat PC because I have to serve my corporate overlord. That was a super Not chat. the worst reason I've seen. Yeah. Help rags, I got caught in my own zipper again. You know what? Just accept the fact that... You know that story of Icarus and Daedalus? Mm -hmm. Instead of... Don't think of it as... Like, your wax wings are having a big-ass dick. Yeah. So, take the good with the bad. Uh, do you guys have any favorite movies with a focus with the visuals or music, like Space Odyssey or Fantasia? And obviously, that's... Uh... A portion of it is for you to answer, so what do you, have you got any? Where, like, music's a big thing in it? Yeah, all visuals. Hmm. Well, music specific, I mean, I like the Fantasia stuff. Uh, I thought, um, man, vi well, visuals is, uh, well, there's a lot for visuals. Music's a lot harder. Because it's way easier nowadays to you know, dazzle people with the spectacle. I mean, look at Look at the Godzilla movie. You know, it looked great. The movie was crap otherwise. <laughs> How dare you. Um, so yeah, is there any movie that comes to mind other than the examples? or that you? Um, I guess Godzilla counts then. The it? Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus was really visually interesting. Well, um, we watched Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind. That had some nifty stuff going for it. Simple. Mm -hmm. But it was played really, really well, and I liked it a lot. Um, I've always liked the Blade Runner kind of visuals and sound. I think sound was always a big part of Blade Runner. It made it really great. But I'm sure there's more. Um, I just have to like, think about it, you know? 
Rags, my man. Everything right to Western progressives is collectively conservative. Alt Nazi right. Don't bother looking for present definitions on Google. Read old books on the matter. I can't remember what I was in reference to, but I'm guessing it was to do with the fucking legal eagle guy. I don't know, maybe. Uh, would Rags be able to shoot someone beating him, considering he is his own dog? Oh, that's very good. I, I believe so. I, I think so. I think if they hand, I think if they'll pass the license out to me, they're basically giving me, uh, giving me that kind of power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I knew this was directed at you, but uh, it simply said, "I volunteer for the hate fucking." Oh boy, got a got a taker there. Uh, seeing as the three of you are PC gamers, uh, so obviously. This will just be your portion of this. Uh, what games would you recommend for someone who's relatively new to the platform? Any must-have exclusives or good multi-platform games? New to PC gaming? Mm -hmm. um, unironically, Minecraft is one that everybody... It's a game that probably everybody should have. Um, I would highly recommend The Witcher 3 as a game. Divinity Original Sin 2 is a good strategy game that uh, works really, really well with a PC UI. Uh, the Civilization games are pretty good. I'd recommend five. Let me see. If you're new um, to PC, Civilization might be something you want. If you're, well, well, it's not that. No, no. If you're new to PC, that's it's like UI and controls and stuff. But Civilization's really good because it really helps to introduce you to the mouse and keyboard, click things, learn shortcuts kind of uh, kind of gameplay. Because there's a lot of stuff going on. It's not fast paced though, so you don't. It's not like you have to learn this stuff on the fly or anything. You can take all the time that you need, but it really utilizes a lot of, you know, PC gaming's, you know, its strengths. It really takes advantage of its UI. So I'd recommend that. Uh, uh, games like... I would, I would say try a game that you played on console before, hmm. but tr play it on PC and see the difference. Uh, that'll really help, because it'll be a familiar kind of experience. But, you know, just the hardware and peripherals will just be the only different thing. So that'll, that'll probably help you settle into a new system really well. Um, Rags, is it a coincidence that the whitest male of Apex Legends characters uses gas? It must be a coincidence. I don't know what that would be a reference to. <laughs> I doubt it's that serious, but yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I already know this from Wolf, as he tends to talk about the subject more often, but what would be Rags' favorite books? R R Rags? My favorite books? Mm -hmm. um, I really like The Lord of the Rings, The Alchemist. Um, I really did like Atlas Shrugged. Mm. Um, I have liked. Let me see. The first couple Harry Potter books I really liked, but I was a uh, really young when I read them, so that might have colored the whole thing. Um, let me see. Hmm. Favorite books. It's been a while. There's been a lot of short stories that I've read and really liked. I'm a big fan of the fan uh, the Foundation trilogy, Hammer of God. Um. There's been a fair number of stuff, but I've read a lot of short stories. Science fiction has played a huge role in, you know, a lot of my reading list from earlier. But I think that's it. Oh, The Stand. I love The Stand. I thought that was really good. Yeah. Uh, I watched one of Rags. Also, uh, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish is a classic. And I'd recommend to everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, of course, my favorite book of all time was Count of Monte Cristo. Can't believe I forgot that. That's my favorite book ever. Is the Count of Monte Cristo. Love it. Love one fish, the Count. blue fish, blow. F one fish, two fish, blow fish, blue fish is the thing that I know because that's a Simpsons episode name. <laughs> you just reminded me of it. I was like, oh, that's probably where that comes from then. Um, I watched one of Rags' videos, and the next day my recommended was filled with every massive on YouTube. Does that mean YouTube is homophobic? Every ma really like who? I I'd be curious to know who exactly. Because I don't, like, tag my stuff LGBT or anything like that. Yeah, it'd be, who knows what they mean by massive? That could mean mean wolf. I don't know. <laughs> like, everyone's a massive on this show. Uh, I didn't think he got enough credit, so shout out to Rags for that hilarious burn on Jennifer Lawrence saying she sounded more like an ex-wife. 
remember saying that? Ben, it was a pretty good joke. Ben. I do. I read it from the chat. I can't take credit for that. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I, I read it from the comments. The comments on the video. Uh, it was uh, one of the comments on the video. Yeah, that wasn't me. I didn't want that to come across like that. And it was the last super chat that was related to you, Hey Rags, I don't know if it's pronounced correctly, Carsono or Lee Enfield Rifle? I don't know. I, I haven't used either. All right. Oh, Carcano. Oh, oh he's is talking it? about the Carcano. Um, I don't know. I haven't used either of them, so I can't. I can't say. Can't say. Um, and just to catch the last few, uh, ten minute part two of this stream. Here we come. No, I've still got four minutes. So we nearly made it. Molly, you don't get it. He's not with us anymore. I'm not sure who you're referring oh. to. Rags talks about dicks more oh. incessantly than a whorish girl with daddy issues. Um. Well, I am neither a hoary girl, nor do I have daddy issues. And the second so. qu question would be, is that a problem? I, I just don't think yeah. so, you know? It's, 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 it's beautiful. I'm really. sorry, I, I fucking like dick. Uh, Todd oh. Howard just did a conference and I'm here throwing money in a degenerate sodomite dog, a white supremacist gas mask, and one normal guy. What is life? Who knows? And with that... Um, is that it? Wait, did you guys just now finish the super chats? Yes. <laughs> Jeez, man, fucking hell! Yeah, I know it would be a fucking ages. But uh, and the funny thing is, we're about to hit the cap on uh, the streaming thing. It's like uh, I did check it recently. Apparently, it is still at eight hours. Someone in there said it was um, twelve hours. It was extended to, but I'm pretty sure it's still eight. Either way. We finally did it. That is the end of season three of EFAP. Okay, that's what this was, I guess. Um, sorry for the people who will have to wait like ten years for this to process to finally be able to see the beginning of it. If you want to see this before I end up putting it up on Moolah, check the description for the Discord link, and then it'll in the announcements section you'll be able to get a link to the unlisted version. Or just hang on to the URL you have right now and just refresh it in about two hours. It should be processed, I think. That's typically yeah. how long it takes. Um, yeah, it takes a while. 360p club. I thank you all so very much for uh, watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for all of the effort in all of the EFAB memes and videos. Sorry it took so long to get to them, but I think it was a lot of fun viewing them all in one big go. Lots of Lord of the Rings memes, and it was surprisingly suitable because we literally got done watching it today. Um, it was nice. And, uh, and thank you very much for the donations. Extremely kind and extensive, to say the least. I shall... Uh, say good show lads thank you for staying as long as you did EFAP will return next week I imagine I, I think that's the plan either way I mean oh um so Friday I leave for vacation I'll be gone until the Sunday after that mm -hmm. so um I will be AFK for that time that is alright we shall we'll sort something out mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. but yes and no problem Beowin we love your memes Take as long as you need. Yes. Um, but yeah, good night all. Thank you, Eric, for the, <laughs> the super chat of wait. Um, and just as we are entering into the last like three minutes of before this gets cut, I'm going to end the stream now. So good night all and good. But if you end the stream before YouTube does, then YouTube wins. I disagree. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody, and good night. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bye bye. Toodaloo. Get Jared's face on your penis. <laughs>